and I hope everyone is having a good morning and welcome on in. It's been a few days. Like the longest time off I've had for a minute. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Please. Good morning, fierce. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. No, I hope you had a good weekend. And Sleeves, good morning. I hope you had a good weekend as well. Welcome back in. We are we are back. I have been at a craft fair for a couple days, and then I've also just had a couple days recovery. Uh <laughs> bit ridiculous when you put it like that but it, you know what i'm feeling a lot better i have oh actually let me switch screens before i start going into too much detail i've got a lot of stuff to show today uh, i have goblins to show i have a small haul i was really good because i'm technically going fabric shopping later this week so i was i was so good <laughs> i can't tell you how good i was because we were literally but, but you'll have to trust me i was really good i only bought one fabric and i bought a little bit of Cthulhu's fabric to work on while i was there so i'm still counting that as one fabric because one of them was you know it's, it's not doesn't count um but you know i had a really good time it went really really well um so for those who don't know uh i'm going to <coughs> oh i'm gonna cough for those who don't know uh, i spent last the end of last week with cthulhu or uh little cthulhu mx uh in in the twitch sphere uh and helping them with their craft store at a craft fair which was not only my first time ever like tabling or helping table at a craft fair it was also the first ever craft fair i'd ever been to <laughs> so you know jumping straight in the deep end because i'd literally never been to one of them before but it was a really good experience and i learned a lot golden alley vibes uh, did you watch it yeah of course of course but yes bowling alley arcade vibes i love it uh, I'm excited you had a great time. I did. Thank you for shouting out Cthulhu. There you go. If you haven't checked out Cthulhu, uh, that's the person whose table I was helping with. Um, they do cosplay more recently, but they also do a lot of quilting, a lot of sewing, uh, occasionally play video games, a bit of everything, mostly crafts though. So if you like makers and crafters, you'll definitely love Cthulhu. Um, but yes, no, I helped out there and it was really, really nice. Um, so Cthulhu makes designs for fabrics prints them and sells those fabrics so they are like fabric you can only get with them basically uh, and they're really nice I, I, I can get it on screen again but it is in the discord in the general chat you can see a picture and in the quilts in the background they all use their fabrics so you can see like the really lovely bright colors against the black look very like stained glass window-esque for quilts they got a lot of really good attention while we were there uh, every every couple minutes someone would walk past and be like oh i never thought of that that's such a good idea and it's like uh, it was really nice as well when Cthulhu wasn't at the store because obviously going to the loo, taking breaks, grabbing stuff from the car, all that kind of stuff. Uh, because people would come up and, and ask me lots of questions and I, I got to talk as much as I liked about Cthulhu. <laughs> don't tell them that though, they don't know that. <laughs> There's a secret. I only said good things, of course, of course. Uh, dear, but no, it was really nice. It was really, really nice. And uh, we were... So again, I've never been to a craft fair specifically before. I've been to artisan fairs, but they're normally more food orientated. So like there might be a craft stall in there, but it's definitely not, that's not what the whole thing's about. So I've been to a lot of artisanal fairs, but not specifically craft ones. And oh my God, yeah, no, it was really, really nice. You did have a lot of people selling homemade stuff there, but like at least where we were in the hall, it was people selling fabric everywhere there was just loads of people selling fabric which is why we're so good um straight opposite us we had a massive fabric shop uh, which was selling predominantly lighter weight fabrics so like for floating dresses and skirts Ambrose, thank you for the dj also maggie thank you for the hydrate i'll take a very small sip it's very hot the teeniest of tiny sips but you know they had that in front of us it was all like drapey kind of fabric so if you liked drapey dresses and skirts and they had like a lot of really nice patterns um i won't out cthulhu too hard but i know they picked up something <laughs> or some stuff from there and they definitely didn't enable them to buying it like what are you saying mind if i double link to cthulhu shop oh yeah go for it that'd be lovely thank you thank you um i don't know how do they have that i guess actually the craft fair is over so the stock would probably be back wouldn't it there yeah, i'd appreciate that um, but yes, so we had them opposite. Next to us, they had like some really fancy fabrics. They had like sequined and bejeweled fabrics and stuff like that. Stuff that would normally be a lot more expensive. They also had like very, very lightweight fabrics, which was good for me. And that's where I maybe picked up my one fabric because I like the floaty kind of dress look. So I picked up one of those. Uh, I've been teased with the Kasuli fashions. I won't tell you exactly what they got because that's, that's for them to do their haul. But uh, I def we definitely weren't enabling each other the entire time. <laughs> we, we, we definitely weren't doing that. No, us, of course not. Um, we had that, behind us we had like lots of craft fabrics. In front of us as well, uh, we had craft fabrics. Queena, oh my God, for 26 
months. Thank you so much. Good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome. There was someone who knows how to lay it out. So if you're at a table, they sell similar. Then there was someone who knows how to lay it out. So you are around the table that sells similar stuff. Oh, 100% Maggie. Yeah, no, everyone there was really good. Like a lot of them did like, I think Cthulhu was saying a lot of them do like a show every two weeks or so. So like it, they do quite a lot. They're very good. They're really good because there was no reason to skip any stool because everyone did something different. Even though there was a lot of fabric in one place, there wasn't any overlap, which meant that you could shop every single store again i was really good <laughs> i only bought one um but you could shop every single stall and not see there was no repeats it wasn't like that there were people like cthulhu who print their own fabric um you had yeah there was like another one if you liked pastel kind of craft fabrics like pastel quilts there was someone who was selling like lots of fabric specifically for pastel quilts and then you go down and you see Cthulhu's and Cthulhu's is like vibrant really bright colors and for quilts and again it's like even though they might be in the same sphere because like quilting fabric they, they don't there's no overlap and it was really really good it was really really good oh my god prismatics as well jesus i leave thank you so much for five months it's very hacking kind of you welcome back in also all team welcome back how you doing i hope you had a good weekend welcome on in oh dear bless you thank you queen thank you prismatics how are you both doing i hope you're both doing well i have a little craft hall a really small craft hall because I was really good. Once again, I we do have plans to go fabric shopping later this week. So I was keeping that in the back of my mind and I wasn't doing too much because I was like, I know I'm going fabric shopping this week. However, I did pick up one fabric and I, I think you'll agree that it was worth it. You, I Please, we're all enablers here, so it's okay. It starts off gold and it goes into green and then it goes into purple. How pretty is that? How, how pretty is that? It's gold, green, and purple. It's it's all the secondary, like for autumn, for, and it's like, you can see it's see-through. So it's like one of those ones you're gonna gape and, and gather, gape, drape and gather, uh, so that you have like different colors and different parts. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So I thought you could make a really lovely autumnal dress out of this, like a little foresty fairy vibe. I also like that it's not floral. I have a lot of drapey florals and I don't mind drapey florals, but it's nice to have, a bit of variety. So I bought this one and I also bought some of Cthulhu's fabric. It's a biggest piece than this, but I've been smocking it because, you know, of course I have been. So I also bought this. This isn't a good representation of the prints that Cthulhu does because I've been smocking it, but they do do really bright colors. So it's a representation of that. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. A craft hall. Yeah, Havelin, good morning. Welcome on in. How you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. I definitely did not start a new 1.5. You didn't? I did. <laughs> Don't worry, Ambrose. You're in good hecking company. I did. <laughs> the jellyfish is the bottom of the opening. Oh, you like them? I have been making them into stickers. So that's my little heart sticker. I've been enjoying them. Uh, thank you, thank you, Sleeves. Yes, if you wanted to pick up the fabric properly or if you want to see any of the proper ones, the link there will take you to Cthulhu's website. I should probably add it to their shout out, shouldn't I? We'll take you to their website where you can actually purchase the fabrics. Again, they're all designed by Cthulhu and they're the only place you can get them. <coughs> so. Ah, oh, dear. So I have two 1.6 palms now. Yeah, do not worry. You are in good company, Jelly X Cthulhu. No, I could never. I, I can't do that kind of thing. There's one thing we talked a lot about, like how people make print fabrics, and I'm just not very good at that. Like, I can make a square to be printed, but like a repetitive pattern it is a bit difficult. Um, and that's what they've done, yeah. Definitely, same. Definitely, definitely didn't. Yeah, we definitely didn't all do that. Oh uh, dear, can I see? No, actually Maggie, you can't because I only have like two. Um, the majority of the stores, uh, unless, cause like, I'll be honest, <laughs> maybe it's my fault, Maggie. I bought from the stores I wanted, which meant I didn't get business cards because I just got the products. I think if I was more browsing, but I didn't want to browse for too long because I was helping Cthulhu with the stool. So I was like, I don't want to just be gone for hours. So I like was quite pinpoint of, I want something from there, 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 and there, right? Which meant because I went in and immediately purchased something that I'd seen, I didn't get a business card, <laughs> but I can still tell you where I got them from for the most part because it does say on the products and everything. But uh, no, I can't, I don't have like, I. I wanted one, but I don't have one. Ah, oh, dear. I saw those inconsistent Twitch streamer of you. I just went for months to come back like, hey, Jenny, how you doing? Yeah, but like, I'll be honest, time stands still on uh, on Twitch prison. So like, for me, you could have been gone. You could have told me you've only been gone a week. And I'd be like, yeah, I believe you. 
<laughs> yeah, sure, that sounds about right. Uh, because time just doesn't move here, um, which means that, which, which is, I guess is good and bad. Uh, <laughs> And it means that whenever someone's like, it's been a while, it's like, has it? I'm pretty sure I talked to you last week. I'm like 99% sure. We talked like two days ago, right? <laughs> I would still ask a bit of scars. I wish, I wish I had. I was just in a bit of a rush, but I can tell you some of the stuff I got. It's mainly beads, heads up, but, but you'll see why, right? First of all, I'm really proud of this one. Um, so first of all, wait, where's the other one? Oh God, I'm gonna have to get them out of my desk, but I won't spoil them for you. I'll, I'll show you them one at a time. No spoilers, no spoilers. All right, yes, these are the ones I wanted to show you first. So these are, they're just little stars and they're in the colors. They match the colors that I'm, oh, cover my face because then they might, go on, go on. Come on camera, you've got this. Focus, focus the stars. Ugh. Show the people. There you go. So they're just little, they're just little, those little stars, but they match the colors of the fabric I'm using for the collector, uh, specifically the lighter one, perfectly. And so, yeah, I was like, I, got, I gotta get them. I, I get to get them. These are from the bead selection. Uh, so that was from them and I like them very much. I have a couple of other things from the bead selection as well, because I'll be honest, I did most of my stuff there the first time. Uh, oh wait, was this the... No, this is a Southampton bead shop. Different beads. <laughs> but make well, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. I was uh, oh sorry. Personally, I don't suppose friends it to case a long absence. Yeah, me neither. I just don't notice it. I feel that. You gotta be actively mean to me. Yeah. <laughs> you could bully me a bit and then I'll be like, oh my god. Cool stars. Also, Ledman, thank you for the egg smash. And fight for Nigma, thank you so much for the hydrate. I shall do so. I wanna eat them. Understandable. Forbidden snacks. Also, Atlantic, welcome on in. I drive by egg smash while I cook dinner. Oh, enjoy your dinner. I'm good. We've been at a craft fair, so I've been having to be very good. Um, I did also get, um, bear with me, uh, some some very sparkly ones. I'll show you this one first because this one's like the least impressive. They're really pretty. They're just like kind of see-through purplish beads, like with a bit of pinkiness on them. I like them, but they're not they're not that out there. However, there are two others that are a bit more out there and I like them very much, which is the light purple has silver inside of it. And I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can, right? It's like a very light pinky purple, but there's silver inside of the beads. And so they twinkle beautifully. Come on camera, you had it for a second. Come on, you know this hand. Oh, for God's sake. Well, we're trying. <laughs> These are, by the way, from the same place. These are from the bead selection. Uh, and I, I love them. And they're just beautiful. And also some of them catch the light more than others because they have differing amounts of silver in them, which means I think you can see that right. Come on, there you go. But some of them have a lot more silver in than others, which you can imagine having them next to each other. They're just going to be like, oh, oh. All right, let me put these back. I like that. That's nice. Oh, sorry for the cat. I thought I said, you stole your froggy friend. Hell yeah! Nothing wrong with that! Nothing wrong with that! Gasp, frog friend! <gasps> that is nice! Yeah, we got some nice ones. I also picked up these. The, the black ones have like a little bit of pink in them, but also silver. But it's probably, yeah, it's probably just gonna show you the silver in them. Which is just these slightly see-through black beads with like a little line of silver in some of them. Again, it just gives them a little pretty. They're just a little pretty. I don't know how I'm gonna use these ones yet, but I do like them. And then, oh, these ones I got because they match the fabric perfectly. They're not the most exciting beads, but the, the color match, I had to pick them up. These match my colors for the collector. Oh, come on, they go perfectly. They're like little tiny noses. I don't know, but I figured since the color match was so good, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, so I did. Oh, I got this one. These are like jade colored. They're just very pretty. Just a very pretty green. If we have any green, come on. My hand is so close, but well, you know what? That might be the best you get. But you get the vibe. They're just a very, very pretty green one. And then these are gonna be for uh, Cthulhu's fabric. So I'm gonna finish it with these ones because I think they'll look really good. You gotta drop that in the Discord. We do, we need to see Foggy Friend. Uh, I had to do tech, uh, tech support for a friend who is trying to get, ooh, good luck. I hope you good, good luck with it. Hell yeah, or more people in streaming is always a good thing. Ah, oh, dear. So pretty, yeah! I had to do that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Crunchy, very crunchy. Pe penguin, a penguin? 
Pigeon, good morning, penguin. Pigeon, good morning. I love that shade of green. I did too. These beads are gonna be used. Um, so the green is, I would say all of the purple ones, the collector. It's gonna go on the collector. But the green ones specifically, I'm going to finish the smocking on here with them and send the picture to Cthulhu so they can see what their fabric looks like smocked. So I just needed some matching beads because all of the beads, you, you okay, Grubbit? You wanna chill with the spam a little bit? Good morning. <laughs> Good, good morning? Yeah, if you... Uh, I think Zira's a little excited. I think so. I think so. It's a, it's a Monday morning, Grubbit. Come on, we can only eat so many eggs. All right, let me scroll back up because I missed some things because of that. Oh, dear. They can my old friends also consider streaming. And I'm like, just do it. Yeah, just do it. If you, if you, if you think you're going to like it, give it a try. Worst case scenario, you don't enjoy it and you can always stop. So, like... No reason not to try, right? Ah, dear. Now four streamers who've been bamboozled by my nose said, really? Oh, Pigeon, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I've met, like, it's not like we've never met before. Oh, so much egg. Mouse, another mouse, welcome on in. How you doing? How you doing? Both of them are very funny, and I think they'd be entertaining to watch. Good, good. I hope they have a good time with it too. Also, here's the last beads. I saved these ones for last. Now, will they show? Oh, a lot of them are the wrong way around. Come on, if you could twist around. So there's silver on the back, which is why they look silver. But these are little star beads. And inside of them, they have gold and pink and sparkles. And these ones were the most expensive ones I bought. But they are so nice. I, I don't know how easy you can see it. But because of the pinks and the golds and, and like a little purple as well, they look like they have little galaxies inside every bead. <laughs> I couldn't say no. I don't need these. I don't know when I'm going to use them. Probably for the collector. But like, look at them. They're so cool. They're not going to do any. They're not going to focus on us. I put my hand behind it, is it? Oh, even with my hand behind. There we go. But then they get really dark. I think it's because of the silver behind them. I can say in real life, they're absolutely beautiful. So I, I had to get them. And I think that's everything. That's everything. See, look how good I was. I only picked up things I thought I could use, maybe, except for. Maybe those beads, but everything else I was really good with. Ah, dear. Sasso is always penguin and no other word. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear, those are gorgeous. I, I love those ones. I love them so much. Treasure beads. Gonna have a look. Have a lovely look. I hope the lecture goes well, Autie. Take care of yourself. Cute. Yeah. Just really cute stars. One of my friends is gonna be VTuber. So you're gonna be doing the model as well? Ooh, Prism. You're gonna have like uh, VTuber children all over Twitch. Hell yeah. I'm chilling and debating if I'll get up uh, to get to the eclipse that's happening tomorrow. I've been working the last four days and I have to work tomorrow night and I'm the tired mouse. Yeah, I, I was interested in the eclipse until I found out we had like a 2% coverage where I live. So it's like, or was it four? It was like two or 4% and I'm like, ah, we're not getting a bird one here. I, I, I'm okay with missing it. <laughs> Uh, they're super easy. I want to eat them. I want to eat them. They would look pretty sick for the collector. Well, that's kind of the thought. Is like they're nice. I only have ten of those ones because they're very expensive. Um, and that one, by the way, there was two. They were from the bead shop Southampton and the bead selection. Uh, there was another bead shop there, but they were more button focused, which I think was the Devon Button Company. Um, so those were the three that were around. I was very good. There were so many. I should have taken a picture of their stool as well because their whole stool, it just shimmered. <laughs> it was it was so eye-catching because all they sold was beads. Ah, oh, dear. Took about three hours, uh, yeah, west of me. Oh, see, that's tempting. That is tempting. I want to say I have 95, but last, uh, but I saw the last full eclipse and it was cool, but sleep. I've never seen an eclipse before, so I would be down, but it'd have to be happening like, you know, <laughs> relatively close. And I think in the UK, we're having a bad time for it. I think wanting to uh, eat things is the highest compliment. Oh yeah, wanting to consume other people's art. That is the highest of compliments, 100%. <laughs> It's a ton of places in the US, it is a while because of how big the US is. We aren't in the path of totality and we can't afford to travel, so it is, uh, so even if it's within driving distance, I think the close would be 10 hours. Yeah, which is quite a long time. Shiny! I'm specifically not doing anything outside uh, between the totality of the other because I value my eyes. Very fair, very fair and very sensible. So many people flocking to these spots and it sounds so overwhelming on the travel costs. I mean, I think it's like one of those things, isn't it? it? It doesn't happen very often. I think as well, depending on whether you're spiritual or not, a lot of people spiritually, there's something about eclipses and stuff, which is like, 
I don't know. It seems like it's worth it to see it. And I'm not gonna poo-poo on other people's beliefs. So yeah, if, if it's an important thing for you to see, or if you just think it's really cool, you can go for it. Uh, I, I'm not going to this time, but I would say if it was happening closer to my area, we probably would go and have a look, uh, just because I think it's cool. But uh, yeah, no, I know I know for a lot of people it has like deeper meanings or stuff like that. And if that's the case, heck and enjoy yourself. Heck and enjoy yourself. Ah oh dear. That note, I want to, you to know I, I want to consume the avoiders. Thank you, Prism. Well, speaking of, uh, I, I will, I'm going to switch to here. Uh, actually, wait, Prism, you haven't seen any of this. You, welcome to, I've been turning everyone in the community's OCs into goblins. Uh, and you guys have some goblins which I have not shown you because I made them over the weekend. Uh, so <laughs> on that note, would you like to look at some goblins we've made? So bear in mind, I have been toning other people's OCs into goblins. These are not my original OCs. These are just people in the community whose names are above them. So this is Comets, this is Schlieve, this is Diana's. We've been turning their OCs into goblins. <laughs> I vaguely remember a full eclipse when I was younger, very cool, but didn't get superpowers to six out of ten. Honestly, fair, fair. I didn't I have never got superpowers from any kind of astrological stuff. One out of ten. <laughs> My, where where are they? Oh dear, I missed out so much. You've not missed out too much though, uh, Prism, because you're literally coming back just as we're about to start a new project, which means you're just in time, as always. The eclipse won't be visible where I am. That's fair, Pigeon. It's not really visible where I am either. Uh, there are some that are very specific for the ghost in nature cultures. It's actually like a bad thing to look at the eclipse doing it. I love learning about difficulties. I think it's really interesting too. Goblins. It's goblin time. I would love to see it. I think North Dakota would totally... Oh, get to telegraph for the next five years or so. So someday I will get to see it. Hell yeah. Some people turn crazy during the eclipse. Generally, I call them astrophilatics. Also, hello, Shondla. Welcome on in. How are you doing? The eclipse is actually very important to certain indigenous nations here on Turtle Island. Something like about their peace treaty was agreed upon a thousand years near identical path of totality. So that's really, really cool. Yeah, it's really interesting. I, I do get that to certain cultures, it'll be like a really bad thing. To others, it'll be a really good thing. Regardless, if it's important to you, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope it lives up to whatever expectations you were hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because for me it doesn't mean anything. I think the first time I ever slept over someone else's house was on uh, on a eclipse <laughs> because my family wanted to go see it. So I think I think the first time like as a baby, bear in mind this is before I ever remember like I remember. But I think the first time as a baby <laughs> I was given to someone else for a night was the night of the eclipse. <laughs> I don't know if that means it has any kind of deep meaning in my life. Oh, actually, real quick, I, I have just moved and I've been reminded. Uh, heads up, I won't be doing any stretches today. Uh, I have hurt myself. Um, different type of injury, but it is in my shoulder and my neck, so I should be resting it until it gets better. Don't worry about it. It, it happens sometimes. I think it happened yesterday, so it is what it is. Uh, until my sprain gets better. I've got icy hot on it. Till my sprain gets better. No more stretches. <laughs> Oh yeah, who knows gonna keep all these seconds? Keep safe. Yeah, keep safe. Turtle Island is North America. I see. Man, and you don't get superpowers? I've never gotten superpowers from it. Careful if you're driving during the eclipse and watch out for other drivers. There's a historical spike in accidents during the eclipse. Yeah, like be careful. When it, I will say sleeves, I think it's any event where people are driving late at night. Uh, a lot of people uh, might be how to put it too tired to be behind the wheel like technically that's not illegal but you know because people are staying up late i know christmas and new year's are very similar where it's like people are staying up late <laughs> and then driving and being tired and making mistakes so yes be careful very good advice be careful if you're driving i'm doing good jelly i love hearing your experience i was working around hearing your experience i finished i left over work oh bless you i hope your work is going well Either way, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, it's just so if people are doing posture checks and I'm not moving, you know why. It's not anything personal and I probably do see it. I just have to be really careful. <laughs> no stretches, no posture checks. We'll still have like the hour break, the break every hour to do Discord art share. But my poor, my poor shoulder and neck is hurting. <laughs> Rambo, welcome on in, baby. Welcome on in, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Take care, Jelly. Sending healing vibes. I'll be fine. It's, it's not anything too dramatic. It's just like this bit hurts <laughs> so like i can turn my head actually yeah i can turn my head uh it does hurt looking this way though thankfully you're only here so i don't have to look that far uh it's a solo clip so it's daytime but because of the totality the shadows this thing can be very disorientating 
Uh, watch us not see anything at all because clouds, clear skies until after the eclipse. Hey, nice. I always put off if in my shoulder. Uh, I, always, uh, I feel that I always pull stuff in my shoulder and neck area. It's my own fault. Uh, I wasn't very well yesterday and uh, Shiny was trying to make me feel better and we were having a strength composition. <laughs> <laughs> and I hurt myself. <laughs> what do you do when you're not feeling very well, right? You have strength competitions. You arm wrestle. You <laughs> you prove yourself via your arm strength. But uh, I accidentally pulled a muscle, so. <laughs> do you wear any astral event overcast? Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. I saw Cody finish the story. Oh, hell yeah. Very hecking cool. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, is it uh, good sometimes to keep the routine with the break? Yeah, it is. It is. It is good. Ah, uh, dear. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Jelly, I guess if we're not going to see a solo eclipse, we should see a Nova by September. That would be real right. That would be really cool. Hell yeah. Prove yourself in the heat of battle. Isn't he six foot three former rugby player? Yeah, he is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I won. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I don't play to win. I play to feel strong and I'm getting stronger. Oh dear, did you win though? Not this time, unfortunately. Um, I didn't lose either. There were no winners this time. <laughs> because I hurt myself. <laughs> oh dear. Also, Buff and Boy Round didn't win. I was using my left arm. And that's that's why it's this one. I, I was using, well, both arms, but mainly my left one. My left arm was doing all the support, so... <sighs> it's my bad. I forgot, I forgot that I'm much stronger on this side than I am on this side. Is it predicted to occur before September? <gasps> Mop, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I was actually just going to show off all of the goblins for anyone who's missed it because we have some new goblins entering the pack. So we've already seen Comet and Sleeves and Diana and then we've got Anime and Jean and then Pink. But then here are some new ones because we have Cthulhu, who is new from this weekend, Pipia, who we finished after stream on Wednesday, Shifty Blue, who is new from this weekend, and Grubbit, who we finished on Wednesday. So these are the, the, the four new ones that are regular sizes, because we do also have Goat, who, goddamn, this hair took me a minute, but we have Goat's Goblin, who is a bit taller, uh, as you can see. Uh, if we go across to here, uh, there's a new sheet here, that's five foot, and they are too tall. <laughs> too tall for this lineup, it turns out, which I kind of knew. But I'm leaving them like this because I want you to see just how tall they are. But so that uh, so that anyone can see if I fit the screen here, there you go. <laughs> They're just really tall, but that's okay. We have the full one here so that we can see this hairstyle because goddamn, this hairstyle took me a minute. I got, I got stars in it, I got the buns, the gold hair. Uh, trying to make all this fit together, there's a lot of lot of layers. <laughs> I think they look pretty noble though. They look like a little noble goblin. I love them. Oh dear. It me, it is you. Strength could be is so fun, particularly when no one gets hurt. I prefer it when I don't get hurt. It's not just an over, a small event. There's a star around 3,000 light years away. The white dress is beneath it. The bigger one is gonna go boom, we'll see it. <gasps> oh God, that's exciting. Hell yeah. Wow, that is tall. Yes, goat is very tall. A very tall beep. Not gonna be huge, but it will look like a new star. Oh, that's really cool. I love astronomy, but I know like 0.1% about it. I'm kind of the same. I think it's cool. Uh, I don't know very much about it. That being said, I did see a shooting star earlier this year and that was pretty cool. <laughs> Only one, but I'll take that. I saw just the one. They look so lovely and regal. They are, they are so lovely and regal and they got their big old cloak on. I will say because this one is so much larger, it did take a while. I only did that yesterday and that was the only goblin I did yesterday, but we had Shifty and Cthulhu. Uh, we have Pipio and Grobbit from earlier the week. Uh, Cthulhu, I think is our shortest goblin so far. I think they're just a little shorter than Sleeves. They're not going to be for very long though, because today we're going to be doing Grey Mouse's one, which is very short, and Sonne's, which is actually relatively tall. So this is this is Sonne's goblin. This is where we're going to be starting today. Ah, oh dear. Looks so lovely. We go, hell yeah, it flies every 80 years or so. Jelly has Spongebob buff sleeves. I do. I have the Spongebob buff sleeves, but don't tell anyone. That's a secret Rambo. No one's meant to know. Uh, did you wish for super buff arms? Oh, I could wish for that. No, I, I don't actually remember what I wished for. <laughs> it's God, it was quite late at night. Oh, dear. My boyfriend goes crazy about plants. It's adorable. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, dear. Hmm. 
He wish he had a background in astrology. Oh, I sometimes wish I knew more, but there's also a part of me that's like, I'm okay with just turning up for special events here and there. And that's okay. Ah, uh, Dehi do be telling me all about Fongi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, there is a specific Netflix documentary that has made me mispronounce uh, fungi forever. I'm so sorry. It's because there's a there's a mushroom documentary, right, on Twitch, uh, on Twitch, on on Netflix, or there was. I don't know if it's still there. It's been a few years, uh, but the whole way through they call it fungi <laughs> instead of fungi, which. I'm pretty sure it has to be fun guy because otherwise all the fun guy jokes where it's like, I'm just a fun guy, you know, they don't work anymore, but they called it fungi, like fungi fungi the whole time. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and so now I can't stop saying fungi because I think it's really funny. <laughs> but uh, so apologies if I mispronounce, it's kind of on purpose, but kind of not, you know, I didn't mean to get this, but I do have it now. Ah, uh, so like 10 gem- Oh, in December, shooting stars are sweet! Yeah! I only saw one, unfortunately, but I'll still- I'll take my one, and every next time I'll see more. Twitch, also known as Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Twitch, Netflix, it's all the same thing. Fungi. Him! Sonny! We're gonna be working on your bean today. I hope you're doing well. And Cthulhu, how are you doing? Welcome on back. We've been talking about you. All good things, I promise. Ah, uh, I'm okay. I've actually- <laughs> <laughs> Cthulhu, I wasn't feeling super well yesterday. We kind of knew that was going to be the case, but I wasn't super well. So Shiny, to make me feel better, arm wrestled me and now I've pulled a muscle in my shoulder. <laughs> also, Atlantic, I got an ad. I didn't like it. Thank you so much for the three months. It's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, bless you. I'm now no more ads for at least a month. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh dear. Would you like to know the list of things I want to learn? Yes. Yes, I would. Must be an Indian guy. Fungi. To be fair, G is a pretty fun letter. It is. And fungi is a really fun word to say. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> also, thank you for shouting them out for crying out loud. Thank you, Slee. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, we, uh, we, we wasn't feeling very well, so we were, we, we, I was being arm wrestled because I was like, yeah, this makes me feel strong and cool. And, but I was, but my poor left arm is not very strong and not very cool. And now I have pulled a muscle. It's the one that goes up the back of the shoulder into the neck. It's this one. So if I turn all the way this way, it hurts. <laughs> oh dear, but a good morning. Welcome on in. Thank you for shouting out sleeves as well. I wish happiness for you in the community from shooting stars. Oh, bless you, Sean. I have to keep an eye out. I, I will say I go outside normally after the sun goes down anyway. So I'll keep an eye out. Maybe I'll see some more. You see the glow eyes talk uh, body tackling a child. I can fully imagine you in shiny like that, basically. <laughs> Basically, but like I'm not weak. <laughs> well, I'm not as weak as I used to be. I'm stronger than I was, but I'm still not quite, you know, six foot three, former rugby player, strong yet. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'll be fine. Luckily, Maggie, it's not like the other one where it was a repetitive strain injury. This one's just a one off, which means it should heal relatively quick as long as I don't overdo it. So yes, there is that, which is nice. It just means for the next few days, I might not be as stretchy as I normally am. I wanna learn coding, programming, both HTML and CSS and stuff like Python. I wanna learn 3D modeling and Blender, more live 2D stuff, psychology, Spanish, and Australian sign language. I mean, they all sound like really fun things to learn. And there's not too much overlap there where it's like you could put something down and pick something else up and then put that down and pick something else up so that you're not getting too bored. That sounds like a good mixture of things. You're not six free, not yet. There's still time. I believe you can get there. Me too. I'm still a growing lass. <laughs> I could definitely get to six three. Ah, oh dear. You gotta drink some milk to get big and strong. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest though. I, my bones are pretty strong. And they're pretty good. I did also drink. So like growing up, I think I've mentioned this. Uh, I, you know, in the UK, a lot of people and a lot of households drink tea. But when I was little, I didn't really like tea that much. So what my parents would do is they'd put like heat up some milk and they'd call it tea and they'd act like that was tea so that I could take part. And so I used to drink like seven cups of milk a day. <laughs> Up until like I was pretty old. So my bones, they're full of calcium because I wouldn't because because I kept getting given tea. <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah, Jelly is false too. That's not true. Also, Orti, welcome back. 3D modeling and coding can help overlap if you want it to be. That is also true. That is also true. Maggie speaks the truth. There's like a lot of coding programming stuff 3D modeling like to do, which I think is overlap, but then two languages. Yes, it's, it's like a pretty good. It's a pretty good range. I know the basics of uh, uh, Auslan and I want to learn more. Enjoy. Hell yeah. Are you my twin or something? It's I've literally been learning them. <gasps> Too true. You have bones of steel. I do. I've drunk so much milk. Is I, I'm someone who's interested in computer science, social sciences, languages and art hell yeah and um, why not i mean to be fair though if you break it all down uh, i don't know so much about computer science but social sciences languages and art is it's all communication in in very different ways right you just you just want to communicate i get that i get that all the communications we love communicating here we got dense bones i do i know age is dead and awesome but that's about it fair enough fair enough also bad welcome in how you doing how goes it i hope you're doing well we are making goblins actually let me zoom out on this one so you can see like the <laughs> you can't see all of it in one go actually can you because of my overlay but look at all of our friends and, and and our one friend on the new one. We need to get some friends for Goat because Goat is very on their own right now. Poor Goat. Look at this, this full lineup and then we just have Goat. <laughs> Poor Goat. Poor Big Bean. Uh, oh, actually, other thing that I wanted to show you. I will very quickly nip into this. It's just gonna, it's gonna don't mind me. Uh, there we go. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. So where is it? This is, this is, I want to, it's a bit small, unfortunately, so you might not see it, but I have been prepping stuff behind the scenes for the animation coming up that we're making. And here is, uh, hopefully, my base, the base that I have made. It's it's with the timings that I need it for. So we are we are getting there. Look at this, look at this. We've got hands, we've got hands. They're moving. I'm doing smear frames now. We're getting there. So this is the, the animation we're going to be making with the goblins next month. Uh, pro well, actually, probably later this month. So yes, it is. It is getting there. It is getting there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to make this because my references were shiny, and I didn't want people to see shiny because shiny is anonymous. So yes, 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 yes. Ah uh, dear, we oh, used to be obsessed with dinosaurs. Hell yeah! Doing good. Some work since the studio just released a new series. Oh my god, congratulations, so on the new series release. I'm good, thank you. We've been drawing everyone as goblins. It's been really fun. <laughs> Don't get me started on art things I want to do because that list is a long. I want a BSL at some point. I know some sign language, specifically BSL, because we would work with people in the hospital, so some of our people were deaf. Um, but bear in mind the BSL that I knew was very much bra fitting around, like it was around bra fitting effectively, asking people comfortable, if you're okay, stuff like that. A lot of it was relatively simple, but you have to have some level of communication doing that kind of intimate stuff. So most of this, I say most of the staff, all the staff at some point would be trained in basic BSL just to, just for like asking comfortable, like, thank you, are you okay? Stuff like that. <coughs> Ah oh dear, this is very loud. Oh yeah, I'm okay, I'm excited for Yuki. Good morning, Yuki. How goes it? I hope you're doing well. Ah oh dear, I know. Thank you and milk. Milk's the most useful one. Uh, don't let anyone tell you differently, Haplin. Ah <laughs> oh dear. But to be fair, a lot of it is also just like, oh, I like anime. Sorry. I'm, I'm, Please excuse me, my brain is it's trying. Like animation, painting, crochet, miniatures, uh, mini wooden construction things. I've been watching people do mini wooden construction things. It's not something I'm gonna do myself, but I have been really enjoying watching it. Embroidery, cross-stitch, sewing, Julie making. It's a really long list. After three movie projects, I'm ready to get back to a series. Do you get a break at all between them? Or do you have like a little bit of a break now or are you about to jump straight into a new project? Doing way better, your cold is gone. Hell yeah. Well done. Well done for getting over your heckin' cold. Oh dear, good on you, good on you. All right, I am gonna, I'm gonna bring this back up and I'm going to set the timer and we're gonna start. We're gonna get some work done. We're gonna get Somne, Somne in. Ah, oh, damn, on an ASL American Sign Language. So fun fact, US has a, uh, oh, Black American Sign Language. Nice, hell yeah. Oh dear, I've been putting together a book, a Nook DIY kit that's for one of my partner's birthdays. It was BSL fitting around your job, Jelly. Yeah, it was. It was just, it was basically just stuff so that no one was uncomfortable and couldn't tell you they were uncomfortable. 
Because you can understand, like, in a situation with, like, more than one language, whether it's BSL or any other language, in bra fitting, if someone's uncomfortable and needs you to leave, there needs to be that level of communication, because otherwise you can put people in a really vulnerable, upsetting position. Um, especially as well because we were predominantly cancer fitters, so it's like people are already coming in and or we're going to them and they're not super well, so that communication was necessary. And uh, so everyone would get learned at some point. <laughs> For the anime, uh, for the anime movie, we did have a lot, uh, a few days of break, but the anime series, we wouldn't be able to get out a lot of breaks since it's a weekly release. I see, I see. So not so many breaks then. Well, if you do need to nip off for whatever reason, please do particles as much as you're very, very welcome here. If you need to zip off, completely understand. Still have a little detective theme thing, but it's got fantasy elements and lots of books that are slightly steampunk. Hell yeah. North America has an amazing am amount of ASL dialects. That's really cool. That's really hecking cool. All right. All right, this fella. <laughs> this is Somnay's OC, but as a goblin, uh, we made them muscular, which is they're one of only two people with the more muscular body type, which is basically where I flipped the goblin's body upside down. And yeah, as you can see, like most of them, they're thin at the top and they go down into a belly. That's the majority of what we do is if they're getting a little stronger, like Robert, for instance, they're a little bit more just oval rather than like pear shaped. But uh, generally, this is more goblin. But if someone is specifically, uh, where is it? Specifically strong, then we take the pear shape and we make it upside down. So the pear is big at the top and small at the bottom. Uh, so, and Somne is specifically a, a strong goblin. So I've taken it, flipped it upside down, and here we are. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, actually, two seconds. I'm just going to have a good cough and get it out of my system. A stroblin, a light bulb, yeah, basically, a little light bulb body. Fish whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. Whispers to me. Like fish. Oh, why is my thing so big? What the heck? What was I doing with a 300 brush? Is it time to start the You are right, it is time to start the timer. Good on you, anime. Big brain. Big brain, good memory. You're right. I try to make 5,000 a day, but that's like burnout to me. I Obviously, our processes are quite different, party. For me, if I can make four frames in a day, I'm like... But that's because I have to embroider them, I suppose. And embroidering, it does take a while. Uh, actually, wait, party, have you seen the animation we made? We entered the Iron Mouse animation competition with a, with an embroidery animation. It's not going to be anything near the level that you're doing, just to be clear. I am a... That was the first animation I ever made, but we're about to make a second one. You want to see? I want to show you. I'll, I'll be quiet, though. All right, then. You're part of the country club? <laughs> I feel like I should get my class first, you know? You have to be a part of the country club, Connor. Play along. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots Four ready. Big guys. And they f***ed on my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they keep f***ing me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He licked my f*** and the f*** start dripping. <laughs> Took a bite and it tastes like lemon pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air, my booties What the f*** is this? Like <laughs> <laughs> it should have been me, not him. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. 
We made that for Iron Mouse. It's not like, again, it's not super great on the animation front, but I did, it was a start. It got me into animation, so I'm happy with it. Also, here are my frames. <laughs> here are all of my frames. <laughs> because because they're embroidered, they're all physical things. I actually have them in a box behind me somewhere, underneath the fabric. There's, there's <laughs> just a box full of frames, because I ended up having to embroider 124 frames. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm super proud of it. Oh, uh, it's very slow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, are you... Do I see your username on dark mode? Oh, yeah, yeah, because they have a black name. My my chat box is, like, blue, so white and black names both show up regardless of dark mode. But yeah, they're going to be secretive on some people. It looks like it's stop motion. Yeah, it's very stop motion-esque. Kind of has to be, because, uh, yeah, it's... Otherwise, I can embroider a maximum of four frames a day. But that was when I was embroidering for about 16 hours a day. So it's like about four hours per frame-ish. Some of them take slightly longer, some of them take slightly less long. But I would say that's generally a pretty good amount. Like, a, a pretty good guess. Also, there's going to be on Somne, because Somne is facing straight forward. I will be copy and pasting certain bits just to make it look nice and symmetrical. I don't normally do this, but as you can kind of see, like... My drawing is not that symmetrical, so I'm just I'm just gonna be doing this to even out like some of my mistakes a little bit. Normally I wouldn't because I like them being a bit grisly and silly, but yes, this is better. Oh dear. I feel like it, it would show the reaction with it how they flipped out the fact that it was embroidery. I, I don't wanna have like I don't wanna steal. I feel like that would be kind of milking it too much. Uh to put like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch just reacting to me every time. Uh, so I, I haven't. But also what I will say is, uh, Iron Mouse, not only am I in the video, of course, for the animation competition, but also I am in their end of the year highlights. So it you can see it on their own channel twice, which is really, really cool. Oh dear. I like how many of the things I want to learn overlap. That is nice, to be fair. You can use them for each other. So you can't see blue names? No, blue names are the hardest, but I can still see them because unless people put in a certain hex code, which is the same, it doesn't actually match up. It's just they're the hardest ones to read. Uh, but I can, st I can still read them. Then It's not impossible or anything. It's just, uh, yeah, not, not as easy. A black I can read and white I can read just fine, though. It's just, just uh, certain shades of blue are a little harder than others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh dear, like live 3D animation, 3D modeling, coding program, they all go well together. I mean, you could add embroidery into that if you ever wanted to make an embroidered animation. <laughs> I am so, I'm trying to get people into the item. <laughs> it's, it's been a really hard sell for some reason. Uh, no, no, milk it more. I can't, I, I feel bad, especially because it's in two of their videos. Plus I did make it for them and also I did win. So it's like, I got everything I could possibly have wanted out of that. Actually, I did kind of want to mention this. Um, I, I probably should mention it a little bit, uh, because this is, I, I'm not big in the animation community by any means, but I do follow a lot of animators and I'm trying to be, learn animation a little better. Um, so I did see what was happening with the Pink Floyd competition over the weekend. Uh, for anyone who wants a really quick too long didn't read, uh, Pink Floyd hosted a animation competition for making animations for their music. Uh, and one of, I think the main winner, one with AI, uh, and very much openly admitted AI, which means that, uh, like, I think they won, did they win like a hundred thousand for an AI generated animation? Uh, so I want to be really, really clear with my thoughts and feelings on that, as far as I don't think that was cool, <laughs> and I don't like that that won. Um, if you're experimenting with AI in your own time, that's one thing. If you're training your own AI engine with your own art, that's another thing but stealing art from other people using these open engines, which do steal art, and we're all very aware that they do, to generate your own project. I don't think that's cool. Uh, and I definitely think uh, winning with that was a massive sad moment for both everyone else who worked really hard to enter, but also for, uh, yeah, for, for all of the animators who see that and think that their work is no longer, is there's no point. Because if you can't win against AI, what's the point, you know? So I'm really, I'm, I, that's how I feel about it. Uh, I'm going to be quite clear as well. If people are posting AI animations in my Discord, you're just going to be banned. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start cracking down on it a little bit more. Before we had it where 
If you pirated AI, just make sure that you make sure that it's your, you know, labeling it as such. But I think at this point, since it is majority of the time coming from stealing people and we're not at the place where it's necessarily ethical, I'm just gonna say keep it out of my Discord. Uh, I don't wanna see it and I don't think, I don't think it actually helps inspire other artists. And so I want my Discord to be a place where other artists feel inspired and feel, you know, empowered and seen. And I think having that in there where it's like the majority of the time it is just stolen, uh, it's not, it's not going to be that. So the rules will be changing. I need to actually do that. But yeah, I thought I should mention it because obviously we're about to make an animation. And also we are trying to learn to get into animation. So it's very, it's very, very topical for me. Uh, as someone who's trying to learn a new skill where it does seem that the best way to win in this new skill at the moment is to just learn AI or well, not even learn AI, use AI uh, but that's not necessarily something that I believe in so I wanted to make real clear that people know that that's not that that's not something that I agree with it is use your own stuff if you're training your own engine with your own stuff that's one thing but there isn't really any ethical AI out there right now if you're using internet based AI it just doesn't happen so if you are using those, keep them out of my Discord. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm not gonna ban you from my community for using it. I just don't wanna see it, you know? I think I think that's the thing. And also for someone like me who is trying to learn, learning off AI doesn't really help. <laughs> so yeah, double, double check. Um, double check if before posting, if you are posting stuff from the internet, if I see people consistently trying to spam AI, you'll just be removed, but yes. Uh dear. Yes, I hopefully hopefully that gets that out. I just need to catch up on chat now. Sorry about that, but I felt like I needed to say all that in one go because I don't I didn't want that message to be diluted. So apologies. Uh dear. It should have been me, not him. <laughs> Diana, good morning, welcome on in. One of these days I get a hobby room full of a gazillion things I want to do. Doesn't happen on my because I think it's a small screen. Ah, I see, I see, I see. And comment, good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. And Gina, good morning. Oof, yikes, brah. Yeah, I think that's probably when I started mentioning it. <laughs> I've had to get so many off-brand Lego kits. It's been great, but now I'm running out of space. Oof, that's a bit icky. I have very confident feelings about AI. I think it's a great as a support too, but as the main thing there. Nah. I think the thing is, I mean this in the nicest way, Prism. People aren't using it as a support tool really outside of industry. And if it's in industry, it's using their own artists to train it. So if you find it online, that's not something that's been stolen and using people's stolen art as a support tool still feels a bit like, Again, it's one thing, animation is very easy to learn. I, don't, I, I mean, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials. I've been going through them. It's been great. Even as a support tool, it's not ethical at this point. Yeah, it's because it uses stolen art. Uh, dear Jelly, do you, do you want to show it out? I would love to. Pop it in live stream chat, Gev, if you fancy. Or unless you've already posted it, in which case we'll see it. And we, we are doing the next Discord art show in about 50 minutes, just as a heads up. So it might be a minute till I see it. But uh, yes, you're more than welcome to put it in there. Uh, I feel icky, but AI hurt the art community, sadly. But I do believe in a perfect world it could help artists. I think that's the thing, is right? I feel like a lot of us feel like that. In a perfect world, AI will be helping and supporting artists. Um, but right now, that's just not where it's at. And I think there's also a part of me that's like, I feel the same where I'm like, I feel like this could be so useful to so many people, but that's not where we're at right now. And so encouraging it would not be encouraging where I want it to be. It would be encouraging AI as it is now. And AI as it is now is not something that I want to encourage. Again, within industry, it does get used, but that's not what you're using. That's not what other people are finding. Those are very much closed. Um, and you're never gonna have access to that. So uh, yes. There, that, that argument unfortunately doesn't really stand up, at least not in my eyes. Again, if you're using AI, I would personally say, keep it to yourself. Just don't tell people uh, because uh, most artists are gonna hear, oh, I'm using AI and be like, great. I, I did hear a really good opinion over the weekend, I will say. Why are we training AI to do art? I love doing art. Why can't we train AI to wash our dishes? I hate doing my dishes. Imagine all of the extra time I'd have to create art if we had AI doing helpful things around the house instead. And you know what? I appreciate that take. That's true. Why are we training AI to do art when we could train AI to do dishes <laughs> and then give us way more time to do art? What's that about, huh? Ah oh dear. There we go. 
to an artist calling them yourself an artist freaking well that's the thing as well the person who won the, the competition consistently called themselves an artist and in their mind they are an artist but they're an artist that is using other people to win i don't know it doesn't it sits very wrong with me uh, I'll, I'll be honest i also want to be really clear this isn't a black and white issue sorry this isn't a black and white issue but in this community if i see people are promoting ai art you will be removed so i'm sorry <laughs> i mean it in the nicest way possible um but if you come in and you're like i actually think ai art is great i'm just gonna remove you because you don't respect me as an artist nor my own personal property <laughs> there are it, like places within industry where ai art is used but if you not in that industry are using it it is not ethical it is like 99 percent not ethical so surely people get blacklisted for that yeah <laughs> I, I will be really clear if you're using ai art if and you're in an artist channel someone like mine keep that to yourself like genuinely could not give you more advice because you're just gonna make that person who you're watching feel like you don't respect them that's just that's just how that is whether that's your intention or not uh when you support ai at the moment you don't support artists and yeah i'll be honest if someone came in and was like yeah but i really like using ai i'd be like well then you don't care about me as an artist right because ai steals from me it steals from everyone who posts online so you don't care about my work or you don't care about that you know you know ah oh, dear so yes Using stolen materials never cool. Never cool. Post. Oh, thank you, Gev. I'll have a look at that in a bit. Thank you, thank you. You think there'd be more ethical ISO? There's a gap in the market. They'd make a lot of money. For real. AI is like giving instruction to an artist and then calling yourself the artist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm telling you work doing boring online stuff that I already know. Oh, God, Diana. I'm sorry. I hope that you get through it quickly. Useful for tweeting, but in animation, it's not a replacement for the artist. And this is the thing. If you're training your own AI engine with your own art, that's one thing. And that's kind of more what you might see. And I know they did it in Spider-Verse, for instance. They trained an AI using their own art, but they weren't stealing from the internet, which is what everyone else is doing. <laughs> they were using their own. And But again, I'm going to be real. I think 99% of people watching me on Twitch are not working on Spider-Verse, are not in that group, right? So if you come in and use AI, unless you're really specific, like, oh yeah, I, I work on films in the industry and occasionally we train them ourselves using my art to work on projects. That's different. But that's not what people are talking about. <laughs> that is the not point not 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 one percent uh it takes the creative aspect out of it and i'm in the industry for almost a decade now yeah and then there's the other thing not everyone in the industry does still use it uh i mean ai is a sport tool if you're training it with your own art just forgot to specify i think it's quite important to specify to be honest <laughs> again it's a very touchy subject so yeah i get you uh dear. all of the tech bro hype up with stuff and there's something people get annoyed and i'll never use ai i think I'll be honest, I doubt that I probably ever will because I think it stunts me as an artist by using that kind of support method personally. It's the same way I feel about tracing. A lot of people use tracing to train and that's completely fair if that's what you're doing just to train yourself. But personally, I think not practicing actively and not t making the effort to keep redrawing things, it stunts you as an artist. It's your own choice. As long as you're not profiting off it, I guess you can do it, but I'm not going to encourage it if you're trying to get better, you know? Was Clippy from my back in the day in early AI? I don't know. Do not know. Ah, oh dear. Not everyone. I know, right? I thought everyone watching me was working on Spider Verse, but I have been informed rudely that that's not the case. What the heck? You mean everyone here is not working on Spider Verse? Uh, the software is already there. Someone needs to take that and use it with arts consent. Boom, millionaire. I mean, grob it. Do you want me to delete that from chat really quickly and then you can be that person? Dang. You want if you want to make sure that idea doesn't get stolen. I can, I can remove it. We can pretend. I'll pretend I never saw it. And then in like five years time, when you're a billionaire, I can be like, you're welcome. <laughs> I deleted one message for you. <laughs> He's based on kid, and that's how I learned to do it until I tried to improve it. That's fair. I, I personally, I am, for me, I found that tracing, it didn't help me. Like, for instance, when it came to anatomy, it stopped helping me at a point where it's like, I'm not learning why I'm doing these things. I'm just doing them because I feel like I should. But again, everyone's different. Oh dear, Clippy was a bully. Clippy kind of was a bully, honestly. I like that you could change Clippy into other things. I remember doing that at school a lot. That was good. There's nothing intelligent about Clippy. <laughs> do you think I'll trace line to get the feel of Howard Lines and then do freehand copy, but then I'll do it again. Oh, fair enough. Oh dear. 
No, so uh, one trace in there and then two freehand layers. Fair, fair, trademarked it. Yeah, too late, damn it. I'm so sorry, I wasn't quick enough, grab it. People the Diamond Company feel uh, the same. Uh, AI. Wait, I'm, sorry, I'm, not, I'm not sure I understand. They feel the same about AI? Oh dear. <laughs> you mean no, you can hear my mouse clicking. Is Jelly using AI? I don't know, she might be using AI, but there's a lot of clicking sounds. I'm still using mouse and keyboard. I'm happy, listen. I like my mouse and keyboard. Look at all these nice lines I can draw with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> mm, not quite, it needs to be a little longer. I'm giving this one a really big chin. Yeah, anyway, the only reason I brought that up is because I'll be honest, I don't normally bring up stuff like that because it's kind of a vibe killer being like, oh yeah, you know this really cool animation competition that people spent thousands of hours on? Uh, I've got one by AI. Kind of a vibe killer. I don't normally bring stuff like that up in my channel because like, why would I? I want to have a nice time here. But I felt like in this particular case, it was kind of important because we are doing more animation stuff because it's something that we're becoming more interested in. Uh, I just wanted to make my stance really clear, basically. That's it. Ah, oh dear. So that's why I brought it up. It's for that specific reason of, I want people to know exactly where I stand. And the other thing is because my art's kind of flickery, I've also been accused of using AI. <coughs> now I stream my whole process, so we know that's not true. If I really quickly mute it, you'll kind of see what I mean. All right, uh, right. There we go, there we go. So the kind of flickeriness of it, for a lot of people, that's reminiscent of AI, unfortunately, because it kind of flicks. Uh, but we literally embroidered this on stream frame by frame. So I know people, in reality, they know that this isn't isn't AI. But I did just want to, yeah, again, I have to make my stance relatively clear because I am someone who has been accused of using AI. Um, or, or not accused, asked many times. Asked, but not accused. That's probably a better way of putting it. Um... So yeah, people people see this and they they associate it with how AI looks, uh, which again I do get. And no one's been like really mean or anything about it. I just get a lot of questions, um, and yeah, it's I think it's again important to make my stance really clear uh, because of that because I get asked. And again, like you can see that I've made all of these. <laughs> They're definitely not AI, but uh, yes, I I have to be a little careful. So that's the other reason. One is because we're getting more into animation, so it's becoming a bigger feature of streams. So I want people to know where I stand with that sort of thing, but also because I am someone who gets asked a lot about that because of how it ends up looking. And the thing is, I don't think that's going to change. Like, I think that's going to keep looking like that. So I think it's important for me to get my stance out there. So that when the next person asks, because I think it's a when, not an if, <laughs> when the next person asks, it's like, no. And, uh, you know, we have a, a whole community that knows exactly where I stand on AI art and that that's not something that I'm using. Yeah. Ah, oh dear. Saki, good morning. Welcome on in. Jelly is a keyboard. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Oh dear. Clicking noise are added to make it look real. For sure, for sure. The golems are looking great. Thank you, Diana. I thought Jelly was controlled with the keyboard with her mind. I do, I do. But my mouse has to, I have stuff to use the mouse. The mouse isn't controlled by my mind. Not yet. Whenever I get, uh, I get a partner, uh, whenever I get a partner, I'm going to ask them if they can make their own online keyboard so I can giggle even more when you talk about using a mouse and keyboard. Hell yeah. Uh, so there's a bit of a disappointing in my animation world. The loss of Adobe Flash. I miss it so much. I remember you got to make cool little Flash games. That's just not, that's just... <laughs> Yeah, it's just how stop motion works. I know. I, like, literally, I'm aware. Like, I and, and I feel really bad because I don't want to be like, you're silly. But it does feel a little silly. But I get, I, there's a point in me that's like, I get it. Because it does look like it. But at the same time, it is a little silly because it's very clearly stop motion. Uh, the, the jumpy part of the placement fabric, you're not going to get 100% the same spot. Exactly. And it's that jumpiness that people are like, it's AI. It's not. It is just embroidery. I was here. And I did see it. Thank you, Haplin. Looking is also inherent. It is, it is. Uh, I accidentally came across AI when looking at a uh, VTuber full bodies and it was very cursed looking. The hair stuff is interesting. Fake keyboard noises. I do fake them. The girl in the dress, but they have a double bottle like a caterpillar. Like forearms and a dress on top of the other. I was wondering how they would accuse Jelly uses AI. Jelly, let me show you my mouse skills. Yeah, I'm using AI right now, actually. Uh, can you not tell by this? Like, clearly this is AI. Don't tell Somne. <laughs> oh dear. Save work? Thank you. You're damn right I should save my work. There we go, let's get that little chin in there. Look at that little chin. <laughs> oh dear, there he is. 
a little chin. Probably AI is going to get more advanced. It's harder to tell. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's getting better. It's not getting worse. So there will come a point where it's going to be really hard to tell. And again, for that reason, it's, it's important that I make my stance really, really clear that we are not using AI that we will not be using AI. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't really sense for, make sense for someone like me to use AI because the bit of the process I really enjoy is the making. So like, I, I don't think I can imagine doing that. It just would literally take away the bit of the art that I actually like doing, uh, which is the making process. So yes, no, we, we don't use AI here. We never have and we never will. It just does not make sense. I am someone who values the process and is also trying to get better. So values the process and is trying to learn. And for that reason, it would literally make no sense for me to use AI. So I do not. Uh, I also don't agree with a lot of the ethics around it. So we do, we just do not, we do not. <laughs> you don't have a drawing tablet? No. <laughs> you can kind of tell, I think, when you get close to the finished lines, right? But like, I draw it all with mouse and keyboard, but it does mean that like a lot of the time when you look closely, you can see, I've, I've like been thickening the line weight myself, right? Over time. So we just go back in and add extras and remove bits and stuff. It, it gives it its own vibe for sure. Um, but it is a little different, right? It's because the line weights don't always make sense because I'm adding them in post. I kind of like it, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yes, no, mouse and keyboard, 100%. <laughs> oh, you don't know score. Oh, yeah, absolutely they don't. The only thing I've ever enjoyed in the AI experience quotes, they come oh, God, okay. I do agree with that prismatic. The AI quote generator, like, or the, like, you know, like the quotes with the backgrounds. I remember watching someone react to that and absolutely dying. Jelly isn't here. I am just AI. True, true. I am. I am. Ah, oh, dear. I'm planning to replace my drawing type of bit. I'll type a bit funky. I just don't know that. No, it's very kind. Listen, I really appreciate it. Thank you. But don't do it because I am a difficult, difficult human being. And first of all, I'm very picky. Uh, and I, I'm also, I've already committed that I will buy a drawing tablet after this project is over. So I will have one, I will, I'm going to get one, but um, I just don't have one yet, but I will. And I'm gonna go into a store and I'm gonna talk to the people there uh, and we're going to have a nice conversation. I might also try using a couple of my mates just to see kind of what I enjoy and what I don't. And we'll have a whole, we'll have a whole drawing tablet arc where I test lots of things out, see what I enjoy, and then I'll get back to you on it. So I do really appreciate it. It's very heckin' kind of you. You're not the first person to offer and I, I do really appreciate it, but don't worry. We're going to do a whole drawing tablet arc at some point in the future where I will, I will properly test some things and see what I like. And then I will make the purchase based on that. Yes. So I will, I will get something eventually. <laughs> But I need to I need to test things out a little bit because I I have no knowledge. <laughs> I I'm going in with literally nothing. So I need I need to try some things out first and see what works well for me. But yes, no, I do appreciate it. But don't worry. Do not worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ah oh dear. There you go. Creating is a fun part. That's what I think. He's in Muri to get the jawline. I love him. I, I love it. Just kidding. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's a lot of lows. Looks, I love how they look too. I think out of our first lineup, they're still the one that's most likely to commit the crime. But it's either Shifty or it's you. But uh, <laughs> I love them very much. Inspirabot is awesome. Yeah, it's very silly. Ah, oh, dear. That one, yeah. My design technology seems to accuse me of uh, taking bits off the internet when my designs were too well drawn. God, I mean, kind of a compliment, but interesting. What tablet are you planning to get? I don't know yet. I, that's the thing, right? I have to test some things and see what I get along with because I'm, I'm so, I've never used one before. So it's not like I'm, uh, I, I'm not going in with any prior knowledge of what I like and I need to test some things, see what I enjoy um, and, and go from there, you know, I guess. But that's kind of fun as well. It's been a long time since I've been completely new to anything because I'm so in the, you know, embroidery and sewing world that I don't often get to have that experience. So I'm quite looking forward to just like really, really feeling out some, something new. I think a little new. Kind of love that. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be really fun. And so I couldn't tell you what I'm going to end up getting because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at this stage, but uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on that when I have a little bit more information. Yes. Ah, oh dear, the AI is hilarious, but AI art, nah, yeah. It's a time of placement thingy. Take care of facial structure. It's a funny medicinal world, I guess. Oh, nice. 
Are some of them huge? Yes. Specifically goat. <laughs> Spe specifically this poor bean who uh, is just a little too big for our lineup. Uh, this is what goat looks like. This is their full thing. But uh, this <laughs> this is what goat looks like when they're in their lineup. They're just a little bit too tall. Oh dear. It could be really funny though. They can. They can. Vile! Good morning! Welcome on in! It's the thought that counts. It is! It is! I do appreciate that. Animation look amazing. Thank you, Vile. I appreciate it. For durability, get a whack on project. For price wise, XP pen is your way to go. For me, I am a uh, I'm okay with saving up a little bit longer and getting something that works really well. So if it means spending a little bit more money, I'm okay with that. Rather than buying something that I find uncomfortable to use, especially in cases like this, because I am so attached to mouse and keyboard, right? I've been drawing like this for years, and I'm very, very, very attached to it. And so it's it's then it's got that extra difficulty layer of trying something new when I already love what I was using, right? But so I'm going to be quite picky and I'm going to if it means saving up for an extra six months, I'll do it because I wouldn't want to buy something that I don't like as much as mouse and keyboard and then just never use it because it doesn't live up to that like expectation. So, yes, that's that's where I'm at with that. I don't mind spending a little bit if it means that I actually use the thing. I mean, also this is just, I guess, I know my brain. If I don't like it more than what I was using before, I will never use it. Uh, so yes, hopefully this means that we get the most value for money, you know? Also, I'm just getting the, the base ones in, so I'm not worried too much about how these look, as long as they kind of fit in the right thing. I kind of want, mm, did it go in too far? Mm, I guess I could have some extra flicks behind. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. I eat then good morning, Nick. <laughs> I next even is really good. Hell yeah. She's a little gremlin. She is a little gremlin. Goat is goat. Goat is very big. A pie, good morning, welcome on in. I had a black on the next week, and so far they seem about even to me. Nice. Uh, I also heard about an app that you can turn your Android tablet into a phone tablet. Is it Procreate? It's not Procreate. Ah, okay. If you want a portable, get an iPad Pro. Uh, portable's not too, but I, I, that, that one I can pretty much say in advance is not really a problem because I do not go outside very often. And even when I do go outside, I'm more likely to bring like embroidery or something with me than drawing. I, I never really draw outside the house. I'm a little self-conscious bean, right? So the idea of drawing outside the house, ooh, ooh, that's too much, too much for me at this stage, at least. So yes, that the portability, I can, I'm okay with. I'm okay with that one. It's easy to be able to narrow it down with stuff like that, though. Ah, oh, oh, have a lovely lurk, Maggie. I hope it goes well. Good luck with work. I'm not sure if I like. I, I like the big dramatic hair, but I'm also like maybe. Can I have this bit come up a little more? I think. Maybe. I'm not gonna look at the, the other bit. I'm just going to be like, I also don't mind if it's a bit messy at the edges because again, I can come back to this. Like this. And then. <laughs> yeah, I like that more. <laughs> yeah, got his big old waves. His big old waves. He looks great. Ah, uh, I didn't realize you did art with a mouse, especially though I- Oh, bless you! <laughs> there might be portable as, uh, as in you- Oh, take it to the bed or the couch. I see that. That does make more sense. I immediately went to- I don't want to go outside. <laughs> Draw outside the lines. Yes. I'm gonna go big. I had a nap, so I'm gonna get work through the night. Oh, bless you, Vile. Good luck with the work. I hope it goes well. How's your Merge Master stuff going? I said going about drawing, but you will share it with the internet. Yeah, brains are weird. You're right. Brains do be weird like that. Ah oh dear, Jelly the Little Goblin is like, it's not outside. I just, I'm just not an outside kind of person. I went outside for two days and it took me two days to recover. <laughs> it's just not in my DNA anymore. Ah oh dear, I like, I like big sweepy, big sweepy hair. Now, am I going a little further away from the reference potentially? But I think, I think Sonny will understand. It's worth it because big sweepy hair also. I'm going a little outside my reference now because I want to go, I want to go dink. And then I want to go dink. Oh, not quite like that. Okay, sure. You know what? Acceptable. Acceptable dink. Oh no, because it's really small though. <gasps> I don't want small dink. I want big dink. And then I want... Mm. Let me zoom out again. Let me zoom out again. 
kind of want it a bit lower down so that it matches the other side a little bit more. I don't want it matchy matchy. Excuse me two seconds. I don't mind if this bit's messy in particular because it's like the start. We're getting there. Uh, oh, you're kidding me. How much? I think we're safe. I think we're safe. At some point, I went onto the other layer. Uh, maybe I should just lock this layer for now. <laughs> no more of that. No more of that. Dragon, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. You can have a also draw portably. Any sort of uh, uh, use Android tablet as X stuff I've had has had pretty awful lag. So I suggest you get a cheaper tablet or draw the tablet itself. There are some nice apps for it. Not Procreate level though. Also, welcome on in. We are, we're having a little discussion about different types of tablets for different things at the moment, which is why people are bringing in that kind of stuff. Because for some people, that's what they need. But for me, maybe that's not what I want. It's interesting. Big sweepy hair is good. I approve. Source having big sweepy hair. Why they're just fun, right? I like big hair. I like the hair being a big feature because the heads are so big. Some of them don't have hair and that's still good. Though don't get me wrong. The goblins without hair, I still love them. But when they do have hair, I want big sweepy. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, I was going to work on it yesterday, but I was super tired and fell asleep for a couple of hours. Going to work on the logo and get a bit more done. 3D print some stuff and then try and get that done later. Oh, good luck, Vile. You got this. I hope it goes well. Ah oh dear, here here, oh wait Val, are you the one that with the greased up tube? That is the Val with the greased up tube. The phallic objects, yeah. Took a break of work and Spike's family, me and my friend at work. We went camping for a week and it was a mess. What did you do? What did you do? All right, I'm gonna add a new layer. Oh, 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 oh. New layers. Ah oh, dear, if you have chronic health issues, I think something portable is not a bad idea. God damn it. Stop hitting me with goddamn logic. How dare you all be so logical on a goddamn Monday morning? What's that about, huh? How come you get to be logical at a Monday morning, but my brain doesn't... It takes till like Thursday to wake up. Oh, speaking of, actually, that is something I needed to mention. Speaking of Thursdays, uh, while we're doing the goblin and the, uh, and the animation project, we're not going to have spooky Thursday streams. Uh, just as a heads up so we won't be playing any horror games for probably a month or so just while we're working on this project uh, it's not the first time this happens it, it happens basically whenever whenever we have a specifically big project on the go we stop playing games for a little while so just as a heads up there won't be any horror games on thursday for probably a month or so yeah oh dear can i get out of bed i'm thinking of buying it oh uh, here you on canvas 16 pro <gasps> Nice. Also, Sunquay, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I hope that all the stuff with the cosplay is going well. I was actually lurking your stream yesterday when you were talking, because you'd done the thing on Instagram, right? Where you'd been like, uh, you know, pick me a number and I'll, I'll tell you about things. Uh, <laughs> it was interesting to hear about your cosplay plans. How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Another lady associated with one of the greased up tubes. That's vile. That is vile. Super brush can turn your Android phone to a drawing tablet to your PC. You should try it if you're interested. Ooh, okay. We have spooky animations dead. Spooky yeah. animation for sure. Funky, thank you for the party, Saki. Gonna hop out. No, you're fine. Take care, Diana. Good luck with the day. I've used a Samsung yeah. Galaxy tablet for four years now. I don't watch yeah. it much, but I want to start us for note taking and writing kanji. Name of size included. I got the app and it turned to two months and it's very handy. Our first night about to sleep. Ten dear went to do you like, do you like, party, do you like, party, 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 do you like, do you like, party, 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 per se but i think that's kind of the charm it's like a like one of those camp horror movies right where it's like you know it's a little silly <laughs> it's a little bit silly but it's nice also thank you so much for the party i think i like this it's like not too symmetrical i think it looks nice i, th I think it looks dramatic noise so much noise fire me a motivation party this is my brain at 3 a.m it's kind of spooky but kind of not it's just like fun with friends yeah i also like lethal company and i feel lethal company has that same kind of vibe if you play lethal company on your own it's quite scary but if you play it with other people it's not so much scary and it's just kind of silly bless you for the luck i'm concerned about how some pieces just do not line up but we'll figure it out hopefully i'm sure you, I'm sure you will 
Oh dear. Yeah, I've been I had to be very lurky. I was like, I'm not even gonna announce that I'm here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop into a lurk. Um but things are better today. We have a good day today. My shoulder hurts, but other than that, we're good. There we go. Okay, we have quite small ears on Somne. Somne is quite a small eared goblin. They got little teeny tiny ears. <laughs> Oh god, sorry. My friend was mad and I'm like, I'm gonna eat you Bambi. Delicious, delicious. Love the shirt, thank you. It's actually from the men section at TK Maxx. <laughs> there you go. Din dins, have good dins. Enjoy them. Enjoy those heckin' dins. Have a good'un. Ah, oh, dear. I, I would probably be the same. Ah, like, oh, damn it, Bambi. Well. <laughs> well. Because they're getting Lethal Company, but I'm going to be too scared. I'm not going to be chased in games. So I will say, if you play Lethal Company on your own, it's quite scary. Well, it's not like super scary, but it's like scarier than Phasmophobia, for instance. But if you're playing it with other people, it's stupid. It's just a stupid game. Very silly. And that's kind of, I think, the joy, right, of like that sort of game is you can have two very different experiences depending on how many people are joining you. But yes, ph Phasmophobia, I, I do kind of agree, is not that scary. Uh, and and Lethal kind of is. But if you're playing with other people, Lethal's not scary. Okay, do I like that? I feel like the ears should come out a little bit, maybe here. You know, that's a bit low, isn't it? Maybe, maybe here. Yeah, maybe. It looks a little small, honestly. Can I... Excuse me two seconds. Let me just grab this ear. I think like this. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. He looks cool. <laughs> I like him. <coughs> have you seen the new game Content Warning? Have you heard of Content Warning? I have not. Please don't spoil me. If it's a good game, I'll have a look at it after stream. I have not heard of it. Ah, oh, Delude the Company and Phasmophobia. Okay, I love cop games. My friends are usually asleep or busy. That's fair. Also, thank you for the save. You're right. I should save my work. We need to start thickening these lines up, though. Getting some some life into them. It's bedtime. They go fine. Anonymous, get some good Z's. Thank you. Hopefully, I have more goblins to show you later. When me and my friends play Lethal, our first buy is always the invert teleporter, so we can teleport to random places. <coughs> what do we normally get first? Teleporters are a big one, but I don't think it's the thing we normally get first. I think we spend the money going to like, uh, what do you call it? Expensive planets. All the expensive places where like, we want to go to Titan. I'm going to spend money going to Titan. Also, yeah, for anyone who's new here, this is what we do. After we've done a drawing we like, we go in and we just kind of manually put in some line weights and are like, yeah, that looks, that looks good. And then I use my eraser to make the edges look nice and sharp. <laughs> it's a, it, is it a little scuffed? Yeah, yeah, it's a little scuffed. But I, I actually find this very therapeutic because like, there's no pressure here, right? I'm, I'm already happy with the drawing, so like, I don't have to worry too much. It's a little more difficult the hair, like drawing all of the lines or like the texture bits. But other than that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't mind this. I can I could do this all day, and I have been actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the goblins are taking an average of God, how much is it? Like five hours each, I think, at this point. Because some of them really do take a lot longer. Like goats, for instance. I loved making goats, but goats took forever. Because trying to work out where the hair went for that one was it was a proper brain twister. Couldn't work it out. But uh, yes, other than ones like that. Here we go. Little ear. Little ear. Ah, uh, dear. I remember I have points. Make them thick. With two C's. Jetpack. Oh my god. The jetpacks are so janky, though. <laughs> uh, how is long until show and tell? It's underneath me. So just here. If you're ever curious. There you go. I've got it. I've got it right underneath me to keep people up. Because I, I know people want to know when their art is going to be on screen and such. So if you're ever curious, then the next time, as long as I've remembered to actually set the timer, is is underneath me ah oh dear added scuff to digital is now pro move it is it is pro move manually manually yes my manual my manual stuff manually adding lines i think they look cool though it's definitely a vibe i mean i think 
maybe I'm wrong because I've not used a tablet, but I get the feeling that even if I did use a tablet, this would still be something that I'd do, right? This is still something I'd do. I'd still, I'd still go in and thicken up the lines I want thick and thin out the lines I don't want thick, right? Ah, oh dear. I haven't finished the base of my Vita model. It's been months. Listen, nothing wrong with taking a break, though. You know, taking a break and coming back with a refreshed brain. That's not bad. Even if it does take months. I think as well, like, even if you're a professional rigger, that it can take months. And that's if you're working consistently, right? So you're someone who is... Well, to be fair, though, I feel like you're at a professional level. Maybe, like... Hmm. Hmm. I feel like you have a good excuse. I guess that's what I'm saying. I feel like you have a good excuse. V-tubing models do be taken a while, after all. <coughs> I need the lines to look straight clean and I struggle. Yeah, I think I think I go up... I, I don't know if this is messing up my lines, but I have a sneaking suspicion I just go around messing up my lines. <laughs> but I like it! I think it looks cool. Ah, oh, dear. Thanks. Yeah, you're all good. It's, it's if you ever forget, but also for anyone else in chat who just doesn't know that. It's useful to say every now and again, right? Oh dear. She showed and told us. Yeah, I tell you. It's then. Don't worry. It's so that people, like, especially if someone's posted their art that they know. And also, it also knows that if you, say, have to leave, but you've posted art, you know where in the VOD you can see us checking it out. Yeah. That's that's why we do it like that, really, these days. So that if, because a lot of the time we have, um, listen, I'm not here calling anyone specific out, but we have a lot of people here who might be a little bit insomniacus and don't sleep very much at night and then suddenly have to go to sleep, and which is very fair. And I would rather you get the sleep when you can. Uh, but what that means is sometimes people post stuff in the Discord and then they've accidentally fallen asleep, right? So they don't get to see it on stream because they've fallen asleep by that point. And yeah, I, I always felt bad when people were like, oh no, I missed it. What, what happened? Where, where is it? And it's like, well, now it's really easy because you know exactly where in the VOD it is. So if you've fallen asleep, you know where to check. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a problem. It gives me cartoon vibes. I'm not a professional. I've never actually rigged. Not properly. Don't you make PNG tubers? Have I misunderstood that? I thought you'd made some PNG tubers before. Like, maybe not a full VTuber. But PNG tubers are still part of the sphere, right? At least I, I'd count them as. Ah, dear. She's not, not properly. She's calling me out. I'm not calling anyone specifically out. I, I, I just know we have a lot of sleepy beans in this community. And I, I would always feel bad when people were like, oh no, you were talking about my art and I missed it. It's like, I'm sorry. And then I also would not know when in the VOD it was because like, again, all time goes together on stream. So I don't know when that was either. But now we have a little handy dandy tool, which one me means that I'm at least doing a minimum level of productivity, which is good for me as an artist anyway, but also uh, means that anyone who's posted art knows, knows that, which is nice. I think, I think all over, out of the things we've changed this year, that's probably been my favourite, I, I think. Because it's just made a lot of things a lot easier for a lot of people, including myself. Uh, I have a friend called Insomniac. Nice. I have me awake at 5am, which is a later time than me than usual. If you ever do need to pop off to sleep, please do. I made PNG Deepers, but I haven't rigged. Fair enough, fair enough. That, that, okay, yeah, I get you. If you've not made them doing live 2D as well. Yeah, nah, fair enough, okay. I get you. I get you. We're on the same page now. It took me a minute, but I finally caught up. <laughs> oh dear. I want to rig, but the art isn't done. The art does take a really long time. As someone who has made a small army of VTubers at this point, of little chibi VTubers, who I'm all very proud of. I love them all very much. But I made a little army. Yeah, the art takes a really long time. <laughs> oh dear. He's got to represent. Ah, oh dear. How early for me, though? Atlantic time zone. Yeah, oh dear. Shadow, welcome on in. I don't have clean lines, which makes it take longer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. The lines do be very important. And also, but like, also like the bits in the background. Oh, God, there's so many layers. There's so many layers. It's also like one of those things of like, you'll probably get this once you start rigging you'll find that you, you follow the first times, like you follow guides. I, I'm assuming you're following a guide of like how to split up a VTuber. Because I think most people, myself included, start with following those guides. So you kind of know what you need to break things down into. But then the more that you do it, the more you'll realize, oh, I don't need that, but I do need this. And I don't need that, but I do need this. And you'll start like making your own guide. And when that happens, oh, everything takes even longer. Uh, <laughs> 
You'd think narrowing it down would make it quicker, but no, because once you realize what you can do, oh, suddenly you'll want to do all of it. And you'll go from being like, oh yeah, it takes me like, you know, 50 hours to do the art to, yeah, it takes me like 500 hours to do the art. And I've done it to myself because I want these things, uh, which means if I want those layers and I want those things and I have to draw them. <laughs> oh dear. Live 2D is a very, very scary program because the more you learn, and the more that you can do, the longer things take. Not shorter. Not one of those where it's like, oh, I've got good at the program, so now things are so much quicker. No. No. The, the better you get at the program, the more you time it takes. <laughs> because the more you realize you can do, and it's it's terrible. It's, it's a very dangerous program. It's very fun. I do enjoy it, but oh my god. Like, first VTube, it might only take 20 hours, and then it'll be 40, then it'll be 100, then it'll be 500, and it's like, how did this happen? Why, why is it taking longer? Because <laughs> you can do more. The more you can do. Oh, dear. But it is fun, though. It is fun. Oh, dear. My mum brought baby chickens, and they've just hatched, so all night I've been listening to beep, beep, beep. Oh my god, that sounds lovely. That sounds heckin' ideal. I did some uh, scuffed, barely rigged things and realized uh, what I need to do. I'm missing stuff, but I know, but you know, you'll, you'll pick things up. The more you make, the, the better you get. Same as like with any art, right? The whole practice makes perfect thing. I would still add more at this point. Like to the VTubers I made, if I was to remake them, I'd be like, well, I learned this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that in, of course, which means drawing like 10 more layers. Oh, and then this, oh, that needs at least 30 more layers. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous one, but it is fun. It's fun and dangerous. Yeah, you go from like a one hour model to a hundred hour model. I love Live TD and VTubers too much to not spend a gazillion hours, yeah? You could zoom in and do one pixel at a time if you want perfection. That sounds like a plan, Scott. Honestly, why have I not been doing that? That's such a good idea. I probably could as well. I think, I think it could. I think Photoshop would let me. And like, here you go. You want, you want to do one pixel at a time? You can. Oh, the next time, next time. You know, we're, we've got to get our goblins done for now, but I can I can remember that. I can keep that in my brain as a skill a skill to try next time. Oh, dear. I use the scuff version when I stream, and even that just makes me really happy seeing it move. Oh, 100%. Like, we, so we actually, this was, oh, God. Oh, my God, that's another thing I need to mention. Um, So we actually made our first VTuber about three years ago, right? Um, which this is gonna be a bit confusing to people because they're like, Jelly, you don't use a VTuber. I, I do sometimes, only when I'm not well, but there have been times in my nearly four years of streaming where I have been consistently unwell to the extent where I need something to cover my face, basically. But because I use a face cam most of the time, people get a bit worried if I suddenly stop using face cam because they're so used to it. So what we did was to prevent people from worrying too much because I was okay. I just, you know, didn't want to show my face for a little bit. Um, we use a VTuber. And so I would have rigged and made my first VTuber and we did the whole learning process pretty much on stream, which meant we did the learning, the training, everything. And we had like a whole training arc to making my first VTuber so that when I was feeling unwell, I could just cover my face and not worried about it. And it was honestly really nice because it became like a community project where we were all, you know, just we had like our, our, our debut stream where we were sharing it off and stuff like that. And it was just really, really nice. And like the first models, of course, they were really scuffed. But for the majority of the people in the community, myself included, this was our first, like, you know, that's the first VTuber stuff we've ever looked at, right? We, you know, we're makers and crafters normally and we were, we were all quite new to it. And it was really, really nice. It was like a really fun thing to do uh, with the community, but also like uh, for myself uh, and I've made for myself, I want to say like close to 15 fully rigged models at this point because I got better and I'd, I'd do new stuff. Sometimes I'd reuse the same art, but then sometimes I'd need new art and my style would change. I got more cartoony at one point, uh, which is where we're kind of at now. And that's what I've enjoyed drawing more. So we stuck with like the thicker lines and more cartoony style. And then, yeah, that's that's where we're at. And I've I've enjoyed the whole thing. Uh, the reason that I suddenly remembered is because it's actually my four-year anniversary in less than a week. Uh, have we got anything planned for it? No. Uh, I also can't stream on the day of the four-year anniversary because they're going to be turning our power off, which is... 
<laughs> you know, I, I think it's hilarious. I think it, it very much it's typical, but yes, no, we actually can't stream at all on the four year anniversary, which is this Sunday, because, uh, yep, I'm not gonna have any power, so uh, I won't be able to be live, and I also probably won't really be around at all, because I have no power. <laughs> Uh, we might do like a little celebration on Monday. Maybe we'll do like a little marathon stream or something. That might be kind of fun. But I don't have anything specific planned this year, I will say. Just because we have so many other projects on the go at the same time, I don't have like a, a set idea of what I want to do. But it is four years on Sunday that we would have started streaming because I started streaming on the 14th of April, uh, 2020. That was my first ever stream. And uh, I streamed for six hours, making a shirt, uh, from scratch, mostly it was ironing and cutting out pattern pieces, and I didn't talk to anyone. Well, that's not true, actually. I did talk. I talked the whole stream, but I believe I had an average of 0.1 viewer. <laughs> for my first stream, it was something like that, right? An average of 0.1 viewer for my first stream. Uh, I talked for six hours straight, and I had an amazing time. There was just no pressure. I got to talk about what I was doing. I got to be productive. I had a time set aside for my crafts and never looked back. I've really enjoyed it ever since. But yes, four years. It's been a hecking minute and I still enjoy it. If anything, I would say these days, I actually enjoy streaming even more than when I first started because I've kind of got into a bit more of a groove of it. You know, there was a lot of anxiety. I think a lot of people get a lot of anxiety when they start streaming. Uh, and I was not really any different. I was also anxious. Whereas these days, I'm just like, I'm just gonna turn up and have a really nice time for a few hours, and then and then I'm done. And I just it's just it's just just been a really nice thing, and I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, as if you couldn't tell, but that that's that. All right, let me catch up. I got so much to catch up on. Oh dear, should make my alpha model surprise. I want to stream. Okay, but then I want to stream it, so I've changed my mind. I'm leaning towards trying streaming again and doing it in a way that's more me than I did last time around. And I want to do a PNG tuber at first, I think, but I don't know what kind of PNG t G tuber yet. That's fair, and you have a lot of time. Like, there's no rush. Whenever you fancy getting into it, you go for it. After I get back into wanting to draw, I've just slowly started collecting ideas of how I want streaming to go. PNG tubers are a fairly easy way to dip your toes in, and it's very much recommended. And there's a lot of VO rolls as well, for sure. Do uh, do a max. Uh, Headroom style animation to piece together a hundreds of jelly frames. Uh, wait, wait, did you look at them? I did not. <laughs> in that, they yeah, just celebrate early, late. Never known an artist of only one project. True. Invest in a generator? Could. Invest it so I can stream on, <laughs> on the anniversary. That would be quite funny. Oh, I haven't put the eyeballs in. <laughs> oh my god. Little hollow eyes. Because that's COVID? Kind of, but no, actually. I, so I'm one of those streamers. It's very much a coincidence that I started streaming at the beginning of COVID because I had been wanting to stream and I had been suggested to stream for about six months prior. Um, so in 2019. But the reason that I didn't was because uh, the space I was in, I was like crafting from my living room. So what that would have meant was I would have been in the way constantly. So. I happened to stream at the beginning of the pandemic, but it wasn't actually because of the pandemic. I'd been planning to stream for about six months prior to that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, you want me to hydrate? I can do a little hydrate. Take, take meds, you take yours. I took mine, you take yours. Oh, dear. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't stream until then because I streamed about a week after we moved house. So when we moved house, it just happened to be at the pandemic. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I started looking at streams as a video diary instead of for hoping for interaction because I'll get caught up in numbers and shiz. I have the entire four years never had viewer numbers turned on and I can't recommend it more. <laughs> Just don't look. Like if you go to my, uh, this is the other thing as well. So if you go to your streaming dashboard on Twitch, for instance, um, which I can't find right now because I'm lost. Oh, there we go, there we go. So you can choose to have things viewed or not at the top. And the only one I have on is how long I've been streaming for. Viewers is turned up, followers is turned off, bitrate is turned off, subscribers is turned off, sub points is turned off. The only one I have on is session, which is the timer. Uh, and the reason I do it like that is because otherwise it's very easy to get caught up in the numbers. And I think, how to put it? Like you tell a joke and then three people leave and you're like, no, <laughs> you know, that kind of vibe. It's easy just not to know. Tell bad jokes, you know, it's fine. Ah, oh, dear. 
I hate it if I can't make a stream. Like, I'm really looking forward to my own stream, but others as well. I missed a shifty stream this weekend because I wasn't well and I lost such a good streak that I had on their channel and I am mad. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually upset about it because I like Vile and Shifty are the two people that I consistently have good streaks on and I, I like even if I can't watch a lot I'll always try and lurk for a bit because I like the streams themselves but also I've got a really good streak going I think I'm at 44 for Vile and I was at like 30 something for Shifty and now I've lost my streak <laughs> and I am so mad uh, there it is again, wait to have my eyes look. I'm creating a new PNG to with my brand new colors and it's exciting, hell yeah. Ah oh dear, I did, that's why I'm reminding others. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I always have my numbers off. One time I notify your view account is the only time. Oh yeah, but the problem is, uh, I, I think, I, I normally don't like being notified of my view account, but the one, yeah, the one time that happened was when it was 5,000 plus and then I just didn't believe it. <laughs> because like, why would I? <laughs> So the only time people remind me of my view account is when I'm literally not going to believe them anyway. <laughs> I don't imagine someone is liking you, but they're not, because it makes me feel better, for sure. I'm surprised you don't have bitrate is shown. I turn it off because when I see my bitrate, it stresses me out. <laughs> Anything that stresses me out, I just turn it off. I have if I drop frames because that's part of my OBS, but everything else, I keep it off because I just don't want to see red bars while I'm live because then I'm like, ah. We know followers turn off around 5K celebration is going to be a surprise to you. I always know when I hit a milestone, Scott, because my mum tells me. <laughs> Also, Fen, good morning. Thank you for the save one. Anime, welcome on in. How you doing? I can't wait to get an MLP VTuber. I found an amazing artist and rigger. Oh, amazing. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Fen. Fun uh, fact, half the time someone actually is lurking. They are. I don't have a clock in my room because it gives me anxiety. That's very fair. Like me, I am lurking. Amis, thank you so much for the lurk. Have a lovely lurk. Take care of yourself on Monday. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. Check again after you've had an, uh, an Indian... <laughs> <laughs> no streaks here. Oh no. I still don't have the box. I'm sorry, Vile. I have like a 44 streak on Vile and I'm like, I'm very proud of it. I don't, I don't have streaks on many people uh, because I can normally only catch streams in the evening. So it's like if people are consistently evening streams and I might like Schleaves, I sometimes get a, 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 a streak on and then I lose it for, I want to say like, I'll get to like a streak of like eight and then I'll lose because sometimes they're on a little early for when I'm well. But I often get streaks on people. <laughs> just not, not always. And yeah, Vile and Shifty just happen to stream at that perfect time for me where I can nearly always catch their streams. And yeah, <laughs> but I lost Shifty's because Shifty, I think Shifty streamed this weekend on Saturday, right? I think it was on Saturday I lost the streak. And yeah. Sad hecking times. I was doing so well. It is what it is though. It is what it is. I did my best. Uh, get that down here. Yeah, I want him to have a relatively stoic expression. He is meant to be a knight. I don't think he looks too old. He does have scars. We'll go back and add those. But I think my time has hit zero. It has! Ben, good morning! One of the reasons I'm making a beat is a pony now. Hell yeah! Ah, oh dear. I only catch on days I have work because I'm awake. Oh, yeah, that's very fair. Like, I think for most people, I catch them as and when I can, right? But, like, you know, timetables change. You can't always watch. Twitch keeps breaking my streams even when I don't miss a stream. Yeah, I would say that you ha should have a pretty good streak here because I see you at most streams. Vile met they met when I got the spawning event and Clothia. Paul has a big nudity habit. None of us can prove that Vile is not naked for every single stream. Also, our time has hit zero. That means it is time for our first Discord art share of the day. For anyone who has not been at a Discord art share before, it's when we go through and we have a little look at what people are posting, whether it's, in this case, impulse buying or other things people are working on. And we have a little look at all the art that's being created or looked at while we while we're, while we're streaming. For instance, here we have an impulse buy from Queena. Oh yeah. I don't blame you. Those are really, really nice DMs. Those are good hacking. Those are good hacking shoes. I will say the photography they've done on these DMs. <laughs> like they look, I get that they are a work of art, but they really do look like a work of art. Do not blame you. Do not blame you. Good, good impulse buy. Very nice. We have a... Oh. Oh, AI, I see, I see, I see, I see what Schleaves is doing here. A Lego doodles? Wait, what? Wait. What? A... What? 
How do you do this? How do you do this? These are not an impulse buy? How do you... How do you do this? How do you do this? I like the gold colour. How do you do this? That's Lego? This is Lego? Wait, stars. What the? What the? Oh my god! Did someone paint those dogs? They look so cool! They look really cool! No idea of nude. We never know. We never know. Oh dear. No, no, the boots. Oh, I see. The boots are not an impulse buy. They are very, very sensible buy. For true, for true. Tangles. I remember when they were only just blocks. I like the Lego flower kits a lot, and they often add interesting pieces. It's a collaboration with a national gallery, so it's like literally a work of art. There's no impulse buying. That is very sensible. Okay, we have that. And then if we go into pets and animals. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, such a poser, such a poser. Oh my god, I, oh my god, they're such a good bean. They're so good. Band, you got a new collar, a very pretty blue. Oh my god. Papa, look at Papa fashion, fashion Papa, oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, you know what, this does require a blue heart, for, sh for real, there you go. But also, fashion. Fashion. What a fashionable papa. So cute. So cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So fashionable. Oh, they still need to break in your dogs? Oh, you should. Hell yeah. All right. We've got a quite a few arts and crafts to go through. First of all, uh, this was posted over the weekend, I believe, which is this is one of the uh, maracas that will be at the Poly Maker booth for the Rocky Mountain Red. Oh, oh, wait, that's really cool. That's so clean. Oh my god. That's really nice, Vile. Like, I, I'll be honest, I'm a big fan of the colour as well, like the slightly more muted, sort of bluish. It's interesting. And the muted orange as well. Really nice. Really nice. Very clean. Very cool. Oh dear. Yeah, really nice. And then we have from Gino an update on the diamond painting. So again, with this one, you can kind of see the difference between the bits that have been diamond painted and which that haven't. This is a commission piece that Gino's been working on and they are slowly working their way to the center. Look at it. You can see all the sparkles coming up around the sides. Ah oh dear, and making their way in. I've made two of them. I need to put the third together. Very exciting. My friend with, uh, from work is a Nerf person. Val's a Nerf modder. So then their name is Vile Mods because their name is Vile and they mod Nerf Blasters. <laughs> Very hecking cool, Gina. Good luck with the rest of it, of course. There we go. Thank you for the hick as well. We have in embroidery. <gasps> a stab at making a froggy friend? I love does he have a mushroom helmet? Wait, does he have a little toadstool above him? <gasps> I love him. Is he a mixture of toadstool and froggy? Because he is very good. He's a very good bean. Look at his little hands and his little feet. I love him. No eating cleaner. Not for eats. For looks only. <laughs> the little smile as well. Oh my god, I love him. I'm sure there's a frog emote, right? Yeah. I love him. He's so cute. I'm that far back. I'm here for the new stuff. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is this. Oh my god. Oh my god! Look at the little guy! I love him! <laughs> the little feet! And the little- oh my god! So cute! So good morning! Welcome on in! We're just doing our first Discord art share of the day. We got a little- we got a little- uh, a little fella- a little fella popping along here. If we go across to art now, we have- oh, I should say, because Anime posted these before, new sub badges! So they have all the different flags of sub badges, I love them very much. I don't know what subscription level the buyers won, but that's the one I would need to get to. I need this one. <laughs> They're very hacking cute! Oh, and also a sketch for Makoto as a pony. The, uh, anime was talking about this earlier. They were looking to make their OC into a pony, and then they had an artist and a rigger, and it's very hacking exciting. We've got all of that. And then Vile posted some very nice tentacles. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then Saki, a new finished piece this weekend. Very hecking nice. Oh my god, the hair as well. Hecking lovely. Really, really nice. I mean, you. I know you said you're practicing hair, but it looks really, really good. Really hecking nice. Uh, let me get some emotes on that. And a whip for me. Oh, you're making a doll. Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> look at this fella. Look at him. Boing, 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 boing. Oh my god, that's got such good boing energy. I love it. I love it. The most boingiest, the most boingiest toadstool. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is. 
Oh dear, that's so nice. Cthulhu, coloured and designed for a wedding quilt you're making this week. Ooh, exciting. Hey, I love the colours of it. I love the oranges, pinks and purples. Like a sunrise. It's so pretty. Or a galaxy even, maybe. Really, really hecking nice. I look forward to seeing it made. Hell yeah. But wait, this one needs then because it is a it is a work in progress. We need a we need a hype. And then a heart. Hell yes. Very important. Why am I bouncing along with the mushroom? Because it's good vibes. It's good vibes. Mushroom dance. <laughs> mushroom dance. Hell yeah. And then uh it's we got knitting. Oh, knitting and crochet. Oh, we got a couple things. So clues first from a free pattern. Where you finish? Oh my god, clues. That's so nice. You know who I think would really like this? Is Queena still here? I feel like for some reason this is up Queena's alley. I also really like this. Don't get me wrong. I also think this is really nice. It's really pretty. It goes really high neck as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. So heckin' lovely. Oh. That's, I don't know how long that took you, but it's stunning. Very beautiful. I like the, the presentation as well. Really, really, really nice. Oh dear. Trying to crochet with a sleeping baby. <laughs> oh my god, the multitasking. It looks like you're doing a good job though. It looks like you're doing a good job. Look at the ball of yarn. It's massive. Oh my god. Yeah, that would not fit in a normal yarn ball, would it? A uh, yarn bowl even. You need you need like an, a yarn bowl extra large. Look snuggly. Yeah, the tiny feet. <laughs> Smaller sleep feeds. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. Also well hecky done. You're very productive. A very productive bean here. Who is who is comforting baby but also crocheting. My god. We all wish we could be this level of productive. Alright. We go across to woodwork and metalwork. Oh, these are people that are just talking. Does anyone have an experience? Oh, actually, we do have a question. For any, and anyone who wants to go and answer this, you can. Does anyone have an experience with pewter slash tin casting and have any good UK supplier recommendations? So if anybody here happens to know anything about that, pop into the woodwork and metalwork part in the Discord. And uh, and we, we have someone who is looking for some help. So yes, they're not, they're not necessarily in stream, they are just in the Discord. If you need a link to the Discord, I can grab that for you. Um, for anyone who might have more information, because unfortunately, I am not very useful in this case. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we can't always be useful, right? All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your art with me in the first Discord art share today. I appreciate it. I think we caught everything. I'll just double check. Oh, no, wait. We have Cthulhu posting in uh, in general chat. Sorry, sorry. Um, which is, uh, the I did see this at their house, I will say. But uh, the dried flower centerpiece, yeah, which again has some really interesting and unique Lego pieces in there. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, this. So we have, we have this in there. Anything in food? I don't know if I want to check. Oh, no. <laughs> no, nothing in food, actually, I don't think. I don't think there's anything in food. CJ, good morning. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe there is anything in food right now. <laughs> Oh dear. About a week for that show was in a crochet along. Oh, heckin' lovely. It looks really, really nice. I will say as well, anyone who's getting into crochet this year is doing it at a really good time because uh, crochet is very, I, I don't know how much people here follow fashion, but crochet is very in fashion this year. Uh, like uh, custom crochet pieces, very in. So you're, you're doing it at a really good time where you'll be incredibly fashion forward. There we go. I think, I think I'm happy. I just need to go in now and add the hair. Okay, let's do that in a separate layer. I'm gonna keep the other bit hidden as well because it's probably gonna throw me off. So let's start getting some, some, and also the scars as well. Scars and hair time. It is time for adding bits. All right, let's see. First of all, we'll work from the center and we're gonna say, well, this bit goes like here. And into there. Again, these are just kind of like the basic bits, because otherwise I get lost. So help me remember where exactly the hair is going, so that it can all come together really nicely at the end. Oh, actually, I don't like that very much. I don't know if I like that very much. Let's uh, let's do like a little one. There you go. Might have to neaten that one up again later, but that's okay. I haven't reset my timer, have I? 
I bet someone's tried to remind me of that. My bad, let me, let me sort that out. There we go, reset timer. No food here, nope, nope, nope. I'm putting together a little uh, draw for my VTuber a couple days ago, it was really fun, hell yeah, Prism. Reset timer, thank you, Clues. I was like, I bet someone has noticed that I have not in fact reset my timer. Thank you, I appreciate it, I'm sorry. You are all better memory than me. Oh dear, all right, get that in there and then get that in there. Nice, nice. It's gonna be so fashion this year. It's gonna be so fashion. It's 500 gram yarn ball, but I have two of them in the UK doing. Oh, f f vacation filled up my suitcase completely. Hell yeah. I put together a little outfit. For my oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I do, do believe I read that one. My bad. Please excuse me. My brain is trying its bestest. It's just it's Monday, right? Monday is a brain, a brain waking up day, as is Tuesday, I would argue. I think it takes more than one day for the brain to wake up. So Tuesday is also a brain waking up day. Uh, Wednesday I don't stream, Thursday I guess I don't really have any excuses by Thursday <laughs> if my brain hasn't woken up by Thursday. Welp. Oh dear. And then we have this. I kind of want it to come closer. There you go, like that. I will neaten up these edges, don't worry, I won't leave them all like bobbly and stuff. It just uh for now, just for now, we'll leave it like this. And while I'm mapping things out, because there's a lot of curls on this one, which means it's a little bit more difficult. And that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. And get that to there. And get that there. And then we need this one here. There. Mm. There we go. Oh, don't know if I like that. Well, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. We'll, we'll think about that one. It's not awful, but it's not perfect either. Then again, I guess it is hair and it's not really meant to be perfect. There we go, put that one in there. Get it up higher, actually, because I think, I think the bit that I don't like about this, put that to there. I think it's where it's going into. There you go. I think, I think I could like these, <laughs> but I think, I think not quite as they are. I think that's fine. And then get that into there, get that into there. I think we can work with this. I think we can work with this as kind of a guide. Ah oh dear, I joined a yarn bomb, I'm making crochet mandala to sew onto hula hoops. Oh heckin' lovely so. Ah oh dear, did I miss the Discord chat? I just went to get food, I'm sorry sheeps. It, there'll be another one soon, there'll be another one soon. Ah oh dear, Thursday, uh, Thursday you're winding down for the weekend, true. Thursday I'm winding down for the weekend, so that doesn't count. And then Friday it's one day from the weekend. So like, I guess the only day that my brain should be awake is Wednesday. And I don't stream Wednesdays, so my brain is just never awake. If we've talked, I have not been awake. All right, I think that looks pretty good. It looks, a well, I say it looks pretty good. It looks pretty silly, honestly, but I think it's a good start. And I think, I think we can work with this. If I see any bits like this, I'll just neaten them up as I go, because I was quite zoomed out, which means that probably a lot of my lines are not super well lining up per se, but uh, yes. We can, we can work this out, I think. I think we've got a good start going here. All right, let's get that, those in first. And then, oh yeah, see, there's another one. Just little, little elbows, little tiny elbows on my hairs. But the hairs that I draw don't have elbows, so not allowed. And then we have this one. Actually, you know what? I think I would prefer this one to come out a little more. Yeah, more like that. And that one too. And then we'll have to get one in here. I think I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Because these bits get pretty large. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well first of all, let's go up. Up. And up. And then... Whee! That's pretty good. And then we can bring this around. And if I go... Dink, donk, dink, and I go dink, donk, 
think. Hmm. Maybe to there. And then I could go think. Donk. <laughs> this might look a little silly, mightn't it? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if this looks a little too silly. I'll give it a go. So, again, for anyone who hasn't seen the rest of the goblins, hi, welcome to me drawing hair by hair with mouse and keyboard. It's, it's a little weird, but it does end up looking good. It's a very much a trust the process. Like, do, do I like that? I don't like that. Turns out the answer is actually no, I, I don't like that. I think what I might need to do with this is uh, just have these be like straight lines. And if they happen to meet up, that's okay. They're allowed to be friends. I think I think they need to be a little more like this one's probably going to meet up with one. So let's let's take this down a little bit. Take that down a little bit too. And then take one in from here and go like so. And then we'll just erase the bit underneath. There we go. And work with that. Yeah, I think. In fact, if anything, I could even do a a second one going into that same one, I think. There we go. Yes, I think so. I think so. Oh dear, I'm gonna make a fan favorite outfit draft. Hell yeah! I don't get Monday brain a lot. I get Monday body though. Ah, uh, I I think for me, it's just mainly brain. My body doesn't have a clue what day of the week it is, thankfully, and I, I don't think anyone should tell it because it means that it handles pretty much every day the same, which is nice. Don't tell it that it's Monday. It doesn't need to know. What it doesn't know won't hurt it, you know. But Monday Brain, now that one I do definitely get. I don't know why, because like, the other thing as well is, the place, one of the like places I worked, I will say it completely has confused my brain for years, but one of the places I worked, the week started on Sundays, and so now for me, whenever I think about stuff like Monday Brain, I'm like, well, Monday's the second day of the week. And it must have been one of the places I worked at, like, to start with, because it has stuck with me for so long, that Sunday is the first day of the week. And like, I know that sounds weird. Don't get me wrong, I'm with you. I know it sounds weird, but I, it's been too long. I can't fix it at this point. Oh dear. Do I like that? I think I would like that, but I think it needs to go into the point more, which is I think to go in here. Like that, yes. But maybe also come from here. Yeah, like that. And like that, and like that. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. The swirls, the swirls. They're getting there. Trust the dink donk. We trust the dink donk. When give art just be an art related stream, like it swears I work. It really does. Like watching other people do art, same for me. It, it's like, ah, oh, damn, they're doing art. Oh, I kind of want to do art. I think the other thing, okay, correct me if you don't, or like let me know if you don't agree. But I think, put yourself in a situation where you're not allowed to do art for whatever reason. Weirdly, best motivation. Like being told, like say if you're like at work and so you can't actively do art right now, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, the only things you can think of is art. And I, but the problem is I don't know how to like actually work with that as a motivation method. Like it always works. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I have like a 100% streak with that working for me, but also how do I get myself into a position where I can't do art and thus am motivated to do art, but also uh, suddenly I can do art actually. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's a difficult one. Yeah, being in a position where I'm not allowed to do art makes me more motivated than probably anything else when it comes to art. Oh, oop. There we go. Like that's when I get all of my inspiration when I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. Or yeah, I should try this or give this a go. Always doing those moments where I'm not actually allowed to do it. But yeah, I don't know how you use that. <laughs> I don't know how that, is that a useful motivation? I don't know. Zero, how you doing? Welcome on in, how goes it? We've been gobbling, gobbling all over the place. Gobbling everyone in this community and turning them into goblins. And we are currently working on Sonne's goblin. Uh, but we have already made 11 goblins. We have 11 goblins. Our goblin family has been growing. Uh, but yes, right now we are making a som Somne goblin. There we go. How goes How goes all the stuff with the house? I hope that it's going well. 
There we go. And in there, nice. Okay, that's a little curl. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, this looks pretty good. Hey, look, it looks pretty good. Ah, oh, dear. God, yeah, I doodle when I'm, I'm doing study things. Yeah. Oh, the arting along is easy. That's PDA. Yes. Literally doing art right now. I have the exact opposite. Tell me if suddenly I'll be interested in doing a wall more of that. Oh, I see. This happens when I drive. I now bring an iPad everywhere to avoid as much as possible. Gobble me. Unfortunately, we already have 20 goblins. But next time, next time. Been so busy lately, but good. I'm glad. I hope. Yeah, it's mostly good busy stuff. I hope. Oh, dear. Nothing wrong with being busy, but it's definitely more fun to be busy with good things. Oh, dear. So I hope, I hope everything has been good. We're about to do another animation soon. Uh, <laughs> so we are, we're getting really practiced at drawing goblins and goblin features because when we do the animation, we're gonna have to draw a lot of goblin. Uh, so while these goblins that we're drawing are not going to be in the animation, they're other people's OCs, so that wouldn't really feel right anyway. Um, they're not gonna be in the animation. They are helping me with references for how I draw goblins and what I like to do and such so that we can make the goblins be as as goblin-y as possible, you know, with maximum goblin energy. And I'm having a really good time. So you've actually joined us with Sonny. Sonny is like one of our only two slightly more muscular build goblins. The rest of them have more of like the standard body shape. But I wanted to try and draw at least a couple like this because they are so different to what I'm used to drawing. Like I'm used to my my goblins being like a little rounder and a little more like soft and like little soft beans but yeah no somnays somnays is a is a slightly harder bean so we have to we have to get used to drawing little hard beans as well there you go get that in there and at the moment we're getting their hair in because it's important and it takes a while <laughs> it takes a while and a lot of planning so here we are getting the hair in the, the hair swirls so far are looking pretty cool uh, your next stream, you're only allowed to do admin and maybe doodle for five minutes. How's that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sleeves, no. I don't know if I could do that. I think that might be physically impossible. I think you're asking the impossible, Sleeves. No goblins? Only five minutes of goblins at a time? That's not possible. That's, that's not fair working conditions. I need at least... At least... A 60-30 split, I think. 60 towards goblins. Wait, 60-30? 60-40. Oh my god, excuse me. Please excuse. Monday brain. It's trying its bestest, but... Math. There we go. And get that in there. And then... Yeah, we have this one. Oh god. Like so, and then into there, and then there. Okay, I think that should look fine. Yeah, yeah, that'll look fine. It looks a bit odd right now because it's not next to anything, but by the end, that should be fine, I think. Oh, that's the eraser. Okay, let's get that a little smoothed into there. Yeah, that'll look fine by the end. It might look a little odd now, but be one of those things. There you go. Come on, come on, draw a straight line. There you go. <laughs> oh dear, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Okay, get that in there. And then we have, yeah, big, big one going up. Got that, we got that. Maximum goblin energy, yeah. But you would get the art brain working, but my art brain's already working. <laughs> I was about, uh, so I'd like to ask what the other 10% would be. Yeah, like, if my brain, the other 10% is, I think, food. Something to feed the brain, you know, snacks. 60, 30, 10 art share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 10% art share. There you go. There we go. 60, 40. 60 hours on, 40 minutes off. <laughs> also, Geb, have a lovely look. Take care of yourself and get some good sleep. If you are watching the eclipse, I hope you have a good time. I mean, I guess that's to anyone, though. If you are watching the eclipse, I hope you have a good time. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh. Okay, and then down. Oh god. And then down. 
into there. And then down. Oh, no, come on. Come on. There we go. That looks good. And then we can just zoom that into the bottom. And zoom this into the... Oh. Oh my god. Please. Mouse and keyboard. Yes. Thank you. Do what I say. Nice. Okay. So it should be the bottom bit. Yeah, so just the top bit then. <laughs> I, lo I love drawing that. It's very psychedelic and silly, but I do enjoy it. It is fun. Ah, oh dear. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh dear. Gonna try and see the eclipse of clouds of forecast. That's fair. That's fair. Well, I hope I hope maybe you get to see it a little bit. <laughs> Oh dear. And then into here. And then I might even. Oh, do, do, do. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit of more in there. There we go. And then get that up to there. And then get this up to here. Oh, come on. There you go. And then get that up to there. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Bit wobbly. I don't want it to be completely straight because otherwise I just use the line tool. But uh, a, a little less wobbly than that would be good. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I think the last eclipse was in 99. I think so. It's been a minute. It's definitely been a minute since the last one. I know, at least where I am in the UK, that we don't really have a good viewing opportunity for it. And that's fine. I, I, I'm, again, it doesn't really affect me too much. I'm not too bothered either way. I think they're cool. But it's like, you know, I know to people who have like astrology or photography and stuff like that as a hobby that it's going to be like a much cooler thing. Or it's like if it's part of your uh, spiritual practices for whatever reason. I'm sure that you'll have a lot more to get from it than I would. Which is why I am saying if you are going, I hope you have a really good time. I hope you get whatever you want out of it, whether it's a really cool photo or just the experience. Or if it's a spiritual thing, I hope you get that out of it. For me... I look forward to hearing about it from other people. You know? One of those. I'm like, yeah, look forward to other people telling me about it. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. I look forward to other people's experiences and hearing all about what they do and what they saw and whether they got a good photo and all that kind of stuff. But I don't necessarily need to see it myself. There we go. And down there. Oh, I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like that line actually. You know what? I think it's that line that's doing my head in a bit. There you go. That's a bit better. Let's zoom out really quickly. <laughs> There's a big flat bit in Sonny's head here. <laughs> actually, what I might do is rather than this. Because we have other places these kids can go, I might just try and maintain a little bit more fluffy. Not that I want it to be too fluffy. I'm kind of, kind of invested in sort of flat and randomly curvy, but uh, a little, a little fluffy. There we go. Get that in there. Oh god, actually, I think it's this one that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Get that. Oh, it's because it keeps going out. This is the problem with, well, one problem with Photoshop is it's really hard to see the cursor. So I actually can't see where I'm dragging it to. But then also uh, it's it's really hard, literally on mouse and keyboard, to do long, vaguely straight lines. Like, because I don't want them to be actually straight, which is me being picky, to be fair. You know, one of those things, I have no one to blame but myself, right? I really don't have anyone to blame but myself. And then I guess I could use this as this yeah we could we could go in early i think that wouldn't be the bad a bad call go into there then and then we could work from there yeah 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 uh damn well, we six feet and uh three to six p.m for most of it nice gonna try and see it uh what time is meant to happen i'm not actually sure so what time it's meant to happen because it's not something that i'm like super super invested in i haven't really looked into it super cloudy here anyway have my jaffa cakes ready Listen, if you do see it, I hope you have a good time with it. You might have to Google it, though. And I'm sure if you're watching me, anyone here could Google 
what time specifically in your time zone you can find it. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I, I actually have no idea when it's happening. I just know that it is happening, like, in the next 24 hours. Here we go. And in there. And that one should just be a straight line then, I suppose. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Getting half it going into there makes it look like the curl is starting early. Nice! Going down, sitting was intense, and I just saw a video of an ice skater doing a backflip. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Time away, I didn't want to look it up. Oh, did you did you pop it in the Discord? Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Some oh didn't mean to do that. Sometimes I know things, but most of the time I don't. Most of the time I just Google. <laughs> Sometimes I know very specific things, like sewing related stuff. But most of the time I just Google. There we go. And get that in there. And get that in there. I'm gonna have like some oak tree style patterns in Somne's hair. They didn't ask for this. I don't really know if it fits their character, but it is happening. Because they have like these bits, which like I think will look good if they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like so. I just need to thin out that endy bit there. Then again, nobody asked for half the things I've been doing with people's OCs. But I think they look cool, so here we are. Ah, uh, dear. Full services are going to get more rares and moon is slowly f Oh, is it? Oh, interesting. I kind of mad. I bought a sketchbook app uh, before it was free. Then it went free. Then you ordered it, sold it, and got another company. Oh, pay me uh, like for years ago when I bought it. But still, that is annoying. No, that that is really annoying. Very fair to be annoyed at something like that. Jeez. Uh. There we go. Get that out there. Get that out there. The nice thing about drawing it in bits as well is <laughs> I could just could just do a little line, just a little teeny tiny line, and I don't have to worry. And it'll look good. And then if I take this one out here, then I can go donk. Actually no, I think just the three is fine. Uh, let me just make this one a bit shorter. And I think I think I can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna add a fourth one, but I actually don't think I need a fourth one. I think I could just Yeah, do this one and then follow this down. And then this one could just go the whole way down to like there, and then bring it in here. Nice. Maybe a little further down. Yeah, like there. And then like, mm. no, no, mm, no. Yes. <laughs> That's the one. There you go. And then we got five. Nice. Okay. How does that look? Is Sonny's hair looking like wood? Kind of. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel. I, I don't hate it. I feel like maybe it needs another one in there. Just because this feels like kind of a big gap. The hair is always the most difficult bit to work out. But once it's worked out, I like it a lot. Yeah. I think once the pair of the top is done, that that will make more sense. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the whole trust in the process. I think it'll be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Don't think about it too much. It, don't, don't worry about it. The more that we think, the worse it gets. So if we just keep going, the other thing is this is all done in a separate layer. So if I don't like any particular bit of it, I can fix it later. But half the time, I think I need to fix it while I'm working on it, and then afterwards I finish it, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was hoping it would look like. <laughs> so let's. Finish this first before making any rash judgments on whether I like it or not. Because otherwise, I might end up liking it and I won't know because I went too quick. And I just went and deleted it immediately. Okay, that was a really good straight line. Jesus me. What the heck? That's not like us. And... Go! Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've always liked live chat, thank you, Sean, I appreciate it. So yours are gonna start to the evening, so I don't think I'll see it. That's fair, that's fair. Other than I have the app for drawing on my phone, and now part of it's behind a paywall. 
Yeah, that's 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 pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That, that is pretty annoying. Okay, we need now. Come on. Like this. And then like that. And then like that. And then like that. And then like oh that's a bit long, isn't it? Let's let's uh there you go. To there maybe. To there. Mm, maybe a little further actually. Let's actually let's get this one. If I just erase these a little bit, I could take these further. That's okay. We can we can work with this. It's alright to take a little bit longer. As long as I'm happy with the end result, it doesn't matter. Also, I have to keep reminding myself that it's not like these are commissions or anything. This is free art. And I know Somne will not be mean to me. I know Somne is not going to be mad if it's not perfect. That they're going to be okay and chill and regardless. As everybody else has been as well. And by the way, thank you everyone for being so chill. <laughs> Thank you everyone who has received art and not been mean about it. I appreciate it. I I'll be honest, when it comes to my art, I'm quite happy to take some criticism if you think that I could have done something better or if there's a way that I'm doing things that's making things harder. I'm quite happy to hear it, but I'm glad no one has been so far upset with how their o OCs look, even if certain things are not like 100% correct or anything like that. No one's been mean. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh dear. There we go. Uh, me when I give my VTuber almost uh, or half off or shoulder hair jackets, the ones that have slipped down. Oh my god, hard, hard, difficult. Uh, I bought Zombies Run when I was first released, and they moved to free but subscription mobile, and I got the legacy discount, which albeit isn't free, but it's like eight instead of that. Ugh. That's still annoying though. It's still annoying that they can do that when you you bought it and it was like a free product. I don't know. That's still kind of annoying to me. I mean, it's better than nothing, don't get me wrong. I had the same thing with Photoshop back in the day. That I had a legacy account for Photoshop. I technically still do. And then I got a phone call, no, an email, which said basically, I, I, you know, you need to call because you have like a very old Photoshop account and it's going to start costing you money soon. And I was like, what? What do you mean it's going to start costing me money? Like I've, I've never paid money for Photoshop, like, like that much money for Photoshop. And it was basically just that, yeah, like, they, this was, this was, god this shows my age of how long I've been working in Photoshop though. Um, this was when Photoshop then moved to like a, a paid subscription program and all that kind of stuff and the money had gone up and this happened, I was a legacy for quite a while I will say that. Uh, it was up until about three years ago I had a very very old Photoshop account but uh, yes, now unfortunately I still have it slightly discounted but it's like nothing compared to what it was. And I have to pay more money than I used to. Bad face. I mean, I do technically get more, but it's not stuff that I ever use. So from my perspective, at least, it's like, eh. I would have preferred to just keep paying the old price for the one thing that I do use. But sure. I don't know if I like this. In fact, I don't know if I like any of this. I might. I'm going to be a bit picky here. I'm just gonna fill this in. I think that it'll look fine if I just fill it in. And see how it goes, because this is on the top of the head anyway. So I think I think this is fine. I think I'm making it over complicated for myself, you know? There we go. And in there. Oh god. I have to neaten a lot of these up, aren't I, afterwards? Because I am, I'm having to stay quite zoomed out for these long lines, which means a lot of them are not the neatest. That's okay, that's okay. I also need to remember to blink. Have you guys noticed? Whenever I do stuff like this, I don't blink. I like genuinely forget. And then it leaves my eyes like actually hurting because I'm just not blinking. Oh my God, it's because I'm focusing so hard and it's like, God, it gets me. Oh, 
Normal content god, I hate the paid Photoshop. Yeah, I still have my, uh, I still use my PS5, CS5. Oh, I see CS5. Also, Cedar, good morning. I never said good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I hope that the week so far has been good for you. Uh, let me see. This the, yeah, no, the way Photoshop went was a shame. It was a shame. Okay. But I wish, I wish that I still had it as it was. <laughs> Oh, no, thank you for the hydrate as well. I just realized this is Animal Crossing. It is Animal Crossing music. Yeah, Alty. The idea of neatening all this up sounds like a nightmare. It kind of is and isn't. Like, I guess, is it a lot of work? Yeah. But it's like not a nightmare. At least not to me. I quite enjoy the process. Find it quite relaxing, you know? What going, f finding all the little lumps in the hair and like just being like, eh. no more lump. Out you go. Think about that. It's kind of nice. And like so, maybe. No, oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Actually, let's space these out a little more. So, and then we'll get this one in here. Oh God, that's a big eraser. Yeah. And just uh, get this in here instead. Yes. That looks good. Yeah. In there, in there. Nice. Uh, I wish it did be offered a one time purchase. I wish it did too. I genuinely do. You need a blink redeem? We kind of do. So yes, uh, fix had one release before they went paid. Still works fine for me. Hell yeah. They used to. That's what I had. Yeah. Oh uh, dear, the old version. Uh, Clips only paper to me. Honestly, the free tool uh, packs people share make it very versatile. Yeah, Photoshop used to be, but it, they they literally for me at least they forced me out of it. So like I again, this only happened a couple years ago, but I basically got told that my account would shut down if I didn't upgrade. So I don't know what you would call that, but I had to change my Photoshop model because they said I couldn't use the old one anymore, and then they told me I had to pay for the 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 monthly payments and I still have like a slightly cheaper price but it's not it's not like it was you know it's not it's not comparable to what it was before which I really liked um, and again I don't get any extra use out of it that was one thing when they were talking me through it they were like well you know on the positive side you have this 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 and I was like yeah but I don't use this 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 and this I just use my one thing and that's all I've ever used. And now I have to pay more for it. Oh dear. Poor work assistant they didn't deserve. But also, I didn't deserve. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, nah. Nah. Not anymore. Uh, I call that a scam. Yeah, capitalism. Capitalism. Tis capitalism. Means I have to pay more. You can get... Uh, what can I say? Actually, I had to be a bit careful, so be, be, please bear in mind that on Twitch you are not allowed to actively promote anything illegal. Uh, like even, for instance, illegally downloading films and stuff like that. So do be a little careful, uh, and I'm being a little careful here, just so read between the lines a little bit. Um, there are versions of old Photoshop that you can use still, which won't get upgraded, but that also don't cost money. And there are plenty of download links for stuff like that. The thing is, because I use Photoshop on stream and because of my stupid brain, I can't do anything like that without feeling intense anxiety, which is why I pay for Photoshop. However, to be clear, the money that I get from streaming sometimes, like from subs and stuff like that, that goes to pay my Photoshop bill. So it kind of all comes back around. <laughs> You know, I can't, in my good faith, use a illegal version of Photoshop, and I never will because that's not how my brain works. My brain is but a silly, silly bean, and I can't do it. Um, but being live on Twitch and sharing my art does actually pay for my Photoshop. Uh, so it kind of works out, you know? <laughs> it's a little silly, but it works out, so I can't be mad. Or at least not too mad, right? Also, side of note, thank you everyone who has ever subbed or gifted subs or anything to my Twitch channel. Now you know. It all goes <laughs> into me legally paying for things so that I can actually use them on stream without feeling stupid and guilty. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, I think that looks okay. I tried to get it, yeah, yeah. I tried to get it like a little bit started so early. I think they look really cool. I think they look really cool. Uh, I think it's done the product code, so I've been able to move it across laptops. Ah, I see. I want to be like Love Creator, just a one-time payment. Yeah, other methods to what you want to find. Yeah, I had Photoshop since 2010. I got it free from high school. Oh, that's really good. It's not illegal. It's antique. Yeah, I can't. My brain won't work like that, though, Shaleves. The free pirated version of Photoshop of Love was horrible and would never recommend. If you type it in the Google links for shop, which you shouldn't click on, it saves you much money. It saves you so much money, which is disgusting. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so allowed to gift subs. I remember getting told off. We don't encourage it here. When people do choose to sub, I think most of the time if it's like for the emotes and stuff like that is fair. I don't personally encourage subs because I feel like there are people on Twitch where art is their job and I feel like if it was between subbing to me or subbing to them, I, I think, you know, it's their job. And I think that that can really go a long way to supporting someone. So I, I, I guess what I feel is I don't feel like I don't want to steal them from other people. <laughs> Which I know is not how subs work, but you know what I mean. Um, and so yeah. <laughs> but anyone who ever has, thank you. It does. It do, it just contributes back to the the software and like other bits and bobs that we do. Like, yeah. In fact, pretty much all of it contributes back to either the the software, like Live Two D and like uh, Photoshop, or it contributes to the craft suppliers for like the collector and beads. Or it contributes to making prints, so it, it all it all goes back one way or another, but not always, I guess, in exactly the same way. <laughs> There's a few different ways it goes back in, but yeah, no, consistently paying for Photoshop and paying for like the art subscription programs. That that's been a pretty consistent one, to be honest, since day one as well. That's been nice. That's been really nice. Ah, uh, I kid, I kid. That's yeah. I I know. I really do appreciate. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I just don't want to feel like I'm taking from other other people. Oh dear, who who have asked, especially when they have like they're trying to become professional artists. Like I'm in a very I'm in a, a very Hobson's choice, good good bad kind of situation where I am stuck here. Like I can't do anything else because I'm not well enough. But also it means that I I am here regardless of whether people sub or gift and stuff like that. So it's like I'm always here regardless. <laughs> Because this is what I do. This is how I pass my time while I'm hopefully getting better. So yeah, that's a good good one. Uh, I should uh, together drop Adobe and start using GIMP and then uh, and then make them burn. <laughs> you also do our deserve to be spotted. Bless you, Saki. It's very kind of you. I'm paying for entertainment. Are you entertained? <laughs> you know, so we don't produce content. We enjoy. Yeah, but I, I think personally, and I've said this actually, I've said this for years at this point. I think I get a lot more from streaming than I give back at this stage. I would like that to change at some point, but right now I feel like I get a lot more than I give. And because of that, I'm like, well, you know, I'm benefiting from this, I would say more than anyone else watching, no offense, <laughs> but I genuinely think that I am because it gives me motivation and it you know, gives me a space where I can be creative in a healthy way that I wouldn't normally have. So I would say I get a lot more back from this than any of you do. And until that's different, you don't need to support me financially. Until I'm giving back more than I give. Which might be difficult. I have high standards. I have very high standards. Especially because I've been on a bit of a... A bit of a... What do you call it? Selfish stream of vibes. Only doing what I want to do. Also, Somne's character has some scars. So I'm just putting them in now. I just don't want them to look too uniform, which is why I'm, uh, I'm kind of just taking a bit of time and letting the mouse do some little uh, wibbly wobblies. Because I want them to look a little bit more random. And I think I think that's gonna get them in like that. I'm also using the thinner the thinner brush again, so kinda see it looks uh looks a little different. Looks like some different skin tones and such. I spent 2.5 subs worth of traveling each day just to the sub. <laughs> the London experience, yeah, it's expensive. Oh dear. Hell yeah. Is that still the case? Because the sub prices has gone up. Grab it. Is it still about that much? Because now it's gone from three ninety nine to four ninety nine, right? I think we've gone up in the UK. It's got more expensive. 
Nice, nice. I get a lot of money give. What do you think you're about to do? Do backflips while juggling people aren't satisfied? They're not forced to be. <laughs> well, that's what you think, Robert. But I have actually uh, implemented a system where you are actually now forced to be here. Uh, you, you might not have realized yet because you haven't tried to leave permanently, but it will be, I, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but it's going to be harder than you think. <laughs> but uh, that's all uh, that's like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know? <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you. I want you to, to discover it naturally. So don't worry, don't worry. Oh God, what happened there? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it has. Like, can, 10 a day? Oh my god. Oh my god. I will say though, actually, we I don't do the tubes, obviously, but when I was traveling to, for work in Wales, um, <laughs> where I used to live, it was £8 a day, which then went up to £9, but where I live now, if I was still trying to commute in, and bear in mind, it's not even like that much further away from where I used to work, but if I was trying to commute in now, it would be £15 there and back every single day. And, uh, no. Thank you. I'm alright. Also, the trains themselves, they're a little better where I am now, but they're still pretty garbage. So, for the most part, not worth it. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put some little scars on the ears as well, just because with, like, the chunks cut out of them, I do think it just makes sense that they have some. Cedar! Heck, thank you so much for the four months! That's very hecking kind of you. I hope you enjoy your emotes for another month. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. Oh dear. God, yeah, no, I, I, I imagine, the thing is the tubes in London, like they're all right. You know, they, they do go relatively often. They're very warm in the summer, but like at least they go, but I, for 10 pounds a day, that's quite intense. That, that's, that adds up. I mean, I do think that you earn more in London generally, but I think that is just because it, it, not just for travel, but generally it's very expensive to live in London, right? I think it makes sense. Get a little spot on there. There we go. And then over here, have like a little bit more. So it's a bit more natural because, it's, you know, I guess you can have just one big scar, but normally there'd be some like, I guess, tissue disruption around it. Let's get a little tiny bit in there. There you go. Yeah, they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. They look stoic. Glad that I don't want to leave them yet. Yeah, you got to be careful. I'm attached to the emotes. I'm glad you like them. Ah, oh dear. It's another three. It's a three month one? What? Was it? Oh my God. It didn't even show up that up for me. Thank you so much for three months. Oh my God. You might hate us by then. <laughs> we have a whole animation project. Cut, I cut us down a bit. Now to see if people like it. <gasps> what? Exciting. My ex lived in Kent, but uh, traveled within. Oh, the TFI. Thing is, though, was that actually cheaper for them? Because, like, there's a part of me that thinks it probably was. And if it was, I completely understand. Jesus, Cedar, thank you so much. A followage doesn't work, Cedar. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. However, I can tell you, you've been following since the 14th of November 2022. There you go. So if anyone wants to know how long they're following, just ask and I'll, I'll let you know. Because <laughs> for some reason it doesn't say, it just doesn't say. And we have the alert, the, like it should, but it doesn't work. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you'll see on the next book, so they're posing the art channel. Thank you, Vile. I appreciate it. Also, I'm going to say, when is our next break? 15 minutes. Okay, so it's not too long away. We have uh, Somne's face, which I think looks pretty cool. Like they look, they look a pr pretty stoic bean, but it's nice to have some stoic beans in there. All right, and they've got their scars. So now, a body type we don't tackle very often. I also put them in shoes. I don't know if I, it's because they had shoes in the reference, but I'm not actually sure if I want to keep them in shoes. I'm, I am a uh, up in the air on that one at the moment because I think shoes are cool, but like, I don't know, they really suit. The goblin? Because I feel like the goblin's more ruggedy without the shoes. Whereas I guess for humans, like, you probably would want it. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I think it works for Somni's reference, but I don't know if it works for goblin vibes, you know? Okay, let's go in here. And then up here. Here. There. In there, in there, and then just get like a little extra bit in there. Okay, 
I think we can do it like that. I also just added a little bit in here so that we had uh, we had like a little bit of the fabric drooping because I think that will look good. Yeah, just get like a little bit more droopy droopiness in there. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, dear. To click on your name to say yeah, yeah, anyone can do it. I promise. No, <laughs> unfortunately, I I genuinely don't know why it doesn't work. But it's so on and off the followage about whether it's going to work or not. That at this point, I'm just like, if someone tries to do followage, I'm like, ah, yeah, I gotcha. You. Don't worry. Sometimes it does. It did the other day. I, we were all very surprised. Someone was like, followage. And we were all getting ready, I think, to tell them, oh, yeah, heads up. You know, that's not going to gonna work very well here. And then it did work. And it was like, oh, well, <laughs> screw me, I guess. You know, I don't know what's going on in my own channel. It's fine. <laughs> There we are, and then get that bit, like a little extra bit in there. Uh, actually, we could do it like this. So I'm not worried about, by the way, it going over the top of other things right now, because I feel like that's fine. Yeah, I think I think that'll be fine. Like that, yeah, and then you get that in there. Okay, and then that looks good. We actually, I had a bit of practice with this the other day because I did Cthulhu's. And Cthulhu's, I love Cthulhu's design, really big drapey vibes. <laughs> so I got kind of lucky because we had this one and then we have Sonny's like pretty much straight after. So I'm still in the, I'm still in the mode for doing drapes because I'm not normally in the mode for drapes. Drapes are hard. I, I'm not normally here, but today and, and because of the last one, I was here. I've practiced and now I feel more comfortable, comfortable coming back to drapes again. Even though drapes are not very easy. I, I think fabric in general is one of the harder bits when it comes to any kind of drawing, even if it's like more cartoony like mine is. Oh, fabric's hard. <laughs> fabric's just really hard. Making fabric look good, it's very tricky. And then get that in there. Get that nice and smoothed out. There you go. And then we have this extra bit, which I'm just going to do this with for now. And we'll work into that a little bit later because yes there we go okay and then if i ding dong ding dong nice save save it oh dear mobile business oh i see maybe he's an odd goblin he could be a little odd goblin big grin you got you got a little that you you have you have a grin do you yeah oh no you don't have a grin i gave you smiling eyes though i don't know if you can tell that you're smiling based on the eyes but i tried to I tried to make you look like you were smiling, even though you didn't have the mouth. So I think technically you might be one of the happier looking goblins right now. We have Grobbit looks relatively like okay. Uh, Pipia looks happy. I don't think Shifty's actually happy. Uh, and Sleeve, Sleeve looks happy. We have like a bit of a mix, a bit of a mixture between happy and not so happy goblins. Thwapes, oh wrong one. <laughs> it's just tall goat. One tall goat right there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I like, I, I like drawing them a little bit grumpier, but a lot of the OCs have been really happy, so it's like, ah, oh, I guess I better draw them looking happy then. If they're giving me their OCs and they look happy, I'll keep that vibe going. But generally, I like drawing more gr grumpy characters. <laughs> That's why uh, the goblins, like my goblin OCs at least, are pretty grumpy, but that reflects what I like to draw. Whereas this is meant to be a drawing exercise of practicing that's not really meant to reflect what I like to draw. Because then it would be too easy. There we go. I do want that to be a little thicker out there. There we go. And then with these ones, just have them be like that. I know it looks a little messy right now, but it's because there's going to be a hand. So I don't need it to be super neat. In fact, that one I don't need at all. And then this one, yeah. And then this. And just go into there. And then get this one going at the side and have it be, there you go. Nice. Okay, I think I think we can work with this. Where well, we got some nice thick bits at the side, under the arm, they think look nice. And then we've got a lot of bits to erase. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Oh dear. Shifted this looks happy, tired, and spooked at the same time. Yeah, they're going through it a little bit. Grobbit is just a friend. Yeah, Grobbit looks like a friend. Grobbit looks like Grobbit looks the friendliest out of all of them. I think <laughs> maybe Grobbit and Pipia. I think look the friendliest. 
Oh dear. Your bed looks relatively okay. This usually the set of comments I get. No, I just meant like you weren't like ec ecstatically happy or like sad. You weren't either. You were just like fine. You know, you're at work. You're all right. I still love the uh, phase. Yeah, you're probably one of the most upset ones. We haven't got to drawing yours, but Sonne's and Grey Mouse's, who we're working on today, these are the two for today. They're the last two that was designed off stream, which means that we're getting pretty close to all the ones we designed on stream now because uh, we're, we're getting there. Obviously, a couple people reacted over the weekend, so they got theirs done a little bit quicker. I know a lot of people probably missed that, but I, I also wasn't in, so I couldn't I couldn't do anything about that, unfortunately. But it does mean like Cthulhu and Goat, who were part of the ones who were designed on stream, already have their goblins. And I do appreciate the people that did let me let me use their goblins while I weren't wasn't actually live, because uh, I would have been very bored otherwise. I would have just been bored. I would have been like, I want to do something, but I can't do the goblins. So no, I do, I do appreciate that. <laughs> you, even if it means I did them off stream, I do appreciate it. And I hope you still like your goblins, even if they were done off stream. This one can just go. We don't need that one. It's not useful. Uh, and then we have... Go a bit larger. There we go. We have a few things to get rid of, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, oh, dear. There we go. Ah... Uh... I mildly appreciate you. Aw, Goblin looks like he's trying to sell me some strange potions. <gasps> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, I find you mildly better. Wow. Wow. The highest of compliments from Vile today, I see. I see we're having a, a big Vile compliment day, is it? Where's my compliment, Vile? Where's mine? You've, you've complimented Robert. Why not me, huh? <laughs> That's not fair. Can't just give compliments to, to Grobbit. I want compliments from Vile. <laughs> oh dear. Why would you mind feeling a bit like for Oh no, you're fine. Don't worry. I, that was just for the weekend because I wasn't very well this weekend. So don't worry. I, the rest of them at this point will now just be in order doing them on stream. It was just, yeah, it was, it was that weekend in particular because I wasn't very well and I wanted some stuff to work on. Uh, so, so don't worry. At this point, I do, I do appreciate it. But yeah, at this point, they'll just be in line with everyone else. But they will get done probably this week, to be honest, anyway. Like, I don't think the waiting at this point will be that long because we're getting through them. So, yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too long anyway. There we go. Get that there. So that looks a little bit more normal. It's not perfectly normal, but it does look more normal. Uh, and then, oh, wait, this one I need to go down, actually. This one, this one's meant to go the whole way. Ah, see, I see, I see, I see. I see what I did. I have confused myself a little bit, but uh, I, I see what I've done here. Uh, and that is to go up here and to go up here. There you go. Nice. There we are. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I, I think maybe I could have... Mm, yeah, I think I could have this one be a little longer. I have it very short right now. I think it could go just a little bit longer. In fact, if I do it there, then I don't even really need to erase very much because it's kind of just over the sword. I think having that one there would be nice, but it might it might get kind of covered anyway by the sword eventually. But that's okay. That's okay. Ah, uh, I find you mod. Thank you. Thank you, Vile. Not comfortable, Jenny. I know that's Vile. Also, Teresa, pose of my latest fitted crochet. Nice. I'll see you on the next one. How are you doing, Teresa? I hope you're doing well. I wish I had an OC to goblinize. Well, I mean, again, I had a good time with this. I'm not against doing it again in the future, so who knows? Maybe if you had one in the future, and for anyone who missed them this time, who's like, damn it, I missed free art. Don't worry. We might have another one of these again in the future because I have enjoyed it. I just have to wait till I have a little bit more free time or till we have a charity event where we have a good reason to be doing it for other people. I think you have brief moments of sanity, Jenny. Thank you. I overworked Jenny at my show, my bad. <laughs> no, I had a really good time. Hashtag blame Cthulhu. No, I told Cthulhu multiple times. I was like, you can work me harder. I can do more. <laughs> oh dear, Cthulhu was too nice. Too nice. They didn't work me enough. I could have gone, I could have done even more. Ah oh dear. I don't think I have a character idea. Oh, fair. Some just type descriptions. Yeah, yeah. Like a few of these. Uh, if we talk about ones that were done via description so far, uh, we have Schleeves's and Diana's were both done purely on descriptions. I think Snail's. Uh, so, so Pink had like a little doodle in the side of a sketchbook. Uh... I think the other ones had pretty... I mean, Grobbit's was just a head. Didn't have the whole body. We put that in. Um... I think 
This one was a giraffe. <laughs> we kind of worked around what we had. Yeah, so they all had a drawing. They did, but it was like a little doodly drawing. No colours or anything. We had different levels of drawing. All right, I think... I mean, I did like Snail. Snail has ended up being one of my favourites as well, because they just look so friendly. Just a friendly bean. I am biased towards a friendly bean. All right, let's get this going up to the neck then. Yeah. And across to there. And then here. And across to there. There you go, got a little neck in. And then we've got oh, some more bits to go. Some more bits to go. I just think I can make a colouring page. Hell yeah. So many goblins. Grey mouse, grey mouse, yours is next. How are you doing? Welcome on in. I should have yours if I open a recent one. Hey, here's yours. <laughs> yours is the shortest one. <laughs> Ratchet, very small. But yeah, we're working on... Well, we'll get Sonny's done first. But yours is next on the chopping board right now. Oh, dear. Yip, yip, yip. So many goblins. I love the pirate. I like all the pirate as well. We, I think this is the thing, like, everyone has their favourites. The pirate, I think, also looks very friendly. Uh, I'm biased towards pirate. I enjoyed making pirate as well. I enjoyed the ruffles. I enjoyed all of the extra bits. The layers of clothing were fun. I like the, the ma mismatching shoes with the X on the, like, the X marks the spot. I, I, there's, there's a lot I liked about Pippia's. I will say, Pippia does character design. They are very good at character design. They're a very good artist. Um, which meant that it was like a, a, a easy and difficult. Like I knew exactly the concept because they had so much art for them, which is really helpful. But then also because it has such a concrete concept already, trying to change it to a goblin is difficult. But uh, no, I, I really like how they turned out. I really love their original, I will say. But I did enjoy making them into a little, a little, a little pirate. I love them, a little pirate goblin. Oh, why are you mad? Oh, it's because I'm trying to paint on it. Yeah, Cthulhu's was fun as well. Getting all the butterflies in there was really fun. <laughs> That was a good one. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed making Shifty. Every time I draw Shifty, they look more unhinged, and I'm just gonna keep doing that. Every time I draw Shifty, they're gonna get a little bit more unhinged. Ah, oh, you're next. You are next. I'm pleased with this outfit, I think. Hell yeah. I love goats. I love goats as well. Goat's hair, though, <laughs> gave me so many problems. Like, what kind of hairstyle is this? I, I mean, I did this to myself, but still, goat's hair gave me problems. But I still love goat. I still love them very much and I still think they're very cute. And I like that they are our only royal goblin and they have no one else. They're just on their own at the moment in this lineup. I put them right at the end because they're too tall. <laughs> so they're just hanging out here. But Sonny and Grey Mouse will join them soon. Yeah. Ah, oh, did I see you in here? How are you? I've been here the whole time. They're so good. So much character. They got a lot. I really, I again, I have only managed to do this because we had so many different and awesome OCs donated to us to do this with. Without without everyone's cooperation, it wouldn't have been such a success so far. But uh, we've had like some really, really cool. I say some really, really cool. We've had all really, really cool OCs, to be quite honest. Like we've been incredibly spoiled with what people have shared with us for this project. And that means that it's given me a lot to work with and practice, which I'm very grateful for because that's what this whole thing was about. I am going to. I don't like this. It's something's weird about it. So let's just see exactly what's weird about this. What is weird about it? Something here is not quite right. Is it the belt? Yeah, the belt goes way lower on the other side. Okay, okay, we can we can sort that out. We'll have the belt like this and we'll we'll draw it on one side and then I'll copy it across to the other because I do want the belt to be pretty symmetrical, to be honest. I want it to be looking, looking kind of the same on both sides. And then I, okay, this is now that, good. Delete this one, take this, copy it across. They're meant to be standing pretty straight, so I want them, I want them to be relatively symmetrical. I'll, I'll do all the line work later so that it doesn't look exactly symmetrical because I don't think that would look good either. But if it looks close enough to symmetrical, yeah. And then if we've got this, um, we'll merge those together, work that out later. This one is all of these bits, which we can go in and just erase them. The bits that are going too far. The bits that don't go far enough, I might have to extend. That's okay. We can do that. There we go. Nice. Fix that up, please. 
Thank you for the horn, Arty. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that looks okay. Remove that. You can kind of see where the hand's gonna go, but I think, I think the vibe is there. Ah, uh, dear, what's gonna happen to the Goblin Society visual? Uh, I'm gonna go into the Discord, Teresa, and I'm gonna be like, are people okay with me sharing the lineup? And if they're not, then I'll send them to them personally, and they can have their OC, and nobody else will see it. And if they are okay with me sharing the lineup, I'll put it publicly in the Discord and tag the people. So, yes, it very much depends on who it is, because this is art of other people's OCs, and I do want to be quite respectful of that, that if people don't want me to post stuff publicly, that I won't. But if people are happy with me sharing them, then yeah, they'll go in the Discord and everyone wow. can see and admire each other's OCs and gush about the bits that they like and the bits that they don't like, and then that's wow. it. I mean, this kind of really is a community wow. project. This is just something that I wanted to make for people, and also it's good for me as someone who's learning. We liked party. We like we liked party. We liked party. We like we liked party. We liked party. La Fenga Passage Club, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, and the interstate free disco. The wheels are still up turning, and traffic lights are burning. So if you like the party, come on and move your body. Nice. Thank you for the party. There we go. Get that in there. Yeah. With well, one little finger up. It's okay. It's funny. Hell yeah. Oh dear. The whole made me jump. Oh dear. Thanks to me for sharing the OCs. I have an amazing idea. I can't wait to start drawing. Hell yeah. Doing well. I had to make stag do on Saturday, which was fun, and did some writing yesterday. Oh, heckin' lovely. What a good heckin' weekend. Very nice. Thank you for the party. Honestly, that sounds pretty that sounds pretty top. Stag do weekend. And writing. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's now get Sonne's strong arms. Very strong arms, but then also slightly knobbly elbows still, because I like drawing the knobbly elbows. Even if it maybe doesn't fit the strong armedness of Somne, I still want them to have the classic knobbly elbow of goblins. There you go, like so. And then get that up into there. And get that there. And then, there you go. Strong. Strong shoulder. No. Yes. Nice. It's Jelly the Boy break time. I didn't notice. Is it break time? When was it break time? How long has it been break time for? <laughs> I must say, I, I can't say I noticed. When did that happen? <laughs> did it, Has it been break time for a while? I'm very sorry. Let me just get the... Uh, so let me just let me just do one or two funny things, right? Right, right. Two seconds, two seconds. There you go. Uh, just so that Sonne looks a little bit better. There we go. So I can finish it a little happier and remember where I need to come back to. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. That looks really, really cool. Break time, even after all the noise. Thank you for the teaching. <laughs> Good board on next OC because I know you'd want that. Oh, a beard? I would. I wouldn't mind a beard. I wouldn't mind that. She is. I yes. Need to see my post before I start work. Like a minute ago, <laughs> we've made all that noise. The time we hit with the Venga horn. Okay, so it's only been like a minute. It looks amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking how Sonne is looking so far. They look pretty stoic, which is very different from the rest of the goblins. But it's getting along there. All right. Well, let's start at the top and we'll work our way down. Um, which is. We'll start in live stream chat. Made a blanket for my wake puppy. Charging 10 quid, four for the wool. Oh, let's get it on screen so everyone else can see it. And six for my time. Is that enough? Mm. Okay, so what I would say is no one can tell you how to price your own work and you shouldn't let people tell you because it's your own personal choice. But the way that most people will continue, or like consider pricing their own work is how many hours did it take you and how many how much do you want to be charged an hour so do you want like minimum wage and then you're 10 pound an hour or do you do you believe that you deserve more than minimum wage so calculate how many hours it took some people will double the material price some people will just do material price so that's up to you again i can't tell you how much you should charge for this but i can tell you how most people calculate it and if you want to do mate rates for friends that's up to you but if you're planning to like start a business doing stuff like this 
generally I, I would honestly say go on YouTube and watch some videos of how people calculate it because they'll go more into depth than I can but I, I can't tell you how much you should charge for it because it, it's it's a lot more complicated than that and again it's a very personal thing as well that being said it is wonderful and I love it well done <laughs> Taking nice oh dear all right we've been on this one We've been on this one. I thought I skipped one, did I? Oh, art, yes. All right, let's catch up on some art. <gasps> oh my God, there's no, is that my slime lady? Okay, wait, I have to come back to it, Sean, because I have so much to catch up on, but I see it. Oh my God. Oh, is this the colored mer version of Merge Masters? Oh, Vile, that looks stunning. You're probably asleep at this point, but that looks so nice, Vile. Really, really nice. I love the colors. I love the highlight and how metallic you've made it look. Looks really, oh my God, have we had, have we had a raid? Wait, two seconds, Knit. Oh my God, Knit, how is your stuff coming along? For anyone who doesn't know Knit, Knit does crochet. <laughs> just to make things really, really confusing. But they make these absolutely stunning stained glass window panels. They look absolutely amazing. If you've never seen them before, you definitely need to check them out. They're really, really good. How was your stream? I should say, of course, if you need to run off, if you need to go look after yourself post stream, please do. For anyone who's joining for the first time, hello, hi, our timer reached zero. And so we're just having a little look through what people are posting in the Discord. So we're just doing a little bit of a catch up on that. But otherwise, welcome on in there. I hope you're doing well. And clues, welcome on in again. And crazy comfy, Welcome on in. I hope you're doing right. You gotta go take care, Teresa. Ah, oh dear. How you doing? New blanket just began. Oh, is it another one of the? Is it another one like stained glass style, or are you doing something a little different? Again, unless you need to run, in which case, please do. And actually, for anyone who's joining for the first time, uh, two seconds. Hello, hi. My name is Jelly. We're making goblins at the moment, but normally we are cosplayers. And here is some cosplays we've made. There you go. Raid video. <laughs> Uh, we normally work with bead sequins and embroidery. We're actually working on goblins right now because we're going to make a goblin embroidery after this, but we're making an animation. Actually, I could show you that, couldn't I? You want to see you want to see the animation? Wait, where is it? It's a bit lewd. Be prepared. We made it for the Iron Mouse animation competition. So we make animations <laughs> I feel like I should get my class first, you Hence, know. You have embroidery. To be a <laughs> Hence, uh, yeah, embroidery yeah, I'd love do. to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots Four ready. Big and they on my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they keep <laughs> me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He licked my and the start dripping. Took a bite and it tastes like lemon pepper chicken. He threw me up in the air. My booties. What the fuck? Ball is this? Ball my booty like he's Scotty Pippen. <laughs> it should have been me, not him. <laughs> So we made this for the Iron Man's animation competition in November last year. We made it in three weeks and it has 124 embroidered frames. The reason we're drawing goblins right now is because we're about to do an animation with more goblins in it. But again, same sort of vibe. It's all going to be embroidered from start to finish. There's the frames. Uh, so it's all going to be embroidered from start to finish. So we're getting really used to drawing goblins right now. And thus we are drawing... Uh, all of the people, well, not everyone's yet, but soon, we're drawing everyone's OC as goblins. So we're taking OCs from the community and drawing them as goblins in this universe. And currently we are working on Somnays, which is a very much a work in progress. We've got, we got the sketch, but we're, we're on our way. That's what we do. That's what we do here. All right. But what we were doing was looking through the uh, Discord because we are having a Discord art share. So people that are making art while we're also making art, we can kind of all see it together. Again, I should say, if anyone's not met Net before, Knit is a very, very talented crocheter. They make absolutely stunning blankets. When I say, oh yeah, stained glass blanket, are you gonna have to go across and have a look, Robert, if you're curious? But basically they use black wool around the, uh, or black yarn around all of the colorful yarn. And it gives the illusion of like stained glass windows in crochet. It's absolutely stunning. If you've never seen it before, genuinely go, go follow Knit, go have a look what they're making. They're very, very good. They're also very quick. You can, you can just be sat there watching Knit and it's just like, <laughs> So, yes, really, really cool. And again, if if you need to run off, please do as much as you're welcome to stay. I do understand. Also, Artie, Artist Resource, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Let me get the Discord back on screen so the rest of you can see what we're looking at. Never seen that cosplay before. That was Mateus from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, and we, we worked on that for TwitchCon. Yeah. Kaleidoscope pattern this time, white and turquoise shades, but another stained glass is going on behind the scene. I've never seen that movie before. Got uh, uh, GG on the embroidery. Thank you. I, it was really fun, but it was, it was, I want to make something without such a tight deadline. So that's what we're doing after this next project. 
I'm already following it. Do I unfollow and follow again? Yes, I think so. I think that's great. Yes, love. Wish you great time. So take care, Nit. Enjoy the rest of your day. And again, thank you so much for sending everyone our way. In the meantime, let me show you lots of very talented people in the community. Uh, first of all, we had Vile, who's doing some 3D modeling for their Merge Masters competition piece. So we have this, which we've just been looking at. And again, I really love the colors they've put in this because I think it makes it look really metallic, which is really nice. And then we have, oh my God, this is Violet, Violet Evergarden, I believe. Oh my God, what a beautiful piece. Oh, I love the pastel colors you've used on that. And it suits, it suits the kind of like the vibe of the anime very much. Like, although it is different, it this kind of colorway, it really suits. The, <laughs> it really suits. It's difficult to explain if you've not seen it, but it really suits. It looks really, really good. Oh, I Ooh. <gasps> oh wait, this is... Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, 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 I recognize because you've got um, Mr. Volcano. This, I think, is the the guy that, the, the scars. The guy with the head that opens and yeah, 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 you have him. Ah, oh, is that, is that Skuna? Maybe, I'm not sure who this character is. I think this is the, the, the assassin -y guy. I'm not sure who this character is. This is the best character in the show and um, no argument. <laughs> This, this is this is my favorite bean <laughs> and then main character and then wait, who is this down here i'm not sure i'm not sure i maybe i'm not, my jujutsu kaisen knowledge is probably off more than the drawings because the, the ones i do recognize are very quick <laughs> guys you said that because i was trying for it to look metallic it looks really really good these by the way absolutely stunning absolutely did i react no i haven't let me get these in very pretty don't tell jelly oh bless you Oh my god, that's so good! Oh my god! I made my character really annoying to draw because of all the flippy floppy slimy bits. You've done such a good job! This looks so good! Oh my god! I Wait, I, I will say, I don't think you can see this. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. I, I think it's okay, right? You can't see me. I'm sorry. Whenever, whenever anyone draws art, I have a little folder and I put them all in there and I name them after your name so I remember who, who did it because I really, really appreciate it. It's really heckin' kind of you, and I don't want to accidentally forget because I've seen it live on stream. There you go, it's fine. You can't see it. You can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> I love it. I think it's amazing. You do that too? Yeah! Like, I don't want to miss it, so I save them. Trying to draw a cool 3D mask. Ooh. I mean, that does look really cool. I will say. It does look really cool. We saw everything. You didn't see anything. Shh. We love you, Dana. No, thank you, Sean Lowe. I really, really appreciate it. Also, this looks really, really cool. I am a sucker for jade green, I will say. this. I don't know if that's the color you're planning to have it ending up in, but I am a sucker for this color, and I, I would like anything that you did basically this color. But I do also think that you've got the the angles good so that it is starting to look more 3D. I'm sure once you have, like, maybe even the straps on the other side, it will look even more. It's definitely, it definitely is looking 3D. The Phasma fit I was talking about. Oh my God, look at you. Oh, I love your hair as always. You know that I love your hair though. Oh my God. This is so cool. Listen, that's a great fit. That's a great fit for Phasmo. Yeah, you got like a little ghosty on there. Hell yeah. That's a good hecking Phasmo fit. Very hecking nice. And you got your proper boots so you can stomp around the house. Very nice. Very hecking nice. I think it looks great. Realize I need to add some highlights. Oh, to the yellow bits. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 like these bits in here. Very nice. Listen, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you need to have it on screen for everyone else to see before you notice. Do not worry, you're not alone there. <gasps> Saki, is this your finished logo from stream the other day? Oh my God. Once again, I am a sucker for this color. <laughs> <laughs> but that looks so good. Yeah, Saki was actually working on this one, I believe, on stream the other day, so you could actually watch their progress, which was really cool. Hell yeah. Power, how is everyone? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? My brand colors are becoming emerald and silver. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Looks sweet. I love the color as well. Yeah, I also... Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I cannot escape. There you go. Oh, yes. That's the one I wanted to put on it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh dear. Game specific fits for VTubers are my favorite things. Hell yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not gonna fire that. That's awesome. Zaki looks really cool. It does. All right, we're gonna snip across to embroidery now where we have some progress on the bean. <laughs> the little, I see the little leg has its like proper segment and you've got the mushroom bin now. Oh my God, look at this. Does this friend have a name yet, by the way? Or are you gonna wait till they're finished before they're named? Oh dear, I, I understand either way. 
Very hecking cute. Very hecking cute. Nice progress as well. It's coming along. Uh, it's done all well. I'm like eating now, but no headaches. They can't hear properly. Oh, bless you. I hope you feel better soon, power. I hope whatever it is just clears up ASAP because otherwise you can't enjoy the weather getting warmer. All right, we've got knitting and crochet. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll scroll up so we don't spoil ourselves. Last time trying to knit socks last month, uh, but I pulled the wrong needle and I lost a lot of stitches, so I rage frogged it. We've all been there, so we've all been there. The rage frogging, we've all done it. We've all done it. Oh dear. Honestly, it looked like a really good start, but I, I completely get you. Like I've I've done it before as well, <laughs> where like uh, where you where you. You've done really good, and then suddenly one thing goes wrong, and it's just, it's not happening. All oh, slow but steady progress. I'm switching between feeding, diaper changing, writing patterns, and doing the actual crochet. Oh, is this like cascading leaves? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh dear. Now for a stardew fit? Hell yeah. Get your farmer, farmer overalls on and all of that. Get a little bit of mud on you. Uh, I, that's so pretty. I think anime. Has anime seen this? I feel like anime, this is very up your vibe because anime was also doing uh, leaves at one point. I don't know if anime's seen that, but if you're here, anime. Oh, wait, there's a. <laughs> Speaking of anime, I was, the anime is literally posted right underneath, so they probably have seen it. Uh, the back panel's getting bigger. Nice. Hell, oh, so neat. So lovely and neat anime, as always. But really, really nice. I'm glad that it's coming along well. Hell yeah. Well done. Well heckin' done. And then is this, I think this is a support chat going on right now. Let me double check. I don't want to intrude. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Mori. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is a, this is support chat for, for helping Amazonia because uh, they're doing all this. Oh, wait, uh, this is some stuff that Mori does though. Mori just dropped their whole heck in portfolio. Hi there. Uh, I just cast everything from pewter bronze. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh ho, ho. no, I know they probably didn't post this to have it looked at on stream, to be honest. However, however, <laughs> It's really, really nice. <coughs> so I've got to post it on stream, I'm afraid. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's going to become dragon scales. You did. That's so cool, Rebecca. So, so cool. Oh my god. These are so nice. I know they weren't for us, but I will look at them regardless because they are really nice and I like them very much. And then they've given us, oh, bless you. So they've also given us a lot of supplies and options for people that are interested in getting into this. Thank you. I appreciate it. I always appreciate it when people from the community can help fill in the gaps that I have in my knowledge, because especially when it comes to stuff like that, the like metal work, I really don't have any knowledge at all. So I really appreciate it when people come by and they're like, I can help, I got this. And it's like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We're very blessed with that here, to be honest. We have a lot of people that are really, really good with that sort of thing. And I'm more than happy to share their resources with other people as well, which is really lovely. All right. All right. Here we are. This is where we're at right now. Now, I will reset the timer. I might not make it to the next timer is the only thing. because oh, Actually, I guess we could have lunch in about an hour. That sounds about right. OK, we'll go on then. We'll do one more timer and then we'll say that the next break we take will be like our lunchtime break. Let's see. That sounds like a good call, I think. Just because it's getting to that time of day where it's like probably should start to consider lunch maybe <laughs> a, a little bit oh actually no not there not there that doesn't make any sense keep that out there keep that out there there we go how many have you got done 11 so we've got all of these fellas comet sleeves diana anime jean uh pink cthulhu pipia shifty and grobbit and then we've also done goat goat just happens to be really big <laughs> so so goat is separate right now but we've also done goat so this will be the 12th that we're working on right now with somnays Ah, oh, Dak Feathered, how are you doing? Good afternoon. How goes it? How go things? Uh, I I have been very good. I was at a craft fair last week, Feathered, and I was like, you know what? I'm going fabric shopping this week, so I'm going to be really good, and I'm not going to buy too much, and I didn't. I was really good. I, I actually stuck to it, and I was actually, I was actually good, even though when we were at the craft fair, because I was helping Cthulhu, because Cthulhu had a table there, right? So I was helping Cthulhu out, right? And where we were at with our table, we had a huge fabric shop in front of us. We had one to the, the right of us as well. If you looked like further beyond, there was like a pastel fabric shop, which was uh, stunning. And then also, um, also there was, what do we call it? Um, as well as that one, ah, I can't remember, but it was something else. 
One behind us. Oh yeah, like a, like a craft fabric one behind us. And I was I was so good. I was so good. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so what I need is yes. You'd be proud of me. Proud of me. I was so well behaved. I barely I I didn't get anything. I really I got one. I got one fabric. I couldn't get none. But I was very good. I was very good. So I was getting very confused with this bit here because of where the sword is. I worked it out. I'm stronger than me. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too. Ah, oh dear. Have a miss mine. Which one was yours, Power? Which one was yours, Power? Oh, because you have a different name, don't you, in the Discord? Power, what's your Discord name, if you don't mind me asking? So I have a sneaking suspicion. Jesse, right? Yes, no, we have not. We have not done Jesse's yet. Yours will technically probably be next stream we work on because it's one of the last ones we've got that is not like was not drawn on the day. Yes. Uh, have you seen yours, Power? I I can't remember. I can't remember if I showed you yours. If I didn't, let me know and I'll I'll whip it out quickly. Because we made you a little astronaut since uh you know goblins the natural habitat is not in space. You haven't seen it at all. All right, let's see if I can open it up. Because I should have it as a base. We made you a little astronaut. There you are. <laughs> because goblins don't go in space. <laughs> they can't breathe in space. So we took the tail and we made that like part of the connector. And then we we have the, the little bird cage in, in the, which is also in space with you. And then we have you in space. So like the same sort of features, but like put them in a space suit so that they can traverse space a little more. I was thinking of maybe having like, I haven't done it, so I'm, I'm not gonna save it, don't worry. But I was thinking of maybe having you with two tails, like having one coming out this side as well to like fill in some of this space because I thought that might look quite good. But I haven't, I'm still thinking on that one. I have time. <laughs> oh dear. And I have your ears pressed up against the, the glass because they're a little too big. They're a little too big. I love them. I love them too. They're too busy connected. They're suffocating. Well, they they maybe they're they're okay right now. But yes, eventually, if the tube wasn't connected, they would eventually suffocate. But they're not suffocating right now. <laughs> right now, they're they're on Earth, so they're just getting the regular air coming through the tube. You know, you know. But if they were in space, you might be right. <laughs> there we go. Get that in there. Get that in there. Lift that up there. Oh, that's not quite right that up there and push that up there. I'll fill all of these bits in black as well because I think that will look better. That there, that there, and then what we can do is go donk, oh not that, donk donk, so that I remember which side is which because otherwise I do have a habit of forgetting. Why not? There you go, there you go. <laughs> all right and that should look pretty good, pretty good. If I remove this yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Ah, uh, no, that's how I imagined it. I just struggled with the drawing. That's fair. That's very fair. It's going well. We've shifted focus on the cosplay a lot. I had a squirrel moment and I've done <laughs> the casting of the Assassin Rogue cosplay and the cost is just too much. I have now picked a cosplay that's much cheaper, like less than half the cost of the leather alone and I won't die of heat exhaustion. Currently eyeball deep in research. I'm honestly feathered though. That sounds really good. Are you picking stuff up for that this weekend? Killing my OC already. I know, right? So mean. Gladiator Goblin, yes. Yeah, so this is Sonne's character, and Sonne's character is very Gladiator-esque. So that's kind of the vibe we're going with. I am keeping the outfit for the most part the same. I added some spikes and stuff at points, but I'm not I'm not changing the outfit that much because Sonne had quite a strong style already, and I don't I don't want to change that. I want I want that to remain consistent. So we are we are adding some bits um, in places, but for Sonne's, I would say that we have... Sonne's probably the, one of the ones where I've added the least, to be honest, and just focused more on like how that would look on Goblin features, because yeah, there, there was already pretty strong design things on Sonne's, and like stuff that I didn't really want to tamper with too much. So, you know, there are some bits like I've added these little like spikes because they're fun, and why not? Why not add little little spikes, little studs? I think they look cool. But uh, for the most part, the main the main design moves, unlike some of the others where I've had to change much more to make it fit a goblin, uh, Sonne's is more just focused on the body type itself rather than like the outfit and such. The outfit's very, very similar. 
I mean, they're all a little different, I guess, because Goblin Proportions, but not not that much different, I would say. I would say they're pretty, pretty, pretty same. Okay, there we go. And if I back that up and move that to there. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> looks pretty cool. We need to get the sword in because it is looking a little odd, I suppose. The sword is... <sighs> the thing is, I probably will draw the sword with a line tool because it's not meant to look... It's meant to be more straight <laughs> so that one that one I'm, I'm kind of holding off because i'm like i probably will i probably will line tool that one um otherwise though i'm really liking how this is looking maybe see you soon Daniel. i don't want to miss out on a second second no you're fine good luck with the appointment i hope it goes well sean take care of yourself ah oh, did i shoot the pigeon oh! this is the cause uh this is because i tell us for second oh let's have a look oh yeah you went really easy with it huh i love it <laughs> I do love it. I love it. Cosplayers, you're all mad. You're all, every single one of you is mad. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna scale down the costume. You know, I think it's a bit too much. So instead, let me do this. And it's feathered. Feathered. Is that actually less? Have you? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you weren't, you were gonna buy like a lot of expensive materials with that one. I guess you can get by, especially because you have like a, a, an embroidery machine. So you can work on like getting those things done yourself. So I guess, I guess I see where you're coming from, that it will cost you less. However, I do have, I have some questions, I guess, maybe. Oh dear. So how, how, what is the budget for this costume? What's the main fabric? Are you going to embroider the entire thing? <laughs> it might be less money. How much work? How much work though? Cosplay is a masochist so much. It is though, yeah. Cosplay is masochist work. Ah, oh, the the free server one is sold. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Congratulations on the sale. I can do most of it from stuff I already have in stash. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good then. That's pretty good. Maybe I was too hasty. I spoke too hastily, feathered. Clearly, you have a plan. My bad. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Let me let me just get this one. So there's a there's the hand, and then we have like the little wristy bit because can't forget the little wristy bit, that's important. And then, like so, might even just go like that, yeah. Have it come out a little bit more. And then I take this and just go, no, not in here, not here, there you go. Nice, there you go. So we can make it look like the hands are kind of covering each other, which is what I wanted. I think that will look like yeah, I might actually have a bit of the finger coming down here. Just, I feel like, I feel like it will look good. I feel like it will fit. And... Like so. Or even maybe actually sooner than that, huh? My bad. Like here maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think. Maybe a bit wider than that because I've made Sonny have quite strong hands. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, Georgette, so it costs less than 100. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. Ah, oh, no wonder I like cosplay so much, yeah. So everyone who does these big old cosplays, not myself though, I will say. It's a, it's a, I don't include myself in this, but everyone else. <laughs> Masochists. Masochists, the lot of you. There we go. Get that in there. And then get there we go. Just a little, I, they still have to have, even if they are the strongest bean, teeny tiny wrists and teeny tiny ankles. It's important. <laughs> As I'm embroidering, going to the body and net and applique onto the dress. I learned my lesson last time embroidering straight into satin and Georgette. Freaking moves like water and it's like, try, yeah, it's like trying to nail jello to a stitch in the wall. Honestly, it's very fair. Already finished starting fit. I had an idea of mine for a while. Oh, heckin' lovely. Second Lundu. The pain wasn't even dry. Oh, when it's sold. Wait, but that's so nice. <laughs> Wait, that's so nice. So feathered. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not surprised. Your, your heckin' violins are genuine works of art that anyone would be lucky to have in their house. So I, I'm, I'm not going to be here like I'm surprised that it sold out quickly because I'm, I'm not really surprised. I think a lot of people, because especially like most people do not provide art like that. I think it really is like 
very, very much a collector's item. And I am not surprised that it sold quickly. However, still congratulations. Still massive congrats. Uh, yes, very hecking cool. Sorry, I've, I've gone into concentration mode, which means my, my voice goes infinitely more monotone. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I like this. Still looks strong, even with teeny tiny wrists. Still strong. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so strong. He's strong gladiator. I don't play myself in this insane energy. I, I don't even try. <laughs> oh, dear. What's laughing because I say this other one? Ay, ay, ay. No, 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 no. My other saying, I wish the love, uh, the other ones to be seen. It's also there, lovely. Wish you have a wonderful day. Hell yeah, take care. Thank you so much, Sean. Good luck. Again, I hope that it goes well. I hope everything goes well. Ah, oh, dear. All right. You're not a um, No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, is it? I'm not like the other cosplayers. <laughs> I can't, I can't remember what you're meant to say after that, but I know that the I'm not like the other blank is a thing. I'm hip and cool with the kids, you know? I know, I know my memes. Ah, oh dear, I'm not like the other cosplayers. Uh, I am not a, a crafting masochist. Maybe embroidery, but that'd be about it. There we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Not quite, like that. Yeah, I have kind of changed the angle of this one a bit. I think that's okay. I think it suits. So I don't mind. There we go. And get that there. And same thing as before. Have them in slightly different shapes. And then... Oh, maybe a bit more higher up there. There you go. I mean, we can also come back and neaten this up later. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a lot of time, but it's like I can, I can come fix that later. That's fine. Hell yeah, that looks great! Nice! Okay, we've almost got the upper body without sword done. Ah, uh, my BS is buzzing right now, what do you mean? I I have, uh, my, my costumes are super easy. They're just slow. To be fair, my costumes are just slow. Unironically, I don't do anything that hard in my costumes. It's mainly just very slow. I guess time. I do slow costumes. But not necessarily difficult. Like, I would say the skills that, like, Feathered, Amazonia, Sunkoi, Anime are using are generally higher skills. I'm just slow. I just pick all the slow ones. Does that look about right? But do goblins have nipples? Do you think? <laughs> Sorry, weird question. However, kind of important. Does goblins have nipples? I don't know. Get, get that in there. I'm not sure if goblins has nipples. Oh, no idea, Jelly. Yeah, literally no idea. Yes? Depends on how they feed their babies. Goblins can eat shit in, since they're born. So in, my, in, in this world, there is no, like, breastfeeding or anything like that. Because the whole idea is as soon as a goblin is born, they can eat anything. Like, they're little, they're little gremlin creatures. So as soon as they're born, they're like, I, you, you could put a steak in front of them and they'd be like, yeah, go on then. <laughs> so they they can eat anything. They are not limited, I would say, uh, by being like younger or anything like that. Oh, just stinky little babies. They are just stinky little babies. Oh, so shifty. I'm on my life face. I can't stay for so long. But f damn it. Yeah, shifty. Did you hear earlier I, that I I lost my streak on your stream because I couldn't watch on uh, on Saturday, and I'm a little gutted to be honest because I had a really good streak on your streams. And then I was ill on Saturday and I was like, I couldn't even get out of bed. So I was like, I can't watch stream today. And then I lost my streak and I am, I am a small grumpy lady today because I had like you and Vile were my longest streaks and I, I still have Vile's thankfully, but uh, doesn't give me back, doesn't give me back the streak that I've lost, you know? I've lost that, that's gone. What do I do now that I've lost my streak? The hard heckin' life, you know? Hard hecking life. When you don't have your goddamn streak. Watch streak anymore. I don't like that one, no. There we go. Uh, we'll go from a bit higher up, actually. There you go. Hard life, innit? Hard life. 
and like that. And I think I'll do this and, and, and fix it up from there. I think that's fine. Um, if I rasterize those layers, there you go. And I go in here and I erase that one in there. And then on this side, I, I don't normally, in fact, I think actually this is the first time I've used pen tool at all since starting these, but just because they have a very like, like a sword is a very straight object. So let me just uh, get that in because I feel like that's kind of important. Normally I wouldn't bother as much, but it, it's a sword. <laughs> Probably should bother a little bit, you know? There we are. That looks good. We can work, we can work with this. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I heard. Damn it. Um, go on the lot. Are they mammalian? I guess kind of not. Definitely not a higher skill level than a costume side of things. Mine are definitely not comp level. I think yours are comp level. I think you're in denial, but it's okay. We're here for you when you want to come out and let us know that actually you think you are comp level. Because I think most of us, I like, listen, I'll even, I'll put <laughs> Sunkai and Amazonia on the line, right? I think if you asked any of them, if your competition level that they'd say you were <laughs> you're not gonna out out at all i think i think they would but it's also got to be like you've got to be happy with it and if you're not going to enjoy yourself then completely understand like there's no reason to enter a competition that you yourself are not going to have a good time with so completely understand that wait wait till you're like you know feeling like you'll have a good time with it and then and then you know it's not like competition scene is going anywhere go and um i think get that there i think get that there i think with this one just erase it from inside there oh that's too big <laughs> too big uh and then this one there you go Nice. I think that erases the top bit. I'm getting a little confused, but I think I've got it right. Oh dear. I had a very productive stream too. You'd have had to be there to believe it. Damn it. Yeah, I was uh I was 10 out of 10 sicky that day, so I was like I was just lying in bed. I think I slept for 18 hours on Saturday. <laughs> I think. And then in the evening when I was like feeling a little better, we got a Toby's because it was like, you know what? When you've been ill for a long time, you know what you need? You need a Toby's. And I did need a Toby's. I had a Toby's and then I actually felt a lot better. A good, a good carvery cures a lot. <laughs> oh dear. Think of you as a value fit as a general horror fit? I think you could do that. There's a lot of, I mean, when it comes to like horror, there's a lot of overlap, isn't there? So I think you could get away with that just fine. I don't think anyone would call you out for it at all. Unless you wanted to make more, I don't think there'd be any reason to specifically. I feel that. Oh dear. And get that in there. Unless it's like a, a, a bucket list thing. Oh, okay. True, true, true. Oh dear. So 18 hours? Holy damn. Oh yeah, I was, I, I've had that when I've been ill too. Yeah, like sometimes you get, you get a something, something and you're like, wait, that's me done for the day. It was, uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> I, I shan't sugarcoat. I was the big sick. But I am feeling a hell of a lot better now. So it doesn't matter because uh, I kind of thought I might not be very well, to be honest, on Saturday. And so I would kind of plan for it. So it wasn't really a big old problem. I think it's only really a big problem when you're not expecting it and you have other things to do. But I, I wasn't in that position. I kind of expected to be sick and I didn't have anything else to do. It was fine. Fine. Manageable. You can manage that. As long as I'm only sick when I say it can be. <laughs> Like a professional sleeper. I, I yeah, I was just exhausted. Like I got up for about two hours, and I was just like, I feel like I'm dying. So I just went straight back to bed. And then yesterday I was sleepy, but I was like a lot better than I was the day before. So yesterday I slept in, and I had like a bit of a rest mid afternoon. And then today we'll see how I do. If I feel tired, I'll end stream. But like I'm feeling a lot better. To be honest, even by the end of yesterday, I felt a lot better. Yeah, professional sleep. I'm really good at sleeping. We sketched out my for the circus. Gotta actually make the whole thing now. Hell yeah. Mine will look good on top. Flipping the scenes. On the other hand, yikes. Well, okay. Yeah, I get that. To be fair, I'm the same. Sometimes, was, if, if I didn't enter competitions, all of my scenes would be garbage. Genuinely. <laughs> so, you know what? I do get that. I get it and I also respect it because, yeah, same. Honestly. Where's the head? There it is. All right, let me just move this up here because it's getting a bit weird. And then move this. So we have 
body. That looks pretty good. And we have... Yeah, no, this looks really cool. I'm, I'm very happy with how this is turning out so far. We need to get the legs in, but most of the body has at least its first layer, which looks pretty good. And we just need to go in and thicken things out. I might... Although I don't need to. I think here, if I just had like a little flip of fabric and then had it like that, that that might look quite good because of the thick outline before. I think I think that might make it look a little better. It doesn't need to be there because it could just be behind the sword. But I think I think having that there is a nice little touch. There you go. Get that in there. I think the sword looks okay. I'll probably add some more detail to it later because it's a bit plain. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh dear. Well, I say we. It was me. It was all me. Yeah, I say we as well as if people are helping me draw, but they're not. Good luck. No, you're fine. Have a lovely luck, Shifty. Take care of yourself. I'll hopefully catch the next one. Sun Saturday was my first ever stag do. Really? Most of my friends were already married when I met them or not married yet. Woo! Did you have a good time? I hope you had a good one. I've been to I've been to stag do's and hen do's actually, which I know is probably not the the way that it's meant to be, but. Pfft. Listen, we're British. Do we need another reason to party? I don't think so. I can take any excuse to party that you give me. And so, yeah, no, I've been to a couple. And I do I do be enjoying them. I'm not a big drinker, though. So, <laughs> well, I say that I used to be a bigger drinker. These days, I am not a big drinker. And again, I haven't been to one for, well, COVID, I guess. Yeah, actually thinking about it. You know what? I think I might know why I've not been to as many recently. It's easy to forget, which is really odd. It's like, you don't, you, until you're like, oh, why haven't I been into any in the last couple of years? Oh, yeah, okay. It kind of worked it out, maybe. But uh, no, I do like them. I mean, then again, I like any excuse to get together with people. I've been trying to think about my own, and it's like, I'll be honest, I find it a little over... Like, I prefer going to other people's, but planning my own is a bit... There's nothing really I want to do that I can imagine other people would want to do with me. Like, can my, can my hen do just be going fabric shopping? Probably not. But, I mean, I kind of would like that more than most other options I feel like I have. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest, that sounds pretty perfect to me. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess technically, if it's for you, there's no allowed or not allowed. But it feels a bit like, I don't know. I could do that any other time. But, like, what do I actually enjoy? I'm a very simple lady. I love fabric shopping. I love meeting up for people, with people, going fabric shopping, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm a very exciting woman, that's for sure. <laughs> people see me and they're like, damn, Jelly, Jelly's really exciting. You're damn right I am. I'm a very exciting woman. Uh, let me see. Does that look right? Oh, wrong, wrong layer. I think that's about what I wanted. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Oh dear. You've got, uh, you've been to Britain Fabric before, so do do they stock dress fabrics like Georgette? No. Well, maybe. Sometimes. The thing is, that particular fabric store is, it's in Wales. It is where all of the end of rolls go. But you have to bear in mind, in Wales, there aren't a lot of dressmaking haberdasheries, which means the vast majority of fabric in that store is a mixture of upholstery and stuff like that, because in Wales, there's a lot more upholstery stores than there are haberdasheries. You'll probably have some in England as well, but I don't know where they are. They're basically warehouses where when, when fabric is no longer in production, they get sent there. But the thing is, because it's like where fabric, no, you know, when it's a... Uh... Oh, also actually feathered really quickly. Just, uh, sorry, you didn't know this. Um... And I should have probably said this as well. Please don't put where we're putting in going in chat right now. Because last week we had someone with really bad intentions in my community. Normally I wouldn't mind. But, uh, but last week we had someone who I don't know who they are in this community being very, very aggressive. And don't put where we're going or what day we're going on it because I don't want accidentally to cause any safety concerns by going with you, if that's okay. Normally I wouldn't have to be this strict, but because of what happened last week, uh, please, 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 please don't put the place in this community at the moment. I also forgot for a second there, so don't worry because I should have remembered really. Uh, but yeah, we have to be really careful because some people want to make things sucky for everyone. And 
yeah, there was someone in this community, we had like a good laugh about it, to be honest, because it was very funny. Um, but someone who really, really doesn't like me. Really doesn't like me. Uh, or really likes me, difficult to say. <laughs> Humans send mixed signals, you never know. But uh, yeah, I just wouldn't feel safe if everyone knew when, where, you know. I, I wouldn't want to put anyone else who's planning to go with at danger. Which sucks to have to say, but I, I, I don't want me going to cause a safety risk. Yeah, again, under normal circumstances, this would not be a problem, so don't worry. But I would say, in this, at least in this stream, and to anyone else, like to the other people that are planning to go, wouldn't risk putting the place in this stream right now because we've not been able to ban them from the Twitch channel. Uh, I don't know what their name is on Twitch, so they could still be here lurking, and I wouldn't have any idea, you know? Yeah, it's unfortunate. We only know what their name is on other things. I don't know what they are here. That being said, when I find them, we'll remove them. Oh dear. Burgers before Go Ape. Risky move. I did Burgers Go Ape. I've done Go Ape before. It's really good. Oh dear. But yeah, Burgers before. How do you find heights? Do you enjoy them? There's no wrong time for burgers. And also there's a good hour in between. That's fair. Oh dear. Feel free to scroll up live stream chat though. <laughs> God, don't, don't, don't go into live stream chat. I wouldn't recommend that either. I swear you've had to um, write on some people. Yeah, actually, Prism, you weren't here. Do you want to know how much porn I have right now? Oh my God, you wouldn't believe. You'd think, oh my God, little goblin streamer? Little streamer making cosplays? No way she has the entire library of porn on her, on, in her email account. To be fair, actually, I don't anymore. I, I went by at the weekend and I deleted everything, so I don't anymore. But uh, I got, I had someone come by and bear in mind, what was I doing at the time? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was working on this, this goblin. Just so you know, just how offensive I was being, because I, I, I think it's really important that you know that I was making some real horrendous things. So I was, I was working on this goblin fella right here by Comet. I think we were specifically, working on like the snowflakes on the jumper and someone spammed my discord with porn uh someone spammed uh the boobtober discord with porn and then they signed my business email up to every porn website you could possibly imagine uh so yeah that's why when i say there's someone that either really hates me or really likes me uh that's what i mean is it hilarious yes kind of is honestly but uh also yeah i i, I wouldn't want on the off chance you say where we're going. I think you're probably safe in other people's streams, it's just in my one, because I haven't been able to delete them from the Twitch. Ah, oh, dear. Yet. We'll get there. Ah, oh, dear. Whoa! How can you put that in a public space? I know, right? It's pretty- it's pretty- t it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> they need a life. Oh, again, like, I, I will be clear. I, there's a reason I'm laughing about it, and I think it's because it's very funny. Uh, there are other things that happen the same weekend that I actually can't talk about that are, uh, make make the whole situation funnier, but I can't mention them yet because they're not publicly announced or anything. But I had some other things going on at the time that, that were just getting absolutely buried in porn, and I was having to get back to people like, I'm really sorry, I know that this has taken me a while to respond to, uh, my inbox has just been spammed. Uh, like, I haven't said what it was spammed with because that wouldn't be very professional. But I did have to go through, do and do that a few times. <laughs> and everyone was very sweet and understanding and no, no one minded. It does seem like that is just a thing that can happen, unfortunately, if you have a business email. Oh my god. And yeah, that's the thing is, it wasn't just like watching porn, it was also making porn. So get ready for that, guys. I know, I know no one was expecting that from me, but surprise, for I have now, in fact, been signed up against my will. <laughs> To make porn, uh, which means, I, well, you know, I am a people pleaser, and since someone very clearly wants it, <laughs> no, I am, I am of course joking. I am not, I am not. I don't have the energy. You have to be like a really, honestly, you have to be dedicated to make that sort of thing. You have to be, you're gonna get into sex work. You have to be posting constantly. You have to be promoting yourself constantly. You have to be uploading new content constantly. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to be a sex worker. I'm sorry. <laughs> to this one person that clearly really wanted it, but I'm, I apologize. I just don't have the mentality. I can't, like, I can only work that hard when it comes to, like, embroidery. Anything else? I'm just not fussed. I'm sorry. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. But I appreciate the thought. Professional stuff. <laughs> I remember you said that a while ago and I had to look up what it meant. Uh, <laughs> I remember, I remember, there are certain words where I'm like, I remember you 
you made me look that up before because I was like, what? Like a like starfish? Like, what do you mean? I don't understand. And then and then I googled it for Urban Dictionary and it was like, oh, grab it. I'm in the middle of stream. <laughs> oh dear. God, that probably was like years ago at this point. No, please excuse my stupid brain and my stupid memory. I remember very in <laughs> the things my brain remembers are very inconsequential a lot of the time. It's like that one conversation we had three years ago, uh, which which nobody else is gonna remember. It's just me. I'm sorry, but I do remember. I remember you, you making me look that up on stream. <laughs> Oh dear. I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing I've been made to look up on stream, I will say, but I, I do remember that. The guy responsible for organizing said to wear smart casual, which confused me, so I thought. <laughs> oh, bless you, but that's not your fault. That is a weird thing to say to go to Going Ape. Damn, you could have shared that fault. I could have. I'm so sorry. I have unfortunately deleted it all at this point. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I know I'm very disappointing that I didn't share it with my community. I do share most things with my community. I didn't share that, though. I'm super sorry. Oh dear. Yeah. If any trolls are watching and wondering if they should sign me up to a porn account, don't worry, you don't need to. I'm already there. Probably. <laughs> no more. I've got enough, thank you. I don't need any more. Oh dear. Uh, I am a people pleaser. Lies about making porn caught me off guard while I was away for the line <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Oh dear. I remember it too. Hell yeah. What about food porn? Depends because. Oh. Oh no. Did I just shut OBS? Oh no. You're still here. It's fine. <laughs> Whoops. Someone mentioned food porn. I was like, sorry guys. I have to end the stream. It's just too sexy. Um, no. I I like the idea of food porn and like really nice food and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is. Like, porn is subjective, and like, if you go in the food channel right now, I'm sure that is food porn to someone, but it's not to me. Uh, and so, I don't know how I feel about food porn anymore, because unfortunately, porn is subjective, and uh, certain food porn maybe is not for me. I will say, actually though, you know a food porn that a lot of people like that I really don't like? I really don't like the the Nutella food porn where like people open croissants and there's just like Nutella inside and it all comes out that I I do not like it and I don't know why I don't like it because it's not like I hate Nutella or anything but there's just something about it all just coming out like that uh, <laughs> sorry just saw my squiggly lines on the other layer uh, but yeah no I, I I don't like that I don't like it at all and yeah that is food porn to some people but to me it, it is it's too much. It's too much and I don't like it anymore. And also it feels like food waste a little bit because like, are you drink- uh, maybe some people can drink Nutella and they so maybe I'm putting my own opinions on it too much but I'm like, I couldn't eat that much Nutella. It's brown and oozy. Ick. <laughs> oh dear. Also, when we talk about food porn, are we talking about like sexy food? Are we talking about people that like finger fruit on TikTok? Because God has that been recommended to me recently. I think TikTok's realized I'm a woman and uh, unfortunately- <laughs> It's come along with the people that like finger fuck their food. I don't know what you'd else you'd call it to be honest. It's like they like stick their noses in the dough and like smack it around a bit. And I'll be honest, the problem is I'm like, I watch it because I'm like, what the hell is this? But then I watch it and so it keeps recommending it to me. So these days, I there was a period of time where like I was showing them to Shiny because I was like, you know what, you're gonna find this funny, and we did. But it's also kind of intense, and that's also not really what I like. Like when I'm thinking food porn, I don't like someone's nose being in my food. They call me picky. I'm sorry, I'm just not into it. And so like in these ones, they're like doing stuff which I feel like is not hygienic to the food, and so it you've lost me. You've lost me when you removed the hygiene element. I'm sorry. Nutella, what? <laughs> Scooping directly from the jar. Is that a bit too much? Well, like, if you want to do that, that's fine. But I think I think it's the cascading Nutella that really does it for me. Also, Zen, good morning. Welcome on in. Axe is a funny sounds like you said Nutella. But I would say nu Nutella. I say, yeah, I say Nutella. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta sniff it to check it's good. I like to fist my dough. Well, some people clearly do. Oh my god. Jelly, I'd like my food to not be made out yeah, made out with beforehand. Yeah, it just ruins the food porn aspect to me when there's like someone's whole face in it. It's like, can you stop? 
that's my bread <laughs> like leave it alone i don't know but that's just me personally if you like it you're all good oh dear Ah, oh, so good to see you penguin welcome on in i hope you're doing well we're slowly sorry and zin we're slowly chipping away at the goblins we're currently working on sonny's just working on some of the the ruffles at the bottom i might even actually put a little one in here oh it needs to be lined up anyway might put a little one in there it's a little teeny teeny tiny one we're also talking about food porn and it's many many definitions and meanings Food porn on TikTok is quite different to food porn, I want to say everywhere else, because it's, I want to say predominantly men. I've not seen any women do this, but I think that it's aimed, I think its target audience is women and maybe gay men. So, I mean, if we have any women and gay men here, you can decide whether or not it's, it's for you. It's not for me. Uh, food hygiene's kind of a big thing for me, and so like someone's whole face being in it, I just it puts me right off even if it's meant to be like suggestive and sexy all i can think about is like i don't want your germs get them out of my food kind of thing so it's not for me personally but clearly it's for someone because they keep making it so someone's into it i'm also not into nutella like dripping everywhere so you know maybe i'm just picky <laughs> just too picky about food porn clearly Oh dear, if we aren't speaking Italian, we're not, we're not! Nutella is how it says it's in Italian. I see, I see, I see. Squints at you. We have interesting combinations. We do! I'm playing Among Us with some friends! Oh, bless you, good luck. I hope that you get the big, the big kills. I hope you become the imposter and kill everyone. You got this. Hell yeah, enjoy yourself. Among Us is a good fun game. Oh dear. These are the comments of my stream. Can't imagine why. Couldn't imagine. Pongo, good morning. How you doing? Welcome on in. We're talking about food porn and it's many different meanings. Like, of course you have just really sexy meals. Like people, people like spending a lot of effort and time making one meal and it looks really good at the end. And you're like, well done. That's fantastic. You made an amazing meal and I hope you enjoy it. And then you have the people getting uh, like oranges and being like <laughs> with them. And it's meant to be like, whoa. Look at the way he handles his oranges. Oh, very nice. <laughs> but that's not really for me personally. But if it's for you, hey, we don't judge here. You enjoy whatever the heck you like. Uh, and then, but the Nutella one I don't like. I will say I am quite actively, like the, the cascades of Nutella is quite a lot for me. I don't like that one very much. Then again, I don't really like the guy fingering fruit either. Like fair enough, it's for some people. It's not for me. I just can't help but feel like, well, one, it probably ruins the texture of the fruit, but it's a lot of germs. Like, I just don't want that in there. Get your nose out of my dough. Don't want it. Oh, this is called pasta parstor? Parstor. Maybe. Parstor. <laughs> Pongo, my beloved. <laughs> I am convinced he got to let me move my office into the master bedroom and move my bedroom. <gasps> Very nice, very nice. Grapefruit Lady. No, not Grapefruit Lady, but Grapefruit Lady was like before her time, honestly. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's not that, because that's not subtle, right? Or well, not that these are very subtle. I don't know if I can play them on stream is the only thing, because it, it's, it's, it's towing the line. Um, <laughs> it's not that, because Grapefruit Technique was telling you a very specific thing. Not that. This is more like you know, Fifty Shades of Grey music in the background, shirtless man, and then like, he's baking you a cake. But when he bakes the cake, he's like, oh, let me, let me get some of the dough on my mouth and then lick it up. And then let me put my fingers into the oranges and then squeeze them. Uh, and then he does this thing where he's like, <laughs> with, the, with the coconut. <laughs> it's more like that. So it's like a little different, different vibes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess not so different. I hope I've given an accurate description of what, what these TikToks are. Again, not so much for me. A food hygiene, big thing. I find it very uncomfortable watching people's faces go into food, even if the food is not like being eaten. I guess because it's food, it makes me a little uncomfortable. However, if this is your cup of tea, my god, there is a market on TikTok there. So many people really, really like it. And you can absolutely get your fill on TikTok right now. <laughs> there is so much of it. They're mainly desserts, the ones that I've seen. But I remember Vile a while ago shared a meat one with me, I think. Didn't you? Was it you, Vile? I think it was you, Vile. Sorry for outing Vile 
My bad. But I'm pretty sure Vile shared like a meat one with me, which was like the same kind of vibes, but with like brisket or something. Yeah. The ones I get recommended of all desserts, which I think is because it's predominantly the same people. And they're like, like to be clear, they're clearly quite good at making desserts. Like the desserts they make look really good at the end. It's just the, the food hygiene stuff that gets me, unfortunately. I'm just a very picky lady, apparently. Can't handle it. There we go. Yeah, let's get that a little bit smaller in there. Yeah, we're just going through now. Because we haven't got the feet in, but I'm 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 working up to the feet because I'm a bit nervous about the feet. <laughs> oh dear. The talking animal crossing through the background is it's <laughs> what better can it be? <laughs> I feel like I've had to shake the sauce bowl to get anything out of it. I had to smack the bottom because they're being super naughty. <laughs> You guys need to start filming this and putting it on TikTok. There's a big audience for it. I forgot about that one. Yeah. And there's a whole trip of eating food off someone else's naked because apparently it's sexy and I'm like, no thanks. But actually, okay, let me let me really quickly, I'm going to be uh, super honest. I would love to one day eat sushi off someone. But I think the difference is that there is a lot of hygiene involved with that and that there's like normally, there's not skin on sushi content, there's normally something there and the person's been very well cleaned ahead of time. So as long as it's properly done, I would one day love to try that as an experience. Um, I'd be really interested in that because I think it's like really cool. I don't think I could ever be the table. I'm too wiggly, too wiggly to be the table. But uh. Yeah, no, I would, I would one day love to experience that. So I guess I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'm like, you put, but then I guess it's different, right? Because they're not putting their nose in my sushi. They're just lying still there. And the sushi is prepared hygienically. They're washed beforehand. And again, there's like over certain areas and stuff, you'll have leaves and like covers. So I guess it's not so bad. I don't know how my brain logics this, to be honest. If you ever work it out, I'd be really interested. But no, I really want to try that one day. I'm I'm genuinely curious about it. I just don't know how a regular person ever gets invited to an event where you eat sushi off someone. <laughs> how do I get invited to these places? <laughs> I'm very curious. It's just juicy meat. What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I want to know what this clip is. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll be spooked by it later. Maybe add some clothing armor to avoid the toes. Yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't eat sushi off someone's toes. I will. S oh wait, you mean the. <laughs> You mean you? I had sorry, my bad. I misunderstood. You mean uh, you mean this? Yes, there is there is sandals on the character, so I'm, I'm taking I'm taking that because that's what the character has originally, which is why I'm nervous about it because sandals they have to be really bulky, so he kind of looks like he's wearing clown shoes. <laughs> but yeah, that that there will be shoes. As a random person laying on the table to sushi rather than eating sushi right off them. Yeah, like, I, I'd be curious. Imagine being used platter to someone to eat sushi off you. I think it'd be really hard to stay still for that long. And also, I'm assuming you have to be quiet, right? I find it really hard to be quiet for long periods of time. So I think it's a cool idea, but I don't think I could do it. You know? I think I, I don't think I could ever be the table. I just don't have the mentality. I'm too chatty. And if I'd want people, and also I'd probably be like a really awkward table. Like someone would like take a piece of sushi off my belly, and I'd be like, "So how was it? Did I did I keep it a good temperature for you? Do you do you like that?" <laughs> I don't think I'd be a very good table. Oh dear, there's probably some training involved or something like good table training, so that you're not up annoying the guests, <laughs> eating off of you. But yeah, I think I'd be a really annoying table. <laughs> Conversation is power on stream. It's a clip of what you just said. Is it? Is it for real? For real? For real? I wonder. I wouldn't see you off someone's toes. I wouldn't. It's true. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> to do it. It's something about me being here. I swear the convos always go. No, it definitely happens when you're not here as well, Vile, because there are times where I'm like, I wish Vile was here because Vile would enjoy this conversation. So it happens when you're here. But it definitely also happens when you're not here, because when you're not here, I'm always lamenting that you're not here, because I'm like, you know who would love this conversation? Vile. <laughs> oh dear. To be fair, that's the only reason I know it's not you, because I lament when you are not here, where I'm like, damn, we're talking about eating off people's toes. You know who would really like that? Vile. Actually, that is pretty much exactly how that goes. <laughs> When you're not here, I'm just outing you <laughs> constantly. Uh, when you say your sushi plate starts talking. Ooh. I wouldn't eat sushi off someone's toes. I wouldn't. It's true. 
I think I'd be a really annoying table. I do think I'd be a really annoying. Oh, there's probably a cooldown vial because because Schleaves just added a quote. I imagine it has because the quote function was added on stream. I imagine it has the long cooldown. I could be wrong, but I would imagine that it's the cooldown because I didn't I didn't add that one, so I didn't put a manual one in. Yeah, it's the automatic. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Schleaves beat me to it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got the same one, that's not a problem. So sometimes a man's gonna take a stand, and if the stand is not eating off some of people's toes, well then, oh, so be it. <laughs> true, true. I I stand with you and eating off toes. I don't know if they serve sushi on toes mostly though. I think it's mainly like a. No, where do they put the sushi? I've never I've never been to an event where you could eat sushi off another person. To be clear, so like, I I don't know some. I, I don't know a lot about it. Where do they put the sushi? I'm assuming belly. I'm assuming boobs. Unless they're lying on their front, in which case maybe back and butt? Butt sushi? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think this just means that at some point... I'm up... If... if <laughs> okay. Twitch TOS conversation. If, hypothetically, one day I had the opportunity to eat sushi off a woman, and they were happy with being streamed on Twitch. Like, this was something we discussed ahead of time. Would that be allowed? Or no? <laughs> Probably no, I'm guessing. Which is a shame. <laughs> I might- Unfortunately, I might assume the answer in this one is no. But that would be so cool. That'd be such a cool thing. If you found someone that was okay with it being on Twitch and didn't mind, that would be such a cool thing to share. Oh dear. Timer was still there. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Ah oh, dear, how'd it work? Like sushi toe rings? Maybe. Not toes. Anything but toes. Well, the face is in the end. It looks like body and legs. Yeah. And maybe not arms. I just wrapped the seaweed and ice around the toes. No one's looking <laughs> Just suck it straight off, is it? Ah, oh, I don't know how to feel anymore. Pasta check. Oh, thank you for the pasta check. I, I actually can't move very much because I've uh, I've strained my, my shoulder, but I can do a little scoot the doot. Not allowed, yeah, no. I think it would depend on what was showing. Oh, it depends how much I eat. <laughs> like, if I eat a small amount, then it might be pretty safe. But uh, if I ate a lot and I do like sushi... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for my Weetabix. Weetabix is delicious. I, I prefer it, like, very not wet, though. <laughs> don't make it too wet. That's fine if someone's buried in it, so that'd be some basic sushi person ratio when it is acceptable. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I like... Yesterday I sprained, like, my shoulder to my neck, so it's okay as long as I don't turn the whole way this way. I, it stopped me sleeping a bit last night, but again, other than that, I'm okay. It's my own fault. Like I said, this weekend I wasn't feeling very well, and Shiny was making me feel better and being nice and being a sweet bean. And one of the things we often do when I'm feeling kind of rough is, I don't know why, like, arm wrestle and mess. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It's Everyone's different, right? And we all have different ways of coping with feeling unwell. And I find arm wrestling, a show of strength, makes me feel better. But unfortunately, uh, I didn't win and I have now sprained my shoulder and my neck. And I don't really deserve sympathy because I know this is stupid, but everyone's different, right? And, and this is how I cope with feeling unwell. Don't come for me. It's what it is. I'm not going to change anytime soon. Uh, maybe I'll get stronger and then one day I'll win and then it won't be a problem. But yeah, accidentally we slipped and then I hurt myself. Pour milk in it. Not too much milk. You have to be like, <laughs> I would rather do just the block of weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So with yogurt. Oh, with yogurt is good. Is that what you call it? Well, no, legitimately. I've seen all the ads of yogurt, but I've never tried it. Yogurt and honey? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh dear. No, legit. That's what was happening. It's, I'm not saying any innuendos. Quite literally. Just arm wrestling. Trying to feel better. I can't remember exactly what we were arm wrestling for, but there was a reason, right? Something was at stake, and I can't remember what was at stake, but I remember that something was at stake. And then I hurt myself because I slipped. And I, I caught, yeah. Not my proudest moment, to be honest, but it's okay. Oh, thank you for the hydrate and thank you for the save. I will save and hydrate. But I once uh, cricked my neck just by dancing around the bedroom by myself. 
Hmm. Prison, thank you for the lurk as well. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. So yeah, I don't really deserve sympathy. I, I was feeling rubbish and then I managed to make myself feel rubbisher. Also, tiny wrists. <laughs> so small. <laughs> I, I really do actually like how Sonny's looking. I think they look a little sad and forlorn, but I think they kind of look like that in the reference, which is probably why they look like that. A little sad, a little forlorn. Husband unit uh, put his back out this weekend picking up a hoover. I tried really hard not to laugh, but the dietist on his, his gossip's face cracked me up. Oh my god. The goblin's amazing. Thank you. I really like them. This is Somnay's. Somnay's goblin, uh, who is like a gladiator-esque kind of vibe. They're very cool. They're a very cool bean. They're cooler than me. Oh dear, but no, I'm, I've been having a good time. I've been having- I thought I was worried about this one because it's a bit more serious than the others. But actually, I think they look fine. I, I, don't, I don't see anything about them that I don't like specifically, so heckin' happy days. There you go. And we're just going around and thickening the lines on the top bit up at the moment uh, before we tackle the feet, because I'm a little nervous about the feet, to be honest. Oh dear. So I haven't lurking. No, no, have a lovely lurk. You're fine. Don't ever apologize for lurking. You're all good. You lurk away as long as you want. And good job on getting the things done. Like chores. Honestly, on a Monday as well. I can strong brain right there. These chores on a Monday? Very cool. Man, don't worry about lurking. You're, you're doing the busies. Oh uh, dear, there we go. Get that in there. Shiny slam to these other 180 B. Jenny, I feel better. Oh my god, that feels so much better. Nah, it wasn't like that. Shiny just holds their hand in the same place while I push against it because I, I news flash. This might surprise some of you. Get ready. I'm not stronger than Shiny yet. Yeah. So what generally happens is uh, Shiny will put his hand in one place and I'll just do my best to move it. Yeah. And yesterday I slipped and I hurt myself. And it is what it is. One day, I maybe I'll be stronger, and then it will, this won't be a problem anymore. But right now, oh yeah, still a problem. There we go. Nice, cool. And then get this going up here, and get this one. Oh yeah, we can just get that up there. Get that up there. Get some nice thick lines on their arms. Since there's not too much else, I might put some scars on the arms a little bit. Just to match the face a bit. I can't remember if they actually had scars on their body, to be honest. But I might add some. Because otherwise, uh, why not? I've got the space for it. Might as well. Not too many other characters have scars. So I might as kind of well go all out on it. But a tablet gets to get a lurk too smart. Oh, good luck. I hope it goes well. If you are stronger than Shiny, Shiny's to go over Doctor. <laughs> Every day slow because no joke. It's fine. It's just my. Sh it's like this bit here. I don't know what you call it. It's the muscle that goes up the shoulder into the neck. Uh, it's fine. It's it's okay. I can move it. It's not like really stiff or anything. It just hurts. I did put icy hot on it before uh, <laughs> before going live today though. So hopefully that's helped a little. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. How many goblins do we have left? So we've done. Uh, let me. I can zoom out a little bit. So we have done ten on this sheet. Here they all are. And we've also done goat, who is separate right now because they are so big. And then this will be the 12th and there's 20 total. So once Somne is finished, we'll have 12 out of 20 done. So we're doing, we're doing pretty good, honestly. We're doing pretty good. Uh, considering how long I'm spending on all of them, we're actually, we're actually getting through them. I, I really like them all as well. That's the other thing is, I mean, Again, I think it helps that they're not my original characters. Sometimes it's harder, I think, like to get attached to your own. I don't know how to put it, right? But I feel like I'm harder on myself as an artist when it comes to my own characters. Whereas when it's come to interpreting others, I felt like a little less hard on myself about it. And because of that, I actually love them. A lot, all of them so far, by the way, all of them. Are there any I don't love? No, I, I, I have loved making all of them so far. And I really love how all of them have turned out so far. Uh, and I don't think by any means, just to be clear, that they're better than the originals or anything like that. They are absolutely not. We had a lot of very, very talented artists donate their, their work to for me to turn them into goblins. So I would still say if you haven't seen the originals where people have done the drawings, if you go check out the Discord, they're all posted there and you can see them all in the OC Temp channel. 
but I'm still proud of what I've done and I still like them and I do like putting them next to their originals and just being like, huh, yeah. Oh dear. This amazing round of questions. Well, would you roll hem accordion pleated chiffon? Would you roll hem? I wouldn't, to be honest. But I guess you could if you want to. But like, would that ruin the pleating at all? Because I feel like it would if it's chiffon, right? You might have to re-iron it or something. Ugh. Oh dear. Also, it's your trape that made me trapezius then. Maybe trapezius is the one that's hurting. Thank you. Ah, oh, dear. Hello. Welcome back, Diana. Welcome, welcome. We're still chipping away at Sonny right now, but we are. We're getting there. We have been thickening up some of the lines, getting all of that in. We decided that goblins don't have nipples because goblins can eat whatever they want from the moment they're born. So there would be no necessity for things like breastfeeding. So there you go. What have you missed? Well, turns out goblins don't have nipples. Uh, we've all, I, I didn't think of that before today, but I do think of the idea that they can eat anything from birth to me is more goblin-esque. Because, again, I just see them as little gremlins running around eating everything. So, yeah, no. So he doesn't have nipples. Uh, because goblins don't have nipples. <laughs> yeah. Jelly, I wonder if I had embroidering the line art of Aries. Oh, you want to? Uh, Diana, if you're okay with waiting a little bit, I can send you the line art and then you can give it a go. Um, because I have, obviously I have the line art, which you could print out to the correct size if you wanted. Thick. Would a normal hem be better? That's what I'm thinking as well. Maybe just do a simple hem instead. Is Amazonia in the Discord? Because you could ask them. I feel like if anyone would know, it'd be Amazonia. <laughs> or Suncoy, maybe? Both of them have worked with thinner fabrics. How do I have them then? <gasps> what? Maybe they're... Wait. Hmm. How do you have them then? I don't know. Maybe... They were surgically implanted after birth to give you the illusion that you are actually a human. And now as an adult, you realize I was never a human. I was always a goblin. But they've given you, they've like clipped your ears and they've given you human nipples so that you would believe that you were a goblin. Oh, sorry, so that you, that you would believe you were a human so that you would fit in. But in reality, they're not real. They're just prosthetics. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fit you into goblin cannon. <laughs> One way or another, we'll fit you in. There you are. Your goblin cannon is, you were born as a goblin to a family of goblins, but goblins don't always have the best lives and are often seen as like evil creatures. And your parents wanted the best for you. So they clipped your, your ears and they gave you human nipples so that you would look like a human. And they sent you up to the human world so that you could live here. And it's only as an adult that you have realized your heritage as a goblin. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah, you're adopted. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> oh dear. That's all from his work to our OG goblin state. Oh dear. I, be I believe in the OG goblin state. Hell yeah. Oh dear. Okay, you know, odds time. Prosthetic nipples. Yeah, prosthetic nipples for so goblins can pass as humans. Because goblins don't have nipples. That's that's they don't have them. Naturally, they don't have them. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe goblin nipples are like wisdom teeth and some goblins just don't have them. I think the majority wouldn't have them at this point though. Get them cozy little nipples. Or I could just buy the trim that comes pre- that sounds great. That sounds like a good one. Oh dear. Great, good to know. Some backstory. If goblins are mammalian, they're not mammalian. They're not mammalian. Uh, more lizard-esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least in my world, they are not they're not mammals. They they thrive in the sun. Yep, yep, yep. It's why all of the nighttime goblins look absolutely exhausted. Because they're not getting any of that sweet, sweet energy. Look at these hecking nighttime goblins. They ain't getting any of the energy from the sun. <laughs> they're so tired. <laughs> nah, so they're more closer to reptilian, I would say, than uh, than mammalian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fully reptilian because they are their own race, of course. So like, you know, 
I wouldn't say they go full one way or the other, but if we were to pick between one or the other, I would say closer to that, personally. At least my goblins. Your goblins can be mammalian. Uh, or fish. Reptiles do not have nipples. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> but what if... What if they did? What then? Alright, so Somne has some interesting little cuffs on their boots. Their boots are mainly laced together. Interesting. This is the perfect music for Do Goblins Have Nipples? Oh dear. Then again, in, in my goblin world there are no humans, so I don't know if that would make sense actually that they could have prosthetic nipples anyway. Because there are no humans in this world. Just goblins. Oh god, close up of me. Oh, I'm worried about the goddamn feet. I'm worried about the feet. Surely you charred out the entire goblin tax <laughs> taxonomical line. We're working on it. We're working on it. Have a look at the real estate dinosaurs on Inspo Strikes just before midnight. Oh, God. God. I think I'm going on a date <gasps> as a goblin. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They were made for walking, and that is just what they're going to do. One of these days, mostly sandals, these the slippery sandals. Actually, can I get Somne up for you so you can see what I mean? They probably saw them my downloads somewhere, right? I did download everyone's OCs. There you go. See what I mean? Like, Somne has a very, very strong character. And here is... <laughs> the silly music behind it is... <laughs> Is where we're at. Actual character. Goblin. <laughs> Actual character. Goblin. <laughs> oh, I just noticed. Either your tire ran down or you thought, no, I think it ran down. I think I meant to be on break, but thank you for pointing it out. You're right. Not that it really matters. But I'm pretty sure nipples would have developed along the path to Mammolia. So if goblins aren't descended from mammals and they don't get nipples. Yeah, I just don't think goblins have nipples in my world anymore. Because, you know, Sonne has nipple, but I don't have nipple, I think. One person's character could have coincidentally placed chest moles that look like nipples. True, true, we can have moles. Uh, I think as well, like, these are just my goblins. Other goblins could be mammals or fish or birds. But like my goblins specifically, I go a little bit more reptilian uh, because I think that their skin would be kind of not maybe super you know like how you know okay what are they called the tails the geckos with the tails are they leopard spotted geckos you know the feeling of a, those geckos where they're almost like swayed you know have you, have you ever felt a gecko <laughs> Uh, but specifically, I think they're leopard spotted geckos and they feel almost soft. That's what I imagine goblins feel like. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube. Who, who said that's QWERTY? I'm bummed out I didn't get on this. A fire goblin would have been the perfect hot mess. Well, we might do it again, Feather. This is just the first round. Ah, oh, dear. There is a smoke goblin. We do also have a smoke goblin. We have Phenigma's goblin who is smoky based. Ah, oh, they're like a little back alley dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, no, um, how oh, do we call it? What was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, gecko feeling. They feel like geckos. That's what, and that's why I'm going more that kind of route because I'm like, I imagine they feel like a gecko. They probably feel really nice. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, reptile nature, uh, but I, I know uh, about with reptile nature, but I don't know what, uh, why. I know what you mean. I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't know why. Like, but I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like just like kind of. They're not scaly. They're just kind of soft. If I could get a gecko and put them in all of your hands, then we could all understand together. This is what they feel like, and they feel so cool. Oh dear. Yeah, but unfortunately, I cannot. There is no 5D, uh, 5D, 5, uh, oh no, it is 5D. You have 3D, 4D, is 5D the one with texture? I can't tell. But uh, yeah, there's none of that, unfortunately, on Twitch. Not yet, at least. I can't show you what, and also I don't have a gecko. <laughs> I also cannot just hand you a gecko. I don't have one. Yes, geckos, gecko-esque. Oh dear, all right. It is break time. 
Am I avoiding break time? Maybe a little bit. In my defense, I am really close to finishing Sonic. You guys can hang on. Do you think you guys can hang on for break for just a second? Because I really do only have the shoes. And the shoes kind of are like very similar anyway. So it's like, we could, we could just, you know, saying we could just uh, finish them. And then when we come back from break, we can move on to the next one, right? It's an option. I'm just, I just put it out there. So this is a choice. We could do that. Maybe. Go. Get little ankle in there. And then get this in there. And get this. Oh, God. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, maybe more like... Oh, I guess actually I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It works, it works. In little knobbly knees. <laughs> oh dear. Ayo! No hypercubes on Twitch yet. Damn it. <laughs> no hypercubes on Twitch. Not yet. Soft but bumpy. Had one slip off a wall and land on me when I was in the bath. Once I was half asleep relaxing this. <laughs> Poor gecko paddling in a very hot bath. <laughs> I'm glad you managed to get them out. Violating Twitch tears by showing off ankle. Ooh. Shoot, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. You gotta be careful with stuff like this. <laughs> Wait, where is the foot? Here is foot. I'm gonna merge foot, okay? Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm gonna merge foot. But they're, they are meant to have very symmetrical esque legs. So I'm going to steal foot. And I'm going to put foot on the other side and then I'm just going to outline them separately because that will make them look different enough. But they are meant to have pretty similar legs because they're just doing a little squat. I'm just doing a little squat. But if I do the, the outlining separately, I think I can make them look different enough. I love them. They are perfect. Oh dear, they're very cute. Keep the, uh, the bugs under control too. I love geckos. We were talking about geckos the other day. Not just geckos, newts. They were the ones I was talking about the other day. Newts. I love newts because, okay, in my mind, newts are like fairies. Like seeing a newt, oh my god, you just got visited by a hecking fairy being. They're so cool and they're so cute. And like you don't see them all that often because they're very reclusive so when you do see a newt it's like oh my god is that a newt that's so cool i love newts would legitimately get newt tattoo i love newt newt so good such good beans and they're so small and so cute oh my god we used to sometimes get them around like flower pots and such i love them Day of thy birthday and I'm sick. Oh, bless you! I hope you feel better soon. Also, happy belated birthday. Happy hecking belated birthday. I'm sorry that you got sick. Will you be celebrating another time then? That's what I'd do, I think. If I got sick on my birthday, um, which, to be fair, I'm normally busy on my birthday, so I normally don't celebrate it. But, like, I would just, I would just be like, well, it's not fair. Everyone else gets a birthday, so I'm just going to celebrate mine another time when I feel better. Oh dear. Take myself out to a nice dinner or something. Or be taken out to dinner if other people are around, but at least take myself out to a nice dinner. Maybe see some newts. Oh dear. Newts always make me think of Matilda. Oh yeah, I can I can see that connection there. I, I see it. I see it. That's a fair vibe. Well, have a lovely lurk, Pongo. I know you're saying newt, but your accent is mute. No, newt. <laughs> you're right. They do sound very similar when I say it, huh? Yeah, newt, like, uh, like the little flower pot fairies. They are. They're so cute. I love newt. Oh, dear. Such good beans. Get what? And get that around there. Okay. All the way up then. And like that. Nice. And then. We will need to give them... They have fishnets, right? Does some they have fishnets? 
Am I mis misremembering? I think Somne has fish nets. I need to give Somne. F I'm gonna have to double check the reference. I think. Does Somne have fish nets? Oh no, it's the lacing up. I see. Okay. Somne doesn't have fish nets, but we can do effectively the same thing. <laughs> and does like seeing a fairy now. I wasn't sick yesterday, so I went out for dinner and probably got them all sick. Oh no. I'm glad you at least had a dinner thing. That's what I like for birthdays. I'm like, take me out to a nice dinner. That's all I want. I just want to have delicious food with other people. Although I think it's been, did I celebrate my birthday this year? I was going to, I was going to go to a nail salon and get my nails done because I was like, you know, that's a way that I would like to treat myself that I've never been able to do before. And I called up the local nail salon and I went on, uh, what do you call it? I went on their, uh, we'll give you a call back, leave your details. So I left for details and they didn't call me back. So I called them again and then they purposefully hung up on me. Like before, they like answered the phone and then immediately hung up and I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't get my nails done for my birthday like I wanted to <laughs> because we don't have that many places near us and that's like the nail salon. <laughs> so I never got them done. And I, I'm, in hindsight, I guess it was kind of a good thing because it meant that it didn't matter what happened to my hands when it came to like the animation competition and such. But I know at the time I was like kind of bummed because I was like, what do I do? I just wanted to get my nails did. And the nail salons are ignoring me. Oh dear. So I still haven't had my nails done. Maybe one day. One day. I'll find somewhere that will I'll answer the phone and also or call me back. I don't I don't mind if they like call me back to be fair. It's not like I'm doing anything else. But no. No. Maybe they were busy. There might have been a reason for it, to be fair. I've never worked at a nail salon, so I don't exactly know how it works. There might have been a reason go I can't say it was my attitude though because I never actually got to talk to them <laughs> oh dear there we go sad times no pre-nails I know right I wanted to have some pre-nails because I was like you know what not so much at the moment but when we're doing makers and crafting streams my hands are on screen like all the time right so I was like oh you know what would be like a really nice thing to do but you get my, my nails done I still feel like that to be fair that's still something that I'd like to do at some point I've never had anything done with my nails um so it would be a very new experience but uh Yes, I will probably just have to wait till I'm like maybe going to a city or something or maybe into Cardiff and then maybe try and book for that and then maybe I could have it done. Yeah, that's probably that's probably going to be the plan. Just just wait till I'm somewhere that has more nail salons and then and then do it then. Wow. Then I just need a reason to go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, they look different enough because they've been inked to death at prime time, so I think that's okay. I'm never big busy because uh, I do nothing except when Psycho Porn is calling me, in which case I'm always asleep. <laughs> oh, I will say I'm never busy, but I am terrible with my phone. All right, let's get let's get the fishnets in. I, I know that they're not fishnets. I am aware. However, I'm sure Somne won't mind if I maybe do them a little fishnetty. I don't think Somne would argue, right? So let's, uh, I'll do them as like a wide one, like so. And don't worry about them going outside the lines. I'm doing it on a separate layer so that I can erase it all afterwards. But yeah. And then, actually, would it be like that? And then, like so. And then what we can do is, get the opposite in like so there we go nice <laughs> i think that looks close enough to kind of what we were given so i think that's okay i think we'll take that again i'm i'm gonna just do them separately so they look a little different because i think if they look the same it'd look a little odd so we'll do the same thing again which is just go around go around Round. They're not quite as the same as Pippia's, for instance. Pippia actually has fishnets on their character, which look really cool, I will say. They look cooler on the original, unfortunately. I did my very best, but oh wait, that's not very good. I did my very best, but uh, fishnets are a little hard, it turns out, to draw with mouse and keyboard. Uh, but I, I'm pretty pleased with how they look, don't get me wrong. I don't think they look bad by any stretch. Uh, there we go. Oh wait, actually, we need to go more like this. 
and then more like that. Okay, I think... I think we've got it. I could probably do that, there you go. I think, I think they look okay. We'll see. Let's uh, get a really big eraser and just donk, 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 dink, donk, 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 donk. Uh, that one's a bit too long. There you go. Donk. Donk. This is what we said when we said trust in the dinks and the donks. Trust in our dinks and donks. Uh, why are you opening that up there? Donk. And then get that out there. Get that out there. I really think that looks pretty cool. It looks like they're tied vaguely, which is kind of what we're looking for. A vague tied upness. And I think they look pretty tied up. Uh, I just want to put some lines on the sword, I think, and then we might be good to go, honestly. I like them. I'm, oh, and some scars. I wanted to add some little scars to them, didn't I? Because I think I could add some scars along where the skin is. Just so it's a little bit more obvious when there's, like, skin on show. Because when it's not coloured in, it's a little difficult to say. Yeah, look at this bean! Look how strong! I think he looks so cool! I think third line down to the left, over donked. Do you think I over donked? <gasps> Where did I over donk? Was it on the other side? My bet on the other side. You know, you could be right. However, my stupid brain can't see it. So we'll live. <laughs> All right, the sword, the sword. The sword needs, uh, I'm gonna do this with, I'm gonna cheat. You ready for cheating? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it to five. And I'm gonna go... Donk. 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 And then go... Donk. Donk. It's cheating. It is cheating, but it needs to be a straight line, so we do what we can. It's only very tiny, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. My poor eyes. We're trying. They're trying so hard. They just can't see. I'm sorry. I am but a I, but a small blind bean. We try our best. Ah, oh, Nikayla, good morning. Welcome on in. We are turning people's OCs in this community into goblins. And we have nearly just finished our first one of the day. And that is Somnes, who has a gladiator OC. Or gladiator-esque OC, I should say. Um... And then just go. I would normally put like a bit more detail on the hilt, but just because it's so close to the hands, it's already kind of intense up there. So I feel like having it planar is maybe a good thing. I think that looks really cool. And then we just need to get some scars on him. Some extra scars so we can see where, let's get like a knee scar, a little knee scar. That sounds good. He's just like, yeah, very strong goblin, very strong. There we go, a fellow YouTube person, a YouTube person! Hell yeah! Also, where's the one gonna be? I wanna have one on his chest near his heart. I'm adding goblin lore, where I'm like, Domine Goblin has had a, a terrible injury by his heart that leaves him with a stiff shoulder, like me. There we go. Relatable. Well, I haven't had an injury near my heart, I guess, so not that relatable, but my shoulder does hurt, so... <laughs> relatable to me. There we go, get like a little... And a little line up here. Could have some on this arm as well, maybe? There we go. Get like a little scar in there. Maybe we get like a little elongated one on this side. I think arms would be like the first bits that would probably get hit when you were learning the sword, right? Like your arms and your legs, I think you just would get scars on. But let's let's make sure he's not lacking for them. Go. And maybe like a little one up here. A really tiny one. They don't all have to be big scars. Maybe he just spilt some water and now he's got a scar on his shoulder. Kinda love him. Kinda wanna have a little bit more on the shoulder, I think, area, but 
I think I think he looks really cool. I think he looks so cool. And he looks very strong, very different to the other goblins, I will say. When I put him with everyone else, you'll see what I mean. Although actually he'll be on a different screen. Because we have we he'll be on the new one. He's gonna look very different compared to everyone else. However, I really like him! He's just our little grizzly guy! Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think I think he looks really cool. Uh, so, just to do a little... Actually, let's get him in the middle a bit more. He's a bit off-center, isn't he? Get him in the middle a little bit. There you go. So, this is the OC that we were basing this off of by Sonne Art. This is their art of him as well. Uh, so, this was the OC. And here is our reimagining of it. As a goblin. <laughs> Before... Oh, I didn't do, like, their hand things. Well, I guess it makes sense. They have claws. I think they look pretty hecking cool. Pretty hecking cool. I, I will say the body type difference is quite obvious. <laughs> but I still really like them. Which means it is time to get Sonne into the line over here. A new line all of their own right now. Because they are the only one who is, no offense goat, of a normal size. Which means... Here they are. And they're just above four foot. Nice. So we have Sane at There we go. Which again, <laughs> there is another one here. They're just really tall. But like, yeah, Sane now not technically on the same screen, but joining the list of all of the other goblins we've made. You can see though that Sane does look quite a bit more visibly strong than all of these people. Like, Sonne is quite, yeah, quite visibly strong. How tall is Goat? Goat, I believe, is around six foot tall. Maybe just above six foot tall because they've got like a really big hair piece. So, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> they're in here. They just don't really fit the scale because they're so tall. Infinite, not quite infinite, but big. Ah, oh, dear, amazing. Yeah, we got another one done. Hell yeah. All right. In that case, I'm going to save Sonne. I'm very happy with them. Uh, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. And we're going to look at Grey Mouse next. Grey Mouse is a tiny OC. Teeny, teeny, tiny. But I'm going to have a lunch break first. First of all, though, we'll do our Discord art tour. So for anyone who has done any art in Discord, we'll check that now. I can see a couple of things have popped up. So, ooh, okay, okay. We got something from Fenigma here. I'm going to clean up and adjust it later, but here's a rough silhouette for the incense creature I promised Jenny last week. I'm still experimenting a bit with the ears, head and toes. Also, might make these full on custom species. Why not? Hell yeah. It's also because Jenny said they like, I do. I want to steal. I want to steal Fenigma's character <laughs> because they are, they are very hecking beautiful and I wish to steal. This looks really, really cool. Oh my God. I love the ears actually with the like the layers and the fluff. I love them. Whoa. Whoa, where's the stars in the eyes? There's the stars in the eyes. They look really, really hecking cool. Yeah, I want to steal. I want to steal everyone's character. I did want to steal this. I want to steal everyone's art. I want to feed on it. All right, we've also got an embroidery. Ah, oh, the little spots and the cheeks are in. Look at this little friend. Oh my god, the shape looks really amazing. They do. Jelly is AI. I'm not AI. I'm not. Ah, oh, dear. Damn it. But you're right. I am stealing and feeding on art. Shoot. You got me. Damn it. Oh, dude, this is so cute. I, I just love them and they give me good vibes. Thank you. All right. There we go. In that case, it is time for us to have a little break because we have been going for like four hours and I haven't eaten any lunch. Uh, and we're going to be playing some words on stream. Uh, I know a lot of you already know what this is, but I always introduce it. If you've never heard of words on stream before, I will say it only works on Twitch. I'm really sorry. It doesn't connect to YouTube right now for some reason. So we'll wait until it does. Eventually it will probably connect, but it, it right now it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, but I'm keeping an ear out so that we can get that helping as well. Uh, but yeah, if you've never played words on stream, the way that it works is if you see a word, oh, there we go, this pops straight up. If you see a word, uh, you type it in. Again, unfortunately only works on, on Twitch right now. Maybe in the future they'll have it working on YouTube. Um, face, nice face. <laughs> And if I click start, hopefully it should start for you. I'm gonna nip downstairs. I need to make some noodles, but can I get something first? Oh yeah, I can see a word. Uh, 
Oh, nerd. <laughs> There we go. So if you see a word, the first person to type it in gets it. Oh my god, nice hundred. I can switch to Twitch. It just has ads. I see. That's fair. That's fair. Up to you if you'd like to. Unfortunately, I can't take the ads off Twitch and I can't make this work on YouTube. So you'll have to make that decision yourself. Otherwise, I'm going to go get some noodles. Have, have a nice lunch, everyone. You're a nerd. You're a nerd. <laughs> Good luck, everyone.
I am back right as the right as it started. How are you all doing? I hope it's going well. Could be hidden. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake letter BS. Yeah, hidden letters now. Wow. <laughs> the game is getting harder. Wow, game. Can't believe you. You're making it harder. You're adding God. Wow. Can you could you see this, guys? They're making it harder. God. I can't even see the letters and yet people are typing. <laughs> Oh, damn. right. I will mute because I have got noodles, but I am back, so I can at least cheer you on. Also, good morning, Grim. I hope you're doing well. Let me mute myself. GG's! Oh my god, I nearly breathed in a noodle. My god, GG's, I didn't know I was there. <laughs> well done, Clues, for leading the round. And well done, Clues, for leading overall, followed by Orty and then Qwerty. Then Sean, Grobbit, Ambrose, Penguin, Grim, myself, and Diana. Well done, everyone. You got an ad? Oh, did you have to refresh, Pongo? I'm sorry, yeah, we only have pre roll ads on. So you shouldn't have ads unless you're refreshing. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, we do as much as we can to get as few ads as possible. But uh, it is what it is. All right, I hope I hope it wasn't too spooky. I'm gonna back to mute again. Nice target, the end there. Well done, and also nice Tater again. I see you, GG teams. GG, well done. We had Orty leading that round, and now Orty has taken the lead overall, followed by Clues and then Qwerty. Then we have Sean, Le Grubbit, Ambrose, Penguin, Grim, myself, and Deanna. Wow, I've got the ball now, and that was a hard one. Ah, oh, dear, two Tater rounds? You have had two Tater rounds in a row. Let me have my potato, I will, damn it. 
<laughs> I'm you're going really quick because I'm just I'm just trying to get through these noodles, but they're super hot. So I might be a bit behind, I'm sorry. I think someone on YouTube is calling me an NPC. Isn't that an alpha male thing? Do I have an alpha male in my YouTube channel? Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be a first. Jesus. They don't normally find me. <laughs> Back to eating my noodles. actually finished my noodles yet so do you want to have a second round that being said mr qwerty was in the lead for that round overall though we have orty in the lead followed by mr qwerty and then clues and then we've got sean Le, penguin grubber ambrose grim myself and diana your real npc have fewer voice lines than usual uh, do you visit the cloud district very often what am i saying of course you don't well met <laughs> All right, I'll have another round. Yeah, I haven't, oh, good greater. I've not finished my meal yet, so I'm still going. I'm gonna mute because I need to get through this. I'm not being very helpful at words either. Oh my god, wow, well done! Okay, I just finished my noodles as you did that as well. GG's, well done, Aussie! Messenger! Oh my god, thank you so much for the eight months, that's very heckin' kind of you. Also, good morning! Messenger is a, is a absolute champ at words. We have Aussie in the lead so far, followed by Sean Lit, Clues, Qwerty, Grim, and Penguin. Oh yeah, Turg is a word, but Target isn't. What the heck? Also, Miss Garter. Alright, I'm gonna try and help now. It's t it's time for Jelly to enter the ring and try to get maybe even one word. Eh? Nice votes. 
Oh, you know what I could do? I could be a real mean bean and I could steal vote. And I did. I stole your vote. I have a lucky guess work out. True. Yeah, 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 that is true. Oh, dear. Good morning, messenger. I hope you're doing well. Thank you again. It's very heckin' kind of you. Nice veto. Uh, nice ties. Nice Soviet. Oh, dear. Um... Oh, Vice. Nice Vice. Vice. Nice Vice. Oh, I see it. Eh, there you go. Vets. Oh dear. Oh, and vest! Nice vest! 100%! Hey, look at us. Oh, the Cresso, good morning. Welcome on in. We had QWERTY in the lead that round. Overall, though, we have Autosaurus in the lead, followed by Sean and then QWERTY. Then we got Clues, Grim, myself, Messenger, and Penguin. Well done, everyone. Well done. Ah, oh, dear. It is nice to be able to help. Don't get me wrong. I like eating my noodles, but it's nice. Got a lurk? It's like, no, you're fine. Have a, have a good lurk. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and QWERTY got it. Stool and tools. Nice. Ah, uh, dear, nice slot, nice tool. Excuse me, I'm on screen. Hope your day is going well. It is, thank you, it is. Loot, nice loot, nice soot, nice lots, nice loot. Ah, uh, dear. Is lose a word? Yeah, loot. Nice slot, at least by me did it first. <laughs> nice lost. Could you imagine, nice slot. Ah, uh, dear, nice solo, oh my god. Wow. GG's! That was so quick! Did everyone get a chance? Uh, we all- so many people got a word there. I was in the lead that round overall, though we have Auti in the lead, followed by Shaundler, Querty myself, Clue, Grim, Messenger, Penguin, and Grobbit. Uh, Messenger from Twitch. Is Messenger from Twitch. Alright. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Deny, nice deny. Mm. Enjoyed, nice enjoyed. Does that mean enjoy is for stealing? I'll still enjoy, nice. Uh, hmm. Ooh, okay, nice joyed. Needy, nice needy. Node, nice node. Okay, so M is fake. Ah, I quit. My lag won't let me play. I will say, Sean, but if uh, you, the problem is, if you refresh, you might get an ad. But sometimes refreshing makes it better. But the the problem is, if you refresh, then you may get an ad because we only have the pre-roll ones because I, I just don't want to play ads. <laughs> oh dear, Joey, nice Joey. Okay, is it like Andy? No, no Andy. Doni? Hmm. Oh, is it Dine? Is it Dine? Yeah, it's Dine, okay. You had the right idea, Penguin. It's Dine. Ah, oh, what's the long one, though? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> Dinny! Mm. Oh! Doyen, of course! Nice Doyen! Oh dear, well done. So Grobbit led Do <laughs> Nice, Doyen. <laughs> Grobbit led that round. Grobbit is leading overall, followed by QWERTY and then myself. Then we got Orty, Grim, Sean, Look, Clues, Messenger, Penguin, and Cresso. Well done, everyone. The most respected and prominent person in a particular field. He became the Doyen of British. I see, a top tier word. Absolutely. Ah, oh, dear, I steal thin. Oh, fine, nice thine. Oh, Jelly. So Jelly's a doyen? I don't think so. I th I think Amazonia might be a doyen in craft streams. Oh, dear. Why is it so loud on my side suddenly? Did it get loud for you? Or maybe I just moved my head to- Ah, yeah, that's what it was. It's like, wow, everything got really loud. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can see- Oh, no, it's already on there. Is Hein a word? Height? <laughs> oh, I love this bit where you're just like, 
Hmm, ethnic, nice ethnic. Oh, okay. I still cannot see anything. Ethic, chime, nice chime. Scent, nice scent. Sight, sign. Make it scent. No, no scent. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means that uh, C is hidden. I see, I see, I see. Niche, nice niche. Hmm. Itch. Nice itch. Etch. Oh, itch and etch. Chit. Nice chit. Oh dear. Chin. Nice chin. Well done, Rai. Also, good morning, Rai. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh dear. Okay. Uh. Wow. Wow. Uh. Inch? One? I thought you could only get one per tier. No, some tiers unlock multiple times, QWERTY. You have to keep an eye on the lock next to your names, rather than the bit at the top. Oh dear. Hmm, you're all too fast for my brain right now. Honestly, same. I got a couple in the beginning and then I was just like, I'm lost now. Well done, Grobit, for leading that round. And we had Grobit in the lead over, followed by Qwerty, then myself. Then we got Clues, Orty, Grim, Shondler, Messenger, Penguin, Cresso, and Rai. Sorry, I got a bit stuck there. <laughs> uh, actually, five seconds on lag and I am using phone. So, oh, not happen with the glitch. I see. I got something you did great. Oh, okay. Five letters only, guys. Five letters only. Uh, I got bail. Oh no, someone has balls. Nice balls. Nice bales and nice labels. Oh dear. Nice basel. And I got label. <laughs> oh, I thought I got bales. Uh, you think I is fake? Sable. Nice sable. Jelly. <laughs> nice balls. <laughs> Bells, nice bells. Oh, dear. oh yeah, but if bells doesn't work, then yeah, no, definitely I is fake. Oh dear. Blase, nice. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh dear. It's like. Able's the word? Baseball! Nice baseball! Ah, oh dear. Wait, can you do... Oh no, no, no. Hmm! <laughs> oh my god, is that a Saki? Saki, good morning! How was, how was your... I'm assuming you did an art stream today. How was your art stream? I hope that it was good. I'm just having to type it in because I'm kind of stuck right now for shout outs but I hopefully have got you right did I get you right yeah how was your art also nice babbles <laughs> oh dear did we have we hit the goal yes we have right no no but we have now <laughs> salable nice salable small raid thank you for the raid how you doing Saki I hope you had a good stream Saki's the one that does all of the wonderful typography art I finished it. Is. Tried new shading and highlight. Lovely. You're obvious. I, Saki already knows who we are, but for anyone who's coming with Saki, hello and welcome. We are actually drawing goblins right now, but we're just having a bit of a lunch break because I've just eaten my lunch and we're playing some words on stream. So we have Grobit in the lead that round. Overall, we have Grobit in the lead followed by Qwerty, then myself. Then we have Clues, Orty, Grim, Sean, La Messenger, Cresso, Penguin, and Rye. Well done. Well done. Do you mind art? If you need to do art, I completely understand. All right, five letters only at the moment as well, bear in mind. Ooh, okay. I want feeds. <laughs> oh, fires, nice fires. Riffs, nice riffs. Serif, nice serif. Also, Dan, good morning. Dr. Discord for nice. Oh, that'd be lovely. That'd be lovely, Saki. I'd love to see it. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, Fifers and Sheriff. Nice Sheriff. And nice fries as well. And nice Fifers. I'm going to steal singular Fifer. <laughs> well, just one Pfeiffer. F is fake? I don't think that's true. <laughs> mm. 
nice hires. In fact, D is fake. We know we actually know that D is fake because it's not in the long word. If you ever you look at the long word, you can, and there is a letter missing, you know what it is. Nice Fisher, nice fresh. Hmm, which means the hidden one was H. Yeah. Hmm. Nice Shire. Ah, oh, damn. Hmm. Oh, fifths. Nice fifths. <laughs> um, hmm. I am. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I know what it is. I just have no idea what that word is. Oh my god, fives and airs. Nice fives and airs. Well done, 100%. So we had Cresso leading the charge that round. Overall, we have Grubber in the lead, followed by Quirty, then myself. Then we've got Clues, Orti, Cresso, Sean, Messenger, Grim, Penguin, Rye, and Dan. Well done. GG's team. GG's. Ah, oh dear. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it looks like it has to be this, so I'll try it. No, it's not onward. <laughs> oh, it's got to be onward. Oh, instead, actually, it's dragon. Nice dragon. Oh, but no one can see that. So hidden is G, Q is fake. Hidden is G, Q is fake. Uh, nice grand. Uh, nice grown. Uh, or nice uh, random, random and nice adorn and nice organ. Hmm. So once again, hidden is G, fake is Q. Hidden is G, fake is Q. Grand is correct, it's already on the board. Nice Argon! My job my job in these ones is to just cool stuff out. It's nice Argon, be sure we went to the black market. <laughs> just be like, ah yes, I will shout things out. And be good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I thought a handsome clay sculptor, they might be. They might be, I might have seen them get some words. Nice gonad. Oh my god, do I have something stuck in my teeth? It's a good job I noticed. Oh my god, yeah, I do. <laughs> like a whole chili stuck in there, Jesus. All right, that's all right. We fixed it before I came back on camera. Nice stuff. Oh my god, what was that? Orang. <laughs> nice orang. <laughs> We have Grub in the lead that round, Grub in the lead overall. Myself and Querty are now tied for second place, followed by Cresso, Orti, Clues, Chandler, Messenger, Grim, Penguin, Ryan, Dan. Well done. What's what's Orang? It's like orange, but it's missing the E. It's Orang. Ooh, okay. Uh. What's the hidden word? What's the hidden one? Oh, Cresso, sexier. Nice, sexier. God damn it, Cresso. <laughs> God damn it. So, sex, yeah. Uh, yeah. That means that G is fake, doesn't it? Yeah, it means, it means G is fake. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> There's one word on the board and it's sexier. Oh my God. Oh, nice. What is it? Expires. Nice expires. So P is hidden and G is fake. P is hidden, G is fake. Nice expire. Uh, can I just do... Oh, nice spire. Oh, nice peers. Can I get pyres? No, no pyres for me. Nice pr prize! Nice prize! Alright, we have peers. Nice peers. Spree? Nice spree. Can you like... No, no weeps. Oh, prize! Nice prize! GG's! Well done! Oh my god, we are zooming this round. Maybe it's because it's the second round today? Oh my god, Messenger was in the lead that round. Overall, we have Grobert in the lead, followed by Cresso, then Querty, then Clues, myself, Orti, Messenger, Shondla, Grim, Penguin, Dan, Rye, and B. Well done, everyone! Oh my god, I laid something! You did! You led that round! Well done, Messenger! Messenger getting hench, they are, they're carrying. Oh my god, okay. Hmm. 
Quirty got nums. Nice nums. Do we just see if I can freeze? Oh no, I can't freeze it when it's over there, can I? Wait, two seconds. Will it let me? Did it freeze? No, I don't think it did, did it? Damn it, I tried. Oh, Clue's got it. It's numbers. Nice numbers. I will still number for you, as is my job as streamer. Nice numbers. Uh, numbers. So J is fake? Uh, P is fake. J and P are fake because it's numbers. Also, nice rumens. Can you just rumen once? Is, is a single oh nice umbers that means that somebody can get just umber oh dear uh Orty, well done ruins also b well done umber we got umber on the board okay oh menus nice menus nice serum as well nice nurse nice burns Oh god. Spum! Nice spum, nice music! Wait, really? That's not enough? Oh my god! We got so many! Oh, that was that was a little mean, to be honest. I feel like we got plenty there, but GG's everyone. Nice bum. Nice bum. <laughs> well done everyone. Alright, we had Cresso leading that round, which means overall we had Grobbit in the lead, followed by Cresso, and then Clues in our one, two, three, then myself, Qwerty, Orty, Messenger, Sean, Grim, Bumbling, uh, Penguin, Dan, and Rai. Well hecking done. GG's team. GG's team. Alright, thank you again everyone for taking part and thank you for letting me have a little break so that we can come back and do more since we have been going for five hours. <laughs> I was feeling sexy after Jenny told me nice balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a look. Have a lovely look, messenger. Have a lovely look. For anyone who missed this morning, we have been getting goblins done. So we've been drawing everyone's OCs in chat as goblins. Here's some of the ones we've done. Uh, today we finished, uh, we got two very far apart OCs, but we finished Somnays earlier. So this is Somnays OC right here. And I think they look pretty snazzy. Uh, did I save this? I did, cool. And then right now we're gonna be working on gray mouses. Hell yeah, I'm literally 10 seconds beside. Hello from the past. How's the past? What's been going on? Oh, let me get the the break stuff back on screen as well. Time till next break and countdown. There you go. There we go. And we can reset that. Good. Cute idea. Yeah, we've been we've been going through again. Everyone has goblins. So much progress. Thank you. <laughs> we have been making a lot of goblins. But I must say I'm very much enjoying myself. Wouldn't have kept going if I wasn't loving it, I will be clear. But yeah, no, I've been having a really good time. So this is Grey Mouse's OC Ratchet. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. There is some goblin-y looking goblins. We do, I love, I, these are the ones that you wouldn't have seen last time because we did these, like either finished them off stream or like started them late. So these are our most recent ones and I love them very much, but I really love how different they look. Can we zoom in rather than zooming out, please? Thank you. Like Cthulhu's is very much like a, a ghost almost, like a spiritual thing. Pipio is a pirate. Shifty Bluke is a very, very like unhinged jester. And then we just have Grobbit, who's pulling something. We're not sure who or what. <laughs> and they're pulling something. Ah oh, dear. Future people are talking about cake. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Is Cthulhu wearing fish on their face? They have a mask on, I believe, and the mask has the netting over it. Yeah. I will say, if you are interested in any of these designs, in the Discord, um, you can actually see if you go into the OC temp channel, that's where everyone submitted their OCs. And while we're not doing all of them because some people submitted multiple OCs, you can actually scroll up and see directly where the inspiration has come from because all of those are still there in that in that Discord channel. So yeah, if you, if you are interested, it is there. You're more than welcome to go have a look if you if you're curious. And I'll be honest, if you are curious, I'd recommend it because they're really good OCs. I don't know why uh, her Mac is acting funny. Realizes there's fifty odd tabs open. You know that might be doing it. That might be doing it. All right, let's put a little lock on this one so you don't accidentally draw on this layer anymore. And then we're we're, we're off. Time to start the next one. 
we have been chipping away at these pretty fast, I will say. I'm very, I'm very pleased with the speed in which we are going. I think we're doing really well. I'm very pleased. And I really like all of the goblins as well. That's the other thing. It's not just that we're going quite quickly. I also genuinely really like every goblin we've made. I think they look really cute and really fun. And they give me good vibes. Okay, so little egg eyes. <laughs> right, so little egg eyes. Research. Mm. <laughs> I've done that, but first feather. Uh, you and the future to join the cake after your victory. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh dear. Beep ba dum bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum. There we go. Get that around there. And then, so the eyes and the nose are the only bit I normally do in like a size 20 brush because I just want them to really pop. So rather than building them up thicker, I just draw them really thick immediately. When you have them all here, I don't think you can really tell that that's the case. But yeah, at this stage it does make them look kind of intense. The music fits so darn perfectly. It's just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little friendly guy. Look at him. He's here for adventure. Just a little friend. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I've tried to give him a broken nose slightly. Like the idea that his nose has been broken and fixed because he's a little adventurer. And I figured someone so small who is also an adventurer would probably, would probably have broken their nose. <laughs> Maybe. So I gave Ratchet a little broken nose. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the Grey Mouse doesn't mind. But I just, I was just like, well, they like adventure so much. I feel like a little broken nose. I not embroidery vibes be cheating, right? There's no such thing as cheating as long as you're enjoying yourself. My intake is next week. Oh, bless you, anime. How goes all of the all of the studies? Is everything going well? How was did the exams go and everything? I hope everything has been okay. It's a very stressful time to be fair, but I know that the work you've done has been really, really good. So I hope I hope that they see the same as what we see in it. There we go. Actually, let's have a little shorter. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That came out from my soul. Please excuse me. My soul has things to say and it's ah. Also music, where have you gone? Speaking of music being perfect, there we go. We're still here, we haven't left yet. We're still going, we've got things to do. We can't leave. Oh dear. I don't know, it's not, it's not. Music feels perfect with this goblin, it does. How do you get a pencil look? Is that a pencil? I literally took a picture with my phone of the art. So uh, <laughs> how do I get the pencil look? Well, it might've been. Potentially. Drawing it all with pencil. <laughs> so yeah, before we drew all of the goblins in my sketchbook and we sketched them out, we had a sketching stream where we drew them all. For instance, here is this one. There they are. So then I took a picture of it with my phone and then it gives me an idea of what the ideas I was thinking was at the time. I don't follow it exactly. I, I do kind of change it a bit, but it gives me a start, which is a difficult bit, right? The difficult bit starting. Oh dear, I guess so much uni who had done size people double did it. Oh, I'm glad! No, good on you, Warty. Well done, and thank you for the hick. Everyone is going splendid. I'm on schedule. Oh, I never did a proper shout out, did I? Let me do the big shout out for Saki. Um, sorry about this. I meant to, uh, I meant to do it, but then we were playing words and I forgot. There we go. If you haven't checked out Saki before, very, very sweet people. They do absolutely amazing, uh, like lettering and wording and stuff like that. So yes, if you haven't seen them before, give them a, give them a look. Sorry for the, for the slowness there, my bad. <laughs> oh, the heck was that? It was a squeak. <laughs> we have seven cameras. It takes the best pictures. It does. If you remember, it's got seven, seven cameras and it takes the best pictures. And then I scribble all over them. And like, it gives me a chance because I, I don't have like a drawing tablet or anything. So I draw with mouse and keyboard and I like drawing with mouse and keyboard, to be clear. But sketching with mouse and keyboard is a nightmare. <laughs> so trying to get like ideas down is just really difficult. So we, we do that with pen and paper still. But old fashioned like that. But it gets the job done. And I like the final result. That's no problem. Two seconds as well. I'm just gonna mute. There's something stuck in my throat. I need to cough it up. Two seconds. Thank 
Thank you for the hydrate, Maggie. <coughs> and for the- oh, sorry, I have to keep muting. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, dear. I love, love, love it, love it. But we are back. Thank you so much for the for the fish whispers while I was away. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I have, you can probably see, I've got shrunk in my mouth. I have got a little shiver in there uh, to help it calm down a little bit. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're back. We're back. Honestly, it is starting to become a routine at this point. I just take two minutes every stream at some point to like hack up a lung and then I'm fine again. <laughs> you fine? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we've had this for a while now and we are pretty used to it, hence why I just have soothers to hand. Because I'm like, well, it'll probably happen at some point on stream. Sometimes it's when I expect it and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it catches me by surprise and it's like, oh, okay, I guess it is now. But no, thank you very much. I appreciate it, but don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. We all have different bodies. Man does this. <laughs> Why? Well, actually, I know. That's for me to know. And for you to never find out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, thank you. I do appreciate it. Thank you for playing the fish whispers as well. I appreciate that. Give everyone something to listen to while I am uh, away and muted. Thank you. Thank you. A very heckin' kind of you. Ah, oh, dear. Honestly, it's always nice to see when people do stuff like that. I, I appreciate it. It's very hecking kind. <laughs> Means I don't feel quite as guilty about having to run off quickly. There we go. A little tooth, because they have a little, uh, 
whole tooth hanging out. Well, the real, the, the, the original has both teeth out, but I'm just gonna do the one. I'm just gonna do the one. <laughs> Look at his little face. Little, little cheeky little face with a little tooth coming out. Yeah, if I did both, I think he'd look a bit like a vampire, because although I've decided that they do have, like, sharp little teeth, like you can see with Pippi, they have really sharp teeth, um, I don't think they normally hang out of the mouth, because I think that would be uncomfortable. So, we have a little special case here where they are hanging out of the mouth. I'm going to give them some eye markings, but I'm probably not going to give them bags, and I think this might be the first character to not have any bags, just because I want them, although I would say that Again, goblins are generally pretty wrinkly. I, I, I think because this one in particular looks so young that maybe they wouldn't have gained that many wrinkles at this point. So I'm just going to give them their little, little, uh, little eye ones. There we go. Oh dear. Also, I apologize if any of that coughing was uh, audible. My bad. I try and mute as quickly as possible, but you know how it is. With body function. Ah. Uh, it can only go so fast, so I apologize if you did hear any of it. I did try to try. I think I might have like, let a little bit sleep through. That was streaming. Blapple was streaming really late yesterday, and I was like, again, I wasn't feeling super well, so I was very, very lucky. But Blapple was on late yesterday. I saw them, and I was like, whoa. I wasn't expecting to. Well, I, I mean, I didn't say anything because again, I was, I was being a, a little lurky bean, but I was not expecting to them to them to be live in the evening. It was like, what the hell? A live blapple? What the? That's not, that's not normal. Actually, do I want to? Two seconds. Let me open up the reference for this one. This one has face reference, if memory serves, so I can actually use the references. This is, by the way, done by Grey Mouse. So this is their OC that we're drawing right now. Um, I feel like we could flop it out a little bit, right? Maybe? I think we could. I think we could. Which would be to go like, just a little bit. Because I love doing these little curls, right? I love, I love doing. <laughs> and I just, I would like to give Ratchet just a little bit of a curl. A little bit of a curl, because they're so fun. They're just so fun to do. Like, I know that they might not technically have said curl, however, none of you would tell on me, right? None of you, none of you would tell on me to Grey Mouse if I just gave them the teeniest tiny curl, right? You wouldn't, <laughs> right? <laughs> you wouldn't tell on me, right? Um, and then we want to go like this, and then like, I'm gonna just fix this up a little bit because it's a little messy in my sketch, but let's uh, have it more like this. And yeah, like that. And yeah. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Ah, oh, dear. Bye. Hi, hi, everyone. Scooper. Good morning. Welcome on in. How you doing? What's that, Super Border? You can fit a lot of coughs in this bad boy. For real. I'm really good at coughing. I will say, though. Um, this is a really stupid statement, but get ready for this one. A doozy. Um, since I've been doing vocal practices and uh, practicing like different vocal stuff, which I have been doing for over a year now at this point, I've been doing my vocal practices so it's easier for me to talk on stream and other things. Uh, since I've been doing that, I am such a strong cougher now. Like I can, I can cough anything up. It's such a quick time. <laughs> I have gotten really, really good at coughing things up exceptionally quickly. You know that feeling when there's like a little thing like annoying you in the back of your throat? Well, no more because for me, I can cough that bad boy up in seconds. Oh dear, no, no waiting for it to get to a point where it's like easy. I can just cough that up. It's a very stupid skill. I did warn you that I was about to make a very stupid statement. But yeah, since I've been doing vocal training, my coughing is stronger, which means I can cough much quicker and more effectively. <laughs> oh dear. Tis a silly body. Tis a silly body. So I'm giving all of the little flicks now. I was gonna do one. <laughs> oh dear. Such a cute icy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So actually, if you like this, by the way, um, give me two seconds, I should be able to shout them out. Um, Grey Mouse is actually doing a comic with this character. 
uh, where you can actually watch them on stream drawing them. And so if you if you like goblins, and especially if you like this goblin that we're making right now, uh, there is a whole comic, web comic that's being made around them, which you can actually go check out. So yeah, I should mention that because that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I think out of all of the characters, the only one that currently has a web comic is this one. So if that's something that interests you, already like if you're already into web comics or if just generally you like goblins and you like the art style you should definitely check them out they, they do a lot of their work on twitch um we they actually found us because of friend of the stream somne who recommended us to them one day so they came in with a raid and we were like oh sick uh we're just making some goblins how do you guys feel about goblins and we were not ready because we suddenly met like goblin connoisseurs you know people that have been into goblin for years and it was like whoa so uh yeah if you like uh you like goblins you should definitely be checking out gray mouse they are a goblin connoisseur there we go yep 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 told you you've been gaining the singing skills on it i have been i have been when my cough at the back of the roll but oh i could i'm into goblin. <laughs> get out <laughs> and how many is that now guys i think that's five? Oh, no 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 we had five the other day six Cresso, congratulations. You are the sixth person to make the Goblin D's joke while we have been drawing our goblins. Well done. Well heckin' done. That does mean that at least six people in this community have a very similar sense of humor to you. Which I think is uh, it's kind of nice to know sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's nice to be like, ah, oh, they get it. They really get me. And yeah, there are at least five other people in this community who really get you, for real, for reals. <laughs> Follow Greymouth, very talented artist. I don't think you'll regret it, I will say. Ah, oh, dear. Aw. Oh. All right, we need to erase the bits of the face that are overlapping a bit. But they do be cute, though. They do be cute. Look at their little face. Ah, oh, dear. There we are. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> little fringe oh dear i've been hecking with their hair but i've been enjoying hecking with their hair oh dear nice to know i'm not the only agent of chaos yeah it's i think it's kind of an interesting one i when someone said it the first time we basically said oh i bet that's not the only time we hear that while working on goblins right and so i started keeping count of how many people made the goblin d's joke uh and yes at this point we are now at six uh since we started if we can get a, f a bit more of an influx of people doing it, we might have as many jokes as we have goblins. We have 20 goblins to make, and where this is now the 13th, which means... Ooh, you might not have that much time. You're only six through. You kind of need to double, double how often you're making the jokes to maybe consider getting it done in time. Might be a bit difficult, might it? That, that might be asking too much. Especially because it's like you can't just have the same person saying it over and over again because that's kind of cheating. Also, I don't know if I like this top ear. Let me do the other ear and see how it looks and then we'll go from there. How about that? Yeah, because this one's a bit smaller and I kind of want it to be like this. Yeah. Then we just need to do something similar on the other side. Mm, mm. Thank you for the luck, Maggie. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, the best one I know is because it's mentioned like uh, about the mind goblin. <laughs> What's the mind goblin one? Go on, Quirky. Go on. Twenty is a lot of nuts to be goblin. It is a lot of goblin nuts. How the heck do you drawing so good with just a mouse or keyboard? I'm so used to it, though. Is the thing right? Where I feel like whatever you're used to, that's what you'll do. And I'm so used to mouse and keyboard. I have been drawing on mouse and keyboard for years at this point. So for me, and the other thing is as well, like which I do think is quite important, I've never drawn on a drawing tablet. Not even once. <laughs> Not even one time. And so because of that, I don't have anything to compare it against. So I think, I think a lot of people would look at mouse and keyboard as a downgrade, but because I've never, I've never done on a on a on a tablet. I don't have that comparison in my head, so I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Also, I like that more. I think that looks better. <laughs> I think I think that's a big one, right? If I had already drawn on mouse and keyboard before coming and doing this, I probably would feel differently about it, right? I just never did. So I don't have that I don't have that reference. Also, what was it that the, the bit on the top is? Oh yeah, the little flicky bit. I see, I see. 
Oh dear, but we have to have the goggles first. Important. Look at these goggles. True, yeah. Mind Goblin is the psychic goblin deity, of course. Drawing tablet, not even once. Yeah, you'd... once you don't drawing tablet, it's hard to go back. So yeah, I've, uh, I've made sure in my life that I've never, not even once, used a drawing tablet. Don't worry, guys. I've never done it. Uh, but yes, I think I think that actually does directly impact how happy I am to, to draw with mouse and keyboard, is I have nothing to reference against except for drawing with trackpad, which is what we used to do before we got mouse and keyboard. Uh, I used to draw everything on a trackpad, and don't get me wrong, you can do it, it's possible. Also, thank you for the horn! Don't get me wrong, you can do it, and I did do it for a long time, but uh, yes. I will say, I prefer drawing with mouse and keyboard to drawing on a trackpad, personally. I find this easier, and thus here we are. But everyone's different. I don't think there is a right or a wrong answer. It's like, whatever gets you the art you like at the end of the day, that's perfect, right? And for me, at the moment at least, it's been mouse and keyboard. I'm so used to this that it's that's what gets me the art that I like. That's why I'm being very picky about, you know, buying a tablet. Because it's not like I dislike- I don't dislike drawing with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I never have. So, I, I am, uh, I'm gonna be very picky with it. I'm gonna experiment a bit to make sure that I get something that I really truly like, because otherwise I won't use it. I, I won't at all. Oh, I don't know if I like this. You see what I mean? Higher on one side than the other. We can- we can fix that up. Just get that to, like, there. And then, I think to about there, yeah. Uh, let me just try that again. And... Yeah, that's better. That's a better. And I could also just do a little... Yeah. Not quite. I'm trying my best. I'm also trying not to choke on this goddamn cough sweet. It's just inching its way down my throat. Excuse me. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that, you! There we go. Oh, okay, actually, I kind of like that. kind of like that. Yep. Yep. That's pretty good. Okay, so then we have this. Uh, which is... <laughs> actually, I could probably work off this for now because the other one's a little messy. Excuse me, would you mind goblet for- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Really wish I had added my own OC into the mix. I'm sorry, Vile. It was a very quick call, to be fair. We literally, I think I said one day, I was like, if anyone has an OC, they wouldn't mind me drawing as a goblin, let me know. And it was like shut down within two days uh, because we had so many. So <laughs> I will say, uh, oh, actually, I think I've already mentioned this. I haven't gone into detail, but I can, I can talk about it a little bit since it is something that I am signed up to do, hopefully, at this point. Uh, which is, I'm planning to do a charity stream next month, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. It's been a minute since we did charity, we had to take a bit of a break for reasons, but um, it's something that I'm excited to try. So we are going to be doing a charity event uh, next month, and what I might do, because it's like it seems like a, a similar sentiment, I'm not planning to do like commissions for these or anything, but it might be like if you donate so and so amount, I'll turn your OC into a goblin and you can join the mix kind of thing. For anyone who missed out on it this time round, we can have like if you donate so and so to charity, then I'll I'll draw it as a goblin because I'm not planning to open it to commissions in any other way at this stage. I think that's the best way of doing it. Plus it helps raise money for a charity, which would be really, really nice. So that's kind of the current thing. So if you did miss out, then that's probably the next chance you'll have. But it's up to you, obviously, because I know that, you know, times are rough. Not everyone has money to be donating to charity, but I thought it was a nice thing to do. We have 20 free goblins, which have already obviously been claimed at this stage, but then any further, charity. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Needing some sort of a song, sadly, not uh, very long. Oh, okay. Do you guys remember these? Damn it. <laughs> I don't remember, actually. I might need a reminder on that one. What were you talking about? Oh, dear. But yes, so those, the, that's kind of where this is going. Again, it's not going to be for everyone, but it's an option for anyone who missed out on the goblins this time. 
you could have that one. I probably will also do more stuff in the future if that's not your jam, but I just will be a little further in the future because for those who don't know, we are about to become exceptionally busy people. Uh, we have a whole animation we're making, which is straight after this. So we're going to finish all of 20 goblins. Once the 20 goblins are finished, we have the webcomic part to finish. Once the webcomic part is finished, we're making the animation for which I'm already pretty much ready for with the bases. I need a few other bits and bobs, but I'll get in there. And then once we've done the animation, we'll be making our cadet for Chroma Core. We'll then be entering Chroma Core, um, <laughs> which is a whole shenanigan. If you don't know what Chroma Core is, it's a daily art challenge. Um, we did it last year. It was really, really fun, but we do daily embroideries. So it's not daily digital art for us, it's daily embroideries. And you can imagine how long those streams were and how much we did, because to do an embroidery every single day, oh ho ho, that do be time consuming though. After uh, Chroma Core is over, we are then pretty much directly into Booptober, which is our biggest charity event of the year. <laughs> After Booptober is over, we'll then be trying to get our stock together because then we'll be basically going straight into hopefully our first ever craft stall. Yes. So that is that is what the year is looking like for us from now on. We are exceptionally busy. Uh, we have pretty much not a single week leading up to Christmas now that is not accounted for. As in like there's not stuff that we're doing that week. So <laughs> that would be the only thing. When it comes to goblins at this point, I think it will mainly be for charity for the foreseeable. Not permanently, but just for a while, because quite literally every week of the next year now is pretty much booked up for me. Until 2025. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh dear. Which is very exciting, but also a lot. Oh dear. I'm a D's. D D's numbed goblin gotcha! <laughs> Doesn't sound busy enough. Yeah, I was thinking that anime. I was thinking I might add some extra bits and bobs in there. Oh, dear. Might just not be quite busy enough for us, you know? Might want to be a little more busy. I wasn't going to actually enter Chroma Core and try and make a cadet for it. I was just going to do the dailies. But then Cthulhu was like, no, you should make a cadet. And I was like, oh, well, that was all it took, actually. All it took was one person being like, no, you should do it. And I was like, oh, okay. I cave. Oh dear. So it looks like we are going to be doing that. I mean, I don't think we're going to get in. I'll be honest. I don't think they're going to pick embroidery, especially since all of the judges are generally digital art people. I would be very surprised if we got picked. But you know what? Why not try? I think that's the kind of vibe is I don't think that I'll get picked because of this, the, the art style I'm using is not one the judges really use. So why not? Why not try? Because worst comes to worst, I don't get in, which is kind of what I was expecting anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Does it start busy on JK JK? Yeah, that wasn't even covering the other rents are off stream. Yeah, like, you know, I'm getting married this year. Um, I have several other things happening. <laughs> Those are just the on stream events. There's so much happening this year. It is uh it is a busy, busy year. But like, I'll be honest, it is predominantly busy with good things. And I am very excited about the stuff that's happening on and off stream. We've got lots of really cool stuff happening. Very excited, very excited. Uh, I should be able to meet some people for the first time, which is really, really cool. I'm hoping to just generally go out more this year. It's a bit difficult, obviously, because I'm not well. So like going out in general is a bit of a, it's a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> um, it takes a lot of prep to get out of the house a lot of the time. However, We've done it a few times now and we're getting pretty good at it, which, you know, I don't want to get too cocky because I don't want to make myself ill, but I think I think this could be the year that we we actually go outside a little bit more, which would be kind of nice. Oh dear. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm genuinely just very excited for all the things, all the things happening this year, but it is a lot. It is a lot, a lot. Is there going to be many more collector streams? Yes, but not for a while. So there's going to be a little bit of a gap. This is kind of what happened last year, Ambrose, as well. Weirdly, it's we've had the same kind of thing happen twice in a row. The Collector has a couple months where we don't work in it on stream. I still work in it off stream, but it's just not the main focus on stream for a bit. And then it comes back later in the year. <laughs> and honestly, I kind of love that. I don't mind that at all. It just means that we put it down for a little while while we have busy months. And then once the busyness is over, 
it's kind of like the little comfort craft if that makes sense like we come back to it after being having been really busy for several months straight it's like oh and finally it is time that i can chip away at this again which personally i really really like that's a good vibe for me because it means it always feels like a treat working on that costume so you don't have any of that fear of burnout or anything like that because yeah whenever i get to work on it again it's it's a nice treat i've missed it you know so yeah i'm, I'm um, quite happy to do basically the same thing we did last year which was stop working on the collector for a few months and then come back to it once the schedule clears a little bit. Have our nice comfy cosplay streams again. There we go. Luckily, because we did the same sort of thing last year, I kind of have that as a blueprint now of being like, yeah, this works well for me. And I like this and I, I like doing this because we literally did it last year. <laughs> so that's nice as well. Ah, uh, did you even pass coming in the week so I can finally visit Teacup? Yeah, outside. I thought so. I think so. What is this outside world you speak of? Well, maybe more craft shows? Uh, I went to a craft show for the first time ever this weekend, and I had a really, really nice time, and I would love to go to more in the future. Um, it's part of the reason I had the weekend recovering, because I wasn't super well afterwards. So again, we're still kind of learning like where my, my capabilities are and how much I can and cannot do. But uh, yeah, no, we went to a craft fair this weekend and it was really, really fun. And I'd never been to a craft fair before yeah, in my entire life. <laughs> so I had a really, really nice time. Uh, almost overwhelming just how much crafts was in one place because I've just never seen that before. But oh my God, it was so good. Someone mentioned outside again. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly touch grass, I did. And it was really, really nice. And the grass itself was lovely. And I, had, I got beads. And I got lots of sparklies and I got some nice fabric. I had a really nice time. But yeah, I would love I would love to do more stuff like that. Uh, but obviously, again, we have to, we're still finding where where my limits are and we'll keep working on that to be honest. But uh <laughs> so that maybe at some point I won't be quite so ill afterwards. But I uh, don't get me wrong, was it worth it? Yeah, a hundred percent. I had a really good time. There's a pesky fire alarm again. Gotta double check that it could be out of battery. Have you checked your fire alarm recently, guys? It could be running out of battery. You wouldn't want it to run out of battery in case uh, in case you got into fire. Can't wait to hear uh, back from the cons you plan up uh, uh, to plan up my year. The wait is so long. Oh, <gasps> it's very exciting. I I really hope you hear back. At least from a couple of them. I know a lot of people apply to like ten different cons and they might only get into like three. But hey, listen. If you at least get into some, I really hope. I really hope for you that they do because that'd be really really nice. Oh, it'd be a really fun, a really fun time. Probably a lot of work, of course, but a very fun time. Ah, oh, dear. Oot and a boot. Yeah, oot and a boot. Oh, I was really, really good at this craft room as well. I'm just saying, didn't buy very much stuff at all. I was like, I was being really good. I was only buying the stuff that I needed. <laughs> um, oh, dear. I can't say that I'll always be that good. I'm honestly surprised it's taken me to this point in my life to actually go to a craft fair. A lot of it is to do with the fact that they're not on like, like, it could be different in other countries. So take this with like a grain of salt, because it might not be like this near you. But here at least, a lot of the time these really big craft festivals and fairs are very out of the way because they need like a big venue in the middle of nowhere, right? Which means if you don't have a car, they're often quite difficult to get to. And that's probably the reason I've never been to one before, because it's not like I've not been interested. I've always been interested in crafts, but um... They're just so far out there that it's it's difficult to get there without a car. However, last year we got a car, which means I can be free. I can go places. I can see, I can buy fabric. Oh dear. It's probably too much power. I'm going to go mad with power all at once. Yeah, no, it makes it a lot easier to get to places. Because even though the UK is like, you know, not that big, like, especially compared to places like America and stuff. There's just all of these places that are completely out of the way for, for public transport, but if you're trying to get to them, it's like, dang! <laughs> you're never gonna get there. Also, this is looking really cute. I'm very pleased. Especially considering this one has like a slightly messier vibe in the sketch. It's looking pretty good with the line work. I like this a lot. Happy heckin' days. Oh dear. But no, so that was, that was really, really fun. And I'd love to go to more in the future. I don't know when I'm gonna have time this year, I will say. Uh, but we'll we'll work things out, I'm sure, at some point. Now that I know how much I like them, 
I have to get it in my calendar to go to another one at some point. Ah, oh dear. So you're outside the way. Last time I tried to get that, I got abducted by aliens. Exactly, because in the middle of the field. I love when you don't have smart cars right here in the States for months uh, before she uh, left. I finally got rid of mine. She buys another one when she gets to the UK. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the pan for the pants is done. Congratulations, anime. Well heckin' done. Well heckin' done. Very heckin' nice. Yeah, in the UK, you can get by without a car. We didn't have a car for a long time, but like for special events and stuff, oh, it's not having a car is tricky. But not anymore. Now we can go to special events. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? I think, okay, I think they need the eyeballs in, to be honest. <laughs> but I think they're very cute and I like them. And they just need some little eyeballs to finish off their eyes. Like this one. That one, maybe it's got a little larger on this side. How's that? That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I need eyebrows, but yes. As your face is blank when you hear certain phases, like my brain automatically does that. And I don't know why or which phrases. It's funny to me, I can't even remember what Jay said that. I wanted to do, but sorry. I do also talk to me, I feel like I'm the worst for that because I talk so quickly. By the time your brain has put together what it wants to say, I've already moved on. So it's difficult to keep up because my brain's just like. Oh dear, my bad, my bad. We just, we shift topic here very quickly. Very, very quickly. Not on purpose, to be clear, but very quickly nonetheless. Aye, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's just uh, erase some of the edges so it's a little softer. There we go, just a little eyebrow. This guy, just a little eyebrow, you know? And then edit. And for flip horizontal, the one bit where I'm just like, I always copy and paste it at this point is the eyebrows. Because trying to draw two eyebrows that go together, oh, that's hard that is. But I can do that pretty easily and I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Happy days. Let's watch it, there you go. I need to do some detailing on the hair then. Time for hair detail. That job she needed, unfortunately, since she would have to take over three hours get it close to work and she still have to walk a long way yeah it was kind of the same for us a lot of time got away from having an exodus to look like a cutie pie with the eyes look at your cute little bean again like not as cute i would say as the original gray mouse they they do really good they do really good goblins and like their ears are so cute and everything oh wait they have a little chip on their ear oh two seconds i can i cannot ignore the fact that they have a little chip on their ear oh an excuse put a little chip on the ear not even needed but i will do one and there we go i only just noticed that that's really cool uh let's do like a little whoomph. there we go and then cute little chip on the ear i could do it on both but i'm just gonna do it on one i think for interest. We change topics rather than fantastic rounds. <laughs> we, we do, we just like bing bong bing bong bing bong constantly. When was the last time I saved? I don't think I saved it recently. Right, let's start working on the hair. Uh, this one is really easy comparatively to Sonne's because rather than it being like one big piece, it's a lot of split up pieces. So generally this is a lot easier. Uh, I've got it in a new layer and I can just go. Although there are some tool lines I'm noticing. That's a oh, that's the wrong way. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, we need to go from here. Oh god, this bit's gonna be hard. This is where mouse and keyboard is really limiting because I will run out of mouse before I get to the top, right? And that is a pain in the ass. Like trying to draw these where it's like, oh come on, you got this hand. I'm literally holding my mouse pad to stop it from moving so that I can get the whole way up. <laughs> we got it, we got it. Yeah, the mouse and keyboard, this is where it feels much more limiting. We need a tangent emote. <laughs> I have actually got, that is one thing I need to do at some point. I have actually got some emote slots where we could have more emotes. I think they're mostly animated though is the thing, which is why I haven't got around to doing them. 
just because animated emotes take a little while, you know. As you can probably imagine, there's a little bit more work and effort that goes into them. And thus, it takes a lot longer for me to do them too. Um, but we have got emote slots I just that I haven't filled yet, but again, animated emote slots? Then again, there's nothing to say that I guess I couldn't animate an emote that we already have and then add something different. I mean, that's kind of what I did with the cozy one at the time, to be fair. No regrets either, by the way. I love the cozy emote. That's like the one that I use the most. Then again, I literally made the cozy emote for me. Because I was like, I need one. Because I often will, instead of putting like a lurk emote, I will use like a little cozy emote. Because I think it's a better representation of what I'm doing. Like lurking is fine, but what I'm mostly doing is cuddling up in my blanket with a cup of tea, you know? I'm just lurking. I just, my arms are tucked away in the blanket so I can't talk and that's why I'm lurking. Actually, I don't like that. Let's, uh... Uh, nope. Nope. Come on, mouse and keyboard, you got this. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Cute! Cute! Oh dear, you the nodding one the most? Yeah, I wanted a nodding one too. Adventurous chip, yeah, like a little chip! The design of the two uh, different styles of lace dress, so I'm going to argue with myself. Do I match the lace and pay more, or do I use two different ones, which will make me twitch and pay a lot less? <laughs> hmm. Is there any way to take the ones that don't match and make them look like they're matching? Like, how much work would that be? Because I think sometimes those processes can be kind of fun, right? Even if they are a lot more work. That being said, if something is going to make you twitch every time you look at it... Mm, oh, I don't know. If it's going to make the process less fun for you by looking at the lace and getting angry or upset by it, I would say to save up and get the expensive lace. But it depends, right? Because personally, I quite like seeing how close I can make a cheaper fabric look like the original. But of course there are some cases where that's possible and some cases where that's just not gonna happen. So I guess it depends. Do you think you could ever get that other lace to the quality that you want it to be? And if the answer is no, then I think just getting the more expensive one and having a good time is, is yeah, probably gonna, would be what I would go for. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever end up using the fish for TTS? I didn't use the fish. I did have, I had a jelly for TTS and it broke. So we removed it for now. But I did have one. I did have a little TTS friend. And then we changed from our old stuff to new stuff because um, Twitch basically, we changed to Twitch alerts, right? Basically because one, uh, there are two reasons. One, stream elements, where we used to have our alerts through, was being really funny about certain Twitch usernames. Uh, for example, a regular from my stream since like when I started streaming, uh, their name is Sandman Boo Boo. And because Boo Boo has boob in the middle of it, it would never, it would never like show their alert. Like it wouldn't even, uh, it wouldn't even not play TTS. It just wouldn't show the alert because technically, Sandman Boo Boo had boob in their name and it was stupid stuff like that where you're like, come on. And even if I'd go back in and be like, allow the word boob, like allow it, it would like reset every couple weeks. And so it was just getting to a point where I was like, this is kind of silly. So I switched from uh, stream elements uh, and I switched across to Twitch alerts and Twitch alerts currently doesn't have, for me at least, it doesn't have the, what do you call it? The TTS on, I need to add it. So there's no point in me reintroducing my friend yet because I haven't added the, the, the text-to-speech back in again. But there you go, there's some lore. That's why things changed, because it was getting silly. I could try satin stitch the other lace, maybe it's worth a thought. I don't see the jelly, the chopping board fish was cool as well. Oh, the chopping board fish, that belongs to somebody else now. Yeah, we gave those away for charity. You can guess what I've been up to this weekend, oh yeah? As I've been, as I've been making little text-to-speech friends. For, uh, that's for the from from soft censoring right there. Oh yeah. Oh man, Age of Empires 3 was hilarious when it says it censored words of random combinations. Yeah, no, it's it's very, it was very silly. And again, like, it always made me sad because like, for instance, 
Uh, Sandman Boo Boo was one of my first, first, one of the first people that ever subscribed to my Twitch, right? And they were always incredibly supportive. They helped us out with charity events. They did lots of stuff, and they were really sweet being generally, right? And then every time they resubbed, it would never show, and it's just like it felt like a kick in the teeth to someone who had been supporting this channel um, for like a really, really long time. And there was nothing I could do about it as well, which was like the real kicker was I wanted things to be better and then it would keep resetting it so that it never stayed better. And I just, I would just feel really bad. And like, just to be clear, Sandman never made me feel bad about it or anything like that. They always thought it was very funny. But like when someone's been, I guess, financially supporting the stream for that long, to not even have their, their name said aloud by Twitch, ugh. It is kind of, yeah, it was just really rubbing me the wrong way, to be honest. And so I I decided no more. We would not be doing this anymore. Stream elements. <laughs> and I am going to switch. And originally I was going to switch to... Oh, what was I going to switch to? Something else. Stream alerts? Something else, right? But then, yeah, I heard about Twitch alerts and Twitch alerts allows you to have two extra emotes and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'll do Twitch emotes then. Uh, and I just need to finish setting it up really because there is a, quite a few different things. Twitch really separates it a lot, which is great because it gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility, but because it separates it a lot, it also means it's really easy to miss certain alerts because each alert has like so many different versions of it. So yes, I, I need to still go in and there's still more I need to do. There's some of them that don't have their proper images or aren't linked up correctly. And then once all of that is sorted, then eventually we will bring text to speech back. But oh my God, it's been a bit of a journey. Let's, let's put it like that. It's been a bit of a journey. Oh dear. Actually, I don't like that one. I thought I liked it, but I didn't. Yeah, cause I can just do That one. There you go. There you go. Nice, nice. <laughs> Look at this little bean. Look at this little bean. Ah, oh, dear. You've been watching really, Sean? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, I said about the random thing. One time I said button, it's a button. Ass. As in, also what what you saw it yeah i've got them on the separate screen right now because on here uh they don't fit they're too tall <laughs> they're too tall for the one that i made but they, they're technically on it but yeah we've got the separate one on so people can actually see what the whole thing looks uh do usually tds bots have a way to wipe this particular name they do but because it was done via the entirety of Stream Elements, whenever Stream Elements updated, it cleared the wipe list. Or white list. So yes, they do. And every time Stream Elements updates, you have to re-put it in. And Stream Elements updates, like, every couple weeks. <laughs> um, listen, I don't think it's a good system. I don't agree. Oof. Yup. It's okay, though. It's okay. Like I said, it doesn't actually matter now, because now we're on Twitch alerts. And Twitch alerts, I will say, has been great, actually. I think I'm always a bit careful about saying good things about Twitch, because I feel like as soon as you say something good, they'll do something bad. But Twitch alerts is actually very, it's very beginner friendly. Um, it also includes other alerts that other things won't have, like hype train alerts and stuff like that, which is really good for someone like me. So I use a, ch a different chat box, which means that I don't get informed of hype trains normally um which is fine because we don't have them too often but like the times where they have had them i've needed someone else in chat to point out that we're having one so that i could go and check because otherwise i actually don't see it um and yeah having the alert pop up on twitch that says you've just started a hype train is really useful for me because it means that i actually know that's happening now uh, otherwise it wouldn't be until someone told me hey jelly nice hype train and i'd be like what <laughs> What? Oh dear. Uh, I forgot the rules of the hour thing. Was it each? Yeah, whenever the timer runs to zero, we do like a, a Discord art share. So it should say next to it, next time, uh, time till next break and Discord art share. There you go. Right beneath me. There we go. Oh dear. 
Well, uh, the Dan Clare's been doing a really good job for Twitch despite the dumb TOS, so getting flipped around by streamers who are trying to get around it. What is a hype train? A hype train is when several people sub or donate and stuff in a row, and it creates a hype train where you can get rewards for a set amount of time. So for instance, if say, I think you need multiple people to start it. So I think on my channel, it needs to be three separate people need to sub or donate and stuff like that. So one person can't start a hype train on their own. Um, but what that means is during that time when there is that hype train, that if you get to different stations, you can claim hype train exclusive emotes. If anyone has any hype train exclusive emotes, now is a time to spam them to show someone who might be a bit newer to Twitch what a hype train is. And yeah, those emotes stick with you permanently and you'll have them forever. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just that. And also the reason I think hype trains exist is because the idea is that the hype gathers when more and more people are donating, which means more and more people are then giving to a streamer. So it's a way that a streamer can get a lot of support. And also something gets given back to the people that do donate to the train because they get a free emote out of it. Yes. Vote me to be the owner of Twitch and I'll put inbuilt TTS. There is inbuilt TTS. I just need to set it up once I've got the rest of the rest of Twitch alert set up. Yes. But there is inbuilt TTS. I'm just not ready to set it up yet. There we go. Thank you. There looks some these are some of the hype plane emotes people are posting now. I personally like the pride ones and the animal ones. I'm very biased towards them. I think they're very cool. They're very cute. That's me. I am someone newer to Twitch. Whoa! Look at all those ones! Cresso's got a lot. Yeah, that's a... Uh, well, I mean, you're newer to Twitch, but anyone else who might be lurking who's also newer to Twitch. So yeah, basically, if several people... It's like a... Uh, give subs or sub themselves or, you know, that kind of stuff. But again, it has to be multiple people. One person can't make a hype train on their own, so it's not... Like, say Vile was in and Vile was like, I'm going to throw 10 bits and then 100 and then and then give two subs and then throw a bit and then 100. And that wouldn't start a hype train because it's only one person doing it. So it's a community thing. So a community can start a hype train for a streamer. Um, but it, it's, again, not something that happens too often, at least in my experience. What I would say is if you go to a really big stream on Twitch where there's like several thousand viewers, the likelihood is you'll see them quite often. Yes. Thank you! Thank you for the hype train emotes. Look at them all. Look at them all. Yeah, and you get to keep them forever. Ah, uh, all my hype train emotes. Uh, you don't like the panicking? I do like the panicking bananas. Oh my god, I lost out to be a homer of Twitch. Oh god, no. Sorry, Sean. You can still be you. It can still be you. You just don't need to implement that certain thing. It can still be you, though. There we go. There are also sometimes special hype trains, which are like seasonal hype trains, hype trains that you can only have for a certain amount of time with limited time emotes, uh, and also occasionally golden kappa hype trains, which is the rarest hype train, which basically means everyone who win who uh, who donates a hundred bits or a sub to that particular hype train will get a golden kappa emote for twenty four hours only. The t the golden kappa is a bit of a difficult one to explain because it's kind of part of Twitch law almost at this point which means if you haven't been on Twitch for a while, you might not know what it is. The Golden Kappa is a emote on Twitch that used to be given away to one random user for 24 hours every day on Twitch. So if there's like 10 million people on Twitch, one person every day randomly will be selected to, to own the Golden Kappa. And it could be someone with a DM, like an account they don't use. It could be someone who doesn't even check their remote, so you might not even realize. But like historically on Twitch, if you saw someone with a golden kappa, you'd be like, oh my god, that's the one person on this website that has that emote. And we saw them. Uh, and it, it was just kind of like a really odd, like rare thing, almost like creepypasta kind of vibes or like folklore kind of vibes, right? Where it's like word of mouth, who has it today? And like within 24 hours, it's gone again. It, it was a really odd thing on Twitch that, ha you know, again, back in the day, everyone would know what it was. But these days, the Golden Kappa is handled a little differently. Rather than being given away to one user at random uh, for the day, it is now something you can get through Golden Hype Trains, which means anyone who donates to a Hype Train that has a Golden ha Kappa Hype Train will have the emote for only 24 hours. So it's still very much a limited thing, and it is a rare Hype Train. I've never had a Golden Kappa Hype Train. 
Zaki nearly had a golden kappa hype train as their first ever hype train, which is actually madness. Um, like actual madness. That never happens. Um, yeah, next rarest compared to golden kappa. Yeah, thank you for accepting an outcast. No, you're more than welcome with tails. Good morning. How you doing? Thank you for the hype train emotes. Uh, I have no idea I even had some of those. I got some good ones. The animal ones I really, really like. Wouldn't it be funny if Jira was short despite the long neck? I mean, it's possible. It would. I would throw off the line work at this point for me because I have them as like six foot something. But uh, yes, I mean, they could be. It's a possibility. I mean, at the end of the day, what? They're your OC. I mean, you can, you can do whatever you like with them. Very possible. <coughs> there you go, by the way. Sorry, sorry for my, like, my Twitch lore dump. There you go. The lore dump. The infinite kappa can only be got with a level 10, yeah, 100 hype train. I will say, Vile. First of all, that's amazing. And I think I know what hype train you might have taken part in. Was it potentially by a certain pirate? Uh, but second, I actually really hate the emotes they've picked for that. Because when you think of how much, like, collective money a community has to spend to get something that's basically already exists on Twitch, uh, I think Twitch could have commissioned some artists to make them something actually special. And I'll be honest, I didn't mention it when they came out and I'm still not mentioning it now because I think they are disappointing. Not not the heckin' hype train because that was really, really cool. I have a sneaking suspicion that you got it from the, the pirate software hype train, which is the biggest recorded hype train on Twitch ever, full stop. Uh, but, which is really, really cool, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer person, honestly. So, like, genuinely, I, I think that's amazing, and that's really, really cool. I just wish the emotes were better. I wish they'd actually commissioned some artists instead of recycling the same old things over and over again. I also feel like the problem is, right, it's a bit... Like, I know Kappa, a lot of people on Twitch know Kappa, of course they do. But the people that are new to Twitch, it's a bit... Eh? Eh? I don't know, it's just not that exciting. And like, does Twitch want new viewers? Does Twitch want new people on the platform? Because I feel like by recycling the same stuff over and over again, it kind of not excludes new people, but it kind of, I don't think it's as appealing. But that's just me. That's just me. That's just an opinion. My opinion. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean it's right or wrong. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, uh, that would be it. There was a lot that was added to it. Yeah, that would be it. That's the one. You're lurking. Have a lovely lurk, Tails. Have a lovely lurk. Maybe curious what emotes I had. Nice. I saw that it was insane. Were well, parts of the, the levels. Yeah, disappointed. There were also some of the B ones, which I thought I already had. They re-added the pride emotes and a few others into the hype train. So if you hadn't got them already, you could get them again. Yeah. 54,000 subs and 8.2 million bits. Yeah. And you get a Kappa face. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, how much did the community donate? We can work that out. Uh, 8.2 million bits. Like, and well, the the 54,000 gift subs, that's going to be end up being about 110,000 pounds. Get <laughs> 8 million would be like another 80,000, right? Because it'd be removed the two. So... Uh, it's like 200,000. Yeah, 220k. 220k to get a kappa? 220k to get a kappa. An emote anyone has access to and has been on better Twitch television for years. Like, you know what I mean? It's just not that special. And like, don't get me wrong, I don't want this to take away from that hype train because that was amazing. Discord art shit, I'll get to it in a second. I will do it, Ward. Um, I don't want to take away from like Pirate Software's hype train because that's not the case. Like, I think that's really amazing. And I think, again, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. So I was really happy when I saw that that had happened. Um, that's really, really cool. But you're paying near quarter of a million for that. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's... Eh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's interesting. I think, I guess it's better than nothing. But I also, I'm just like, eh. I think it was quite, well, I think so too, Vile. Because I calculate it as 220 pounds, or 220,000 pounds. Because that's about uh, 100 and, yeah, 220,000 pounds that would be, which would mean it's about $300,000. Yeah. 
The subs alone would have been 2,000, yeah, and they were all, if they were, oh, that's true, if they were all tier one, and there's nothing to say that they were all tier one. There's also nothing to say they were just one month subs. Some of them might have been three to six month subs. Ah, uh, they're break time, it is break time. We're just finishing this discussion anime, and then I'll come right across, because otherwise any art I show won't get its proper time, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Add another 82k to that. Yeah, yeah, well, no, 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 I mean, yeah, it's, I think it's about a quarter of a million pounds, which means it's far more in dollars. Ah oh dear. Which one of you said that? Which one of you here is here for art instead of the cult of Am I a cult of personality? I don't think so. The other day I asked Shiny if he thought I could become a cult of personality and Shiny looked at me like, no. <laughs> and then left and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it was a hell of a lot of money for an emote that most people already have access to. And yeah, either way, as a ton, you hit level 106, which is really, really cool. Really, really cool. And again, I don't want to take away from that because that's amazing and he deserves the support. Great streamer. I love the stuff they do with the ferrets. So I'm not, I'm not mad about that. It's more just like, I feel like could have gotten a better remote. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I just think we could have gotten something a bit better for all that. <laughs> Uh, I just resubbed for another month. I think most people, that's probably what they did. They either resubbed or they gave a hundred bits. Um, yeah, I think I think probably the majority. But there would have been people that would have been throwing a lot. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, eh. I think as well, though, it kind of, for me, falls into the Twitch just refusing to commission artists when they have loads of artists that accept commissions on the platform, um, which is, you know... I don't know if there's a refusal or if there's another reason they can't do it, but they used to commission people for like the pride emotes and stuff like that. Would be from a lot of LGBT members in the art community. Um, you had them commissioned for other bits and bobs. It, it was nice. It was just really nice. I don't know. I wish we had a bit more. Almost three and a half hours after the clip to start. And then for you, it'll probably be, I'll probably have finished stream by then. Oh, did, actually, what time is it? It's been six hours? <laughs> Good God. Wait, when did- oh no! <laughs> Wait a minute! When, when did it hit six hours? I haven't, surely not! Oh dear, okay, in that case, we might do our last Discord art share now then, because I'm only really meant to go for six hours, and it's nearly been six and a half. Thank you for the save, by the way, I will do that because I hadn't done that. So I guess we're gonna do our Discord art share now, and then- and then that's it, because- because I, I didn't realize it had been that long. All right, finish the base pattern for the pants. That'll hopefully fit better than the mock-up. Here is Pattern Work by Anime, who is excellent at making the neatest, nicest patterns. First stream on the list, one of the global is from the AI artists I know, and the guest on the stream was Twitch testing the stream. Oh, okay, okay. Ah oh dear, whoopsie. I used 315, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess. It must be they want to show favoritism. Maybe, that could make sense, I guess. Also, neat. Which one of you tattled? Someone told me the time and realized, oh, the look for jacket. Ooh, I want it. I want it for me. <laughs> I want to make this. This is lovely. Oh my God, I love this sleeve. Oh, I want, I, I love this. Yeah, I got, they tattled. They said it was the end of stream time. And so, uh, and, so, and then I realized it was the end of stream time and they are correct. This is lovely. Anime, uh, anime is just so good at patterning. They've done patterning live on stream as well, which is something that I've never attempted because I need to concentrate so fully. Anime is just wonderful with this sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's always really lovely to see. You just rather copy paste and emote than have their own money spend commissioning an artist. Yeah, the brown fabric will be for the final jacket too. Nice. Hell yeah. No, it's looking really, really good. Also, Feathered. Yes, I have seen these before. But if you've never met the Feathered Phoenix before, and they are in Twitch chat right now, this is what they were talking about when they said they do painted uh, painted uh, violins. Yes. Also, there you go. I got I got, I got that. I got that. Uh, very hecking cool. They are absolutely stunning. It's basically just like little pop rosses on violins. Like, look how beautiful they are. They did a dragon as well, which was really, really cool. They did a really, really cool dragon, uh, which I really loved. And I think these are the seasonal ones. Yeah, yeah, because you have the autumnal one here, which is stunning. And I love it very, very much. I love the light shining through as well. It's so pretty. So, so pretty, as always, of course. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Yeah, really, really nice. And they did a dragon too, which was really, really cool. 
Uh, didn't for Derby Cat's ninth Twitch anniversary. Oh my god, wait, that's so Okay, am I biased because it's pastel? Yes. <laughs> but that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh dear, I, l I love her with the hair swish on the big old hat and bow. Oh my god, it's so cute. Lovely art and like a lovely gift for someone. Again, I'm very biased because I love pastel. <laughs> But I think it's really cute. It's stunning, it is! Wait, can I find the bat in the new one? Here. You can see my cursor, right? It's here. Yeah, I got, I got it, I got it. Egg yolk was the only one I colour picked the reference, otherwise the others were chosen by I. <laughs> what the hell? What? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Oh. oh my god. What the heck? What the? What? What? <laughs> Dang, these are awesome. They are. I wish to eat. Yes, I also wish to eat. Consume. Consume art. Spotted so quick, I like bats. <laughs> that is insane. It is actually insane. What the heck? That's so good. You said the egg was the one where you color picked, the rest were chosen by eye. Jesus. What in the heck? I am evil. You are evil. How dare you? Well, now we all want to eat. <laughs> now we all want to eat egg yolk, sushi, uh, uh, eating apples and peppers. Uh, B and J and, a, and an ice cream. Yeah, this is an interesting c collection of things that I wish to eat. All of those. Oh my god, they look amazing. Wait, what more like what? <laughs> what more like what? Nom nom, it's fun drawing the references. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> it's really, really good. I hope you're incredibly proud of those. Those are fantastic. All right. I will say, I'm sorry, I have been snitched on. Someone told me it was time to end my stream. Uh, well, they didn't say that, but they said, Jelly, it's been a while, and it has been a while, and it's time to end my stream. I'm so sorry. So it is time for me to raid you all into another bean. However, let me see if they're still live. Let me... <laughs> oh, did they end their stream? Damn it. Oh, no, 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 wait, they did, they did, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't. I found them. We can raid into Blackwell if they're not ending. What the hell are they doing awake? Pants also a dice bag? What the hell are you making? All right. If you don't know Blackle, very, very sweet bean. There's a lot of stuff for charity. No, no, thank you so much for popping by. It's always lovely to see everyone. We are going to raid into Blapple. Uh, Blapple is a maker and crafter. However, I would say a lot of what Blapple is known for is their charity fundraising on Twitch. They run, uh, alongside DJ, they run the Stream Stars team, which does all the Starlight Foundation things. Uh, I'll just shout them out as well for anyone who gets left behind um, because they're basically just a really, really sweet bean. But they are also a very, very talented cosplayer. They have actually competed at an international level. They do a mixture of sewing, armor, and prosthetics. So they're very much a jack of all trades when it comes to cosplay. So if you're a cosplayer who is interested in meeting more cosplayers, Blackwell does basically everything. Uh, 3D printing, leather work. They've done armor. They've done sewing. They've done prosthetics and face paint. They do a bit of everything. I believe they're actually currently making Husk from Has Been Hotel. There you go. So now they're working with fur. <laughs> They literally do a little bit of everything, so they're very, very talented maker and crafter. So I'm sure I'm, they're probably going to say "you jelly" as soon as I arrive, but they, they don't mean it. They don't mean it. They just they just can't get enough of me, and that's why whenever they see me, they say "you disgusting jelly." Uh, but they, they, they don't mean it though. <laughs> it's it's definitely a joke. Ha <laughs> ha. I am joking. Heck yeah, we're going to Blaffle. We are going to Blaffle. Take care, so, and take care, Ward, and Sean, and Cresso. It was lovely to see everyone in anime, and I will be back same time tomorrow with more goblins. Maybe with this one finished, potentially. Take care, everyone. And if you are here with the hecky <laughs> jelly, if you are here with YouTube, thank you so much for getting my watch hours up and helping with that.